Good morning, good morning everybody, it's me Waddles and oh boy, today we're in for a treat. A while ago, I took on the challenge of 100 days stranded in the middle of an ocean on this simple, humble little island right here. Over the course of this movie right here, we're going to take a look back at the entire series, every episode in order. This series was played at the time during the development of 1.20, so as the series progresses, we start to see more and more of the update added to this world too. From farms to builds to even more, in this movie you're going to see a whole lot. If you like the looks of this world and you'd like to check it out even more closely, well great news, there's a download out for members, right now. So tap like, sit back and relax, get comfortable because here is 100 days, or just about, this story stranded on a deserted ocean island. Oh yeah, and disclaimer, I made some of these episodes a little while ago, so it'll be kind of cool to see the progression too. Anyways, enjoy! Hi friends, you see this island right here in the middle of the ocean? Well, this is all we've got for 100 days. In this series, we'll be surviving and eventually thriving on this single island stranded in the middle of a 1000 block ocean. Of course, we'll do it all in Hardcore Minecraft, and to make it even more interesting, we'll do it in 1.22. If you're confused, just sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'll explain more later. Loading terrain. Ah, brand new Minecraft world. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. I don't know why every single time I try and make a new world, my FOB is on some kind of insane thing. Actually, I do know exactly why, but <laughs> it's fine. Let's check this place out. So, well, welcome to my home. As you can see, over here we have a little bit of sand. Over here we have, like, the special sand. We're really nice. And then over here I have, um, disgusting. I've got an oak tree. I've got a little bit of grass sand. Th that's basically it. Oh, yeah, yes. And, of course, my friends. Um, I need four names. Comment four names down below. But you have to comment all four, and they all need to be good. Who knows? Uh, maybe you'll be the winner or something. But really quick. We should talk about how we got here. Yeah, it's rewind time. New world who this. So to set the tone just right for this world, we've got to come up with a good name. This name is crucial. crucial. If, if I don't get it right, it'll all be wrong. And <laughs> I got it right. That's perfect. Survival? No, 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 no. How about hardcore? Whoop, whoop. And then most importantly of all, that number right there. As you can see. <laughs> oh, wait, what's that? What's that? You can't see the seed yet? Oh, okay, okay. I see how it is. The only game world that I'm gonna change in here is gonna be this one right here. I want that sweet, sweet snow. Even if I live on an island in the middle of an ocean. Dan will never see it. Back over in our world, time is ticking. The sun is moving slowly away from the ocean. We should get to work. In today's episode, episode number one, we're gonna lay out the foundation for the series and basically try and accomplish three big things. Food, structure, sleep. That's it. That's all we need to get done. It should be pretty easy. Seeing as we're stranded on an island in the middle of nowhere with, I think, no man land within like a thousand blocks of this place, uh, we need to not lose the saplings. Hey, guys, this might be the most difficult thing of this entire series. <laughs> I need to stay focused and I absolutely cannot leave this island until I pick up the saplings. Well, lads, laddies, not to brag, flex uh, too hard or anything like this, but look at this. It's looking luxurious over here already. A crafting table, but whoa, wait, 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 what's that? What's that? Inside of the crafting table, and 100% without the book, that's right, I memorized all of the recipes. Hmm, hmm. The first big tool of the world. Now, uh, the rules of this world are pretty simple. We live, we survive and thrive on this very island right here, but I can leave the island. I'm thinking at one point, we might want to leave the island and try and find, like, villagers or something in, in export or import, and then back over to this sweet home, sweet home. I definitely think I want to explore a little bit and try and find like cool structures and things like that. One big one on my to-do list is definitely the propagule for those sweet, sweet mangrove trees. I love those in a super flat world. They're my new favorite. Hey, uh, fish, fish, stop swimming now. No, 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 no. I, I can't drown. I can't drown right now. Stop it. Oh, also, that's you guys on Instagram if I should do this in 1.20 and overwhelmingly, yes. So we're going to start in snapshot 22W45A. I'll explain why later. All right, so goal number one of today's episode is food, and I'm thinking because we don't really have any cows on the island. Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, well, for starters, I just realized that I left the island, letting saplings fall onto the ground, possibly despawning. Uh, for follow-uppers or not starters, how am I going to be able to sleep on this island? Like, like literally, how can I sleep on the island? 
if I if there are no sheep there are no sheep on my island I cannot make a bed all right well I gotta think about this one I think what we're gonna need to do is like really focus on probably like lighting this place up right like of course I'm thinking first things first stone tools and that's not a problem at all tons of stone underneath the water right here I get it anytime I need it but light ah oh, this is gonna be expensive all right well there are a couple things that need to get done first things first we need to upgrade the pickaxe and second thing second I think we need to head under the ground we're gonna need to find coal or at the least more stone so we can turn the wood into charcoal and light this whole island up we're not gonna be able to sleep Mm, location for the mine, location for the mine. Mm, this is tough, but I, I think right here. This is definitely the best spot for a mine on this entire island. Let's dig straight down. So you see, the more that I think about it here, this challenge might end up being way harder than I could have ever dreamed of. You see, I thought living on a stranded island with like basically nothing at all deserted in the middle of nowhere? Hey, <sighs> piece of cake. I mean, how hard could it be? There's nothing here to hurt me, so it can't be too bad, right? But, um, I don't even remember the charcoal recipe. I mean, I obviously it's logs in the furnace, but is it like one log makes one piece of charcoal? Or can I do this with planks? Am I wasting all my logs and wood right now? <laughs> I should probably upgrade my tools and cut down a couple more trees, right? So, I don't know if this is a good idea or what, but I've decided that I think what I'll do is I'll deforest the entire island, other than that original tree, we'll call it the founder, and then I'll remember to pick up all the saplings, I promise, and then we'll replant and uh, we'll be off to a solid start. Thankfully, the devs did kind of prep me for this exact moment. In Minecraft 1.19, they made an amazing update. Or actually, now that I think about it, I think it was maybe Minecraft 1.18 or maybe it was 1.17. But either way, in one of the other Minecraft versions, they made an amazing update just for me. In that update, hostile mobs, the bad guy's not gonna spawn. As long as the light level is at least one. So I think with this, we should be safe all night long. Back over the ocean, I'm starving already. That was going to say earlier on that my plan for food in this world is gonna be fish, but I, I can't even like do the swim trick because I'm, I'm literally starving. So, that's great. Uh, well, you know what, actually. <laughs> fish, uh, I got bad news for you. I'm fine. And so, as the sun sets on day number one in our world, I'm nervous. I'm really, really nervous. I think the next smart move is probably going to be make a campfire and place the campfire down somewhere. Yeah, I feel like the campfire on the beach, like, it's kind of a whole beach vibe, right? So we'll place that there, and then I'll start cooking up the food that I have. In reality, I think food is going to be the least of our concerns on this island because, uh, as you can see here, there are... There are... There are literally fish all over the place. Yeah. Well, now it's nighttime and I don't really know what to do other than maybe punch all of the grass on this island because, I mean, sure, fish is gonna be great, but if I could get one seed, if one seed, yes, if I could get one seed, maybe two seeds, if I could get, like, a couple seeds, considering the fact that water is all around us, setting up a basic farm shouldn't be hard, right? Like, like we could craft our very first hoe of the world and make some kind of quick and simple farm, like, maybe right over here and in no time, I, I can see now, in literally no time at all. The biggest farm. The world's biggest farm. Or at least this island's. Alright, now, next up. I don't know if this is a good idea or what, but my brain just came up with an idea, and I, I feel like I should chase the vision. So check this out. This island, it's definitely safe. 100% bright all over this place. But what isn't safe is, say, say that squid right over there. I'm not a fool, though. Before I jump into the water and start building, I'm getting a boat. I don't know if there are any drowned inside of this ocean with a trident, and if there are, uh, <laughs> if there are, I don't really exactly stand a chance. And whoa, whoa, check that out. Hmm. There's a cave down there. I'll remember that. I'll come back. All right, so anyways, I think we should start farming mobs. If I could farm mobs, I could at least have, like, you know, things. So... To farm mobs, I was thinking maybe I could build like essentially, essentially what I was thinking is I could probably build a controlled platform out here in the ocean, a safe ways away from my island over there so anything that spawns doesn't see me and then I could probably row back and forth over to this island right here and, and take out mobs and get like string and then once I get string I could build like a fishing rod and then I could like fish up, fish, 
I, I could get more fish like that. And, um, ah, that's all I got. So let's test this concept out. I've got a small platform right there. Maybe I just go ahead and sail a little bit of a ways away from this thing. I'm pretty sure all the caves under here should be flooded. So any second now, any second now, maybe, maybe I'm not far enough. Any second now, something should spawn, right? Maybe there's caves. Hmm. Ha, huh. well, 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 what are you doing? No, 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 I'm in a boat, I'm in a boat, no, no. It's nice of you to come visit, but like, why? Can you tell me why your friends are spawning over there? Hmm? Oh, you can't answer questions when you're dead? <laughs> oh, oh. oh, you should have told me that before. And so, during the rest of the duration of night number one, with my mob farm concept, unfortunately, basically busted, I didn't really know what to do. One thing for certain, I needed more food. I decided I would spend basically the rest of this nighttime hunting for a little bit more fish out at sea. One very productive nighttime spent out at sea later, and look at this. A grand total of... <laughs> what is that? 11 fish. 11 fish. I mean, it's not much, but it's a start. One day this kingdom, this entire place, will be ours. Oh yeah, and I got a little bit of bone meal last night, so... I guess I could speed this up a little bit. Nice. All right, so if memory serves me correct, which 100% it does, right at the beginning, I saw something right here. A little bit of coffer, nice and early with the stone pickaxe. Did I do this? Is this gonna work or did I just waste this? Ah, uh, no, no, it works, it works. A little bit of coffer, day two, never been seen before. I do have a question though, and by question, I mean like a, like a theory. It looks like we have a pretty big cave underneath the island, and sometimes, if I know my aquifers, sometimes these things lead down into other caves too. I wonder if we can find more caves down here. Hmm. 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 <laughs> At the least, I wonder if I could find like a little bit of iron down here. Yeah, 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 iron. Okay, so that's cool. I'm probably gonna drown, but now I know there's iron under the island too. Sweet. Guys, I have an idea. Video settings, render distance, 32. That's right, 32. You see, with 32 render distance, we could take a look around this island and see if there is anything nearby at all. When it comes to land, I'm pretty sure there should be like basically nothing, but oh, when it comes to structures, I, I was thinking a shipwreck, but yeah, 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 when it comes to structures, clearly there is something. So here's what I'm thinking, as we progress in this world, I will get braver and bolder and braver, and seeing as we're in the middle of an ocean, most of the caves should be flooded. With the caves being flooded all around us, it might be a little bit harder to, like, actually find things. Uh, you, 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 don't do that. With caves being flooded, it, it might be a little bit harder to find things, but flooded caves means more diamonds, right? And ruined portal means gold and flinted steel. <laughs> don't mind if I do. And even better, our very first chest of the world. Beautiful. And you know what? While I'm here, I don't think they're gonna be needing these. So, these are mine too. If we can't get a bed by the end of the episode, we can at least get iron. Check this out. Back over at home sweet home, armed with nothing more than a simple stone pickaxe and a couple magma blocks, down into the water we go. Magma block right there. I stand right there and I can breathe right here. And more importantly, while I breathe, I can get iron. And if I can get iron, I can get everything else in the world. I can get diamonds. I can get redstone. I can get lapis. Oh, I can see it now. Mob farm? Episode number two. E easy. I don't know how mob farm it directly relates to anything that I just said, but I said it. All right, so that's a bunch of iron. That's pretty cool. And a magma mining tool. You will... You're going to come back home with me. Next up, I want to test my luck here. Just a little bit. Usually, these aquifers, if they dead end at the end, sometimes it's not a dead end. Is that time? One of these times? If I'm on a couple blocks, I should tell. Uh, can I please have a cave that maybe isn't flooded or even flooded? Just goes deep? Maybe? No? Uh, well, dug this, and I have a hole down here now, but I don't have a cave, and I think that's sad. Oh! Oh! Oh boy, oh boy! Oh boy, I take it back, I take it back, I do have a cave, and this is the most dangerous thing I'm doing all episode, but... Oh. It's not really a cave. Oh, I take it back, it is a cave! We have a cave down here, and oh! Oh, that's beautiful! 
It's a really beautiful cave. Hmm. That's beautiful. All right, well, for now, that can go right there. This coal, the very first coal of the world. That's that's pretty that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Not the flex or anything, but a little bit more copper too, and we're set for success. We're set for ultimate absolute success. And hey, would you look at this too? Upon closer inspection, a little bit more iron too. Wow, wow, you really didn't have to. Uh, you, you didn't have to, Cave. You you really didn't have to. That was so sweet of you. I'm so rich now. Back up here on the land, it's time we get a little bit more serious about things. And for starters, this inventory, it's really, 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 really bad. I don't need a lot of that stuff. And for second, <laughs> iron. You've never seen so much before. And we're all copper too. Wow, wow, this is such a good day. And then andesite and granite, they, the whole family's here. Look at it. Oh, it's great. I did say my third goal today was a shelter though. So a shelter out under the open, beautiful sky with my turtle friend who's riding in a boat. Yeah, it looks, looks like home to me. This seat could be a little bit closer though. Add a couple backs to these chairs and I don't know about you, but for shelter, that looks pretty good. For iron, that is looking tremendously beautiful. <laughs> I like the looks of that. So first things first, most important thing is definitely shears. So we make some shears, I, I'll explain later. And then a pickaxe, for sure a pickaxe, that's a no brainer. I think we can survive with uh, basically the stone axe and that pickaxe and oh, look at that, look at that. Wow, we're off to the perfect start. With this food, harvest it, replant it, ready to go. I think it's time we go to the mines. First armor of the world is that. Tell me I look good. And so I think it's time, armed with literally nothing at all. Let's do this. Ah, not so fast. Maybe next time. 100 days, one island, episode number one. That's gonna do it. And for more of this series, all you gotta do is leave a like and uh, double check. Make sure you subscribe with all notifications on. And my name is Waddle, so thank you all so much for watching. You're my best friend. For more right now, you check out our last challenge series, 100 Days in Super Flat Survival. I'll see you tomorrow. From naming our turtle friends, to the seed reveal of the century, to diamonds. Oh, so many diamonds. We've got a lot to do today. Friends, I would like to welcome you to episode number two of our Survival Island Challenge, where this island right here, in the middle of a 1,000 block ocean, is all we got. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Or maybe, maybe just this once, should I say, good night, everybody. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, anyways, welcome back to Survival Island, episode number two. In this series, we own, well, we own it all. Yeah, everything that you can see from, from this corner block all the way over to that corner block over there. It's all ours. Today, I would like to begin this episode with a warm, deep, and hearty thank you. All of the support in the first episode was honestly, like, insane. Way more than I could have ever expected. Not only did it make my day, but it also guaranteed that I was able to have dinner. So, uh, that, that felt really, really good. Today, I've got a game. If this episode passes 5,000 likes, I'll do a challenge. And that challenge, I'll have to pick it from down below. That means real quick, leave a like and comment a challenge that is relatively doable for me next episode down below. Here's the top comment on last episode. And here's the second top comment. And here's the third top comment on oh, this is awkward. Four turtles, obviously. Obviously, your name is Mike, and then, and then we've got Donnie, we've got Leonardo, and uh, I forget the other name, but here's the thing, they all kind of abandoned me anyways, so, <laughs> thanks for the names. Wait, what is this? An invasion at the beaches. Oh, this isn't good. Flashbacks to memories of the Great War. No, no. Wait, if I have the beach, that means... All right, so for today's big mining operation, I've hatched up a pretty good strategy. These caves, ah, I think we're gonna have one big problem. We'll talk about it in a minute. The strategy, it lies right here, inside of burning every birch log that I own for sweet, sweet charcoal. You see, at the end of the last episode, I played a little bit of a goof on you guys, and it was great, but this time, there's no stopping me. This is where we need to go for, for real. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm excited, trust me, trust me. Of course, as any good spelunker would do, instead of plunging myself down into the deep depths of this cave, well, we'll make a staircase, of course. And the deeper we go, the more we'll notice the problem here. 
it's dark. It's really, really dark. And eventually here, like right now, you'll see we're deep. Deep and dark. Uh, deep and dark. But not deep, dark biome. Just deep and really, really dark. Charcoal for the torches, because I don't know if we're going to find any coal down here at all. Open this up a little bit. And... I mean, it's anticlimactic. I thought it was going to be worse. Nice. Let's cave. Water. Diamonds? Water. <laughs> oh, zombie friend, zombie friend. You're new to me in this world. You don't know how I go. You don't, you don't know what I do. Well, that's what I do. Every time. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A lot of iron, a lot of iron, and a lot of iron. Now, I'm not seeing any tough, but I am seeing a lot of iron. Could I see a lot of diamonds? We've got one name of the game today, Then that name of the game is Conserve Coal. I need to act like a desperate and stranded coal miner inside of a cave with coal, except I don't have any coal. So, like, I can't use a bunch of torches. I'm no beginner here, though. I know how this diamond mining stuff works. Uh, generally speaking, the deeper we go, the more diamonds we find. And conveniently, this cave... Oh, I thought I saw something. <laughs> I thought I saw something. Conveniently, this cave has a lot of tough all of a sudden. Did we just find an iron ore vein? <laughs> oh, no. No, we didn't find an iron ore vein. We found our very first diamond in the world. Oh, this is beautiful. The Instagram story. Uh, y you guys kind of curse me with this one. So, diamond number one. Oh, and diamond, I take it back. This is going to be a cakewalk. It's going to be so easy today. Two diamonds right there beautifully inside of my inventory. Oh, Oh, I love it. There is nothing that I love more than diamonds. And apparently you guys too. The challenge today is a full set, a full stack of skeletons. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. No, 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 no. You will just, mm, yup, yup. <laughs> How do you like that? How do you like that, wise guy? Just stop it, stop it. But, you, you know, as I slowly uh, pick up this redstone right over here, I realize one big thing and that thing that I'm realizing is the fact that my inventory is so full. How could I ever cave with like things fully filled up, right? Mm, you see that? <sighs> Dang, I think we gotta go back up to the surface. Back up here on the surface of the little island that we call home, it seems that Leonardo has come back from his adventure at sea. Hello, beautiful. You look beautiful. It also seems that I am going to put all of these sweet, sweet, delicious profits inside of this box. While we're at it, we'll make a brand new pickaxe and it's back to the mods for us. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's a trident. That's a trident drown, all right. Mm hmm, all right. <laughs> One more shot from that, buddy, and I'm done. I don't think it'll follow me in here, though, right? That's too tricky. <sighs> Hopefully, that despawns later. 33 more diamonds. <laughs> it shouldn't be a problem at all, right? Piece of cake. 33 diamonds, and then we can go back to home sweet home. And to find these diamonds, I think we want to look where the water goes. When the water goes, the diamonds come too. Focus. <laughs> Focus. We started on this part of the cave. We'll finish on this part of the cave. Then we'll go to, to the other part of the cave. Yeah, that makes sense. And gold. And I'm um, thinking my strategy today is to take out every single piece of ore that I can find. And you know what? M maybe we should make a shovel and dig out all of this stuff too. And scratch that. By shovel, I meant torches. I should just make more torches and dig out all of this stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see what I mean. That's definitely a step in the right direction. We love it. Oh, the, the iron rock goes to the blue rock, and then the blue rock goes to the real deal blue rock, right? Right? That's how it's going to work. That's I'm calling it right here. You're going to see it. I'm a fortune teller, and... All right, I was slightly wrong that time. But next time. This pillar marks home sweet home. Don't let me forget. Back over here. It sounds like they're still here. Mm, but maybe not. I mean, that one moved. Piece of cake. Now this cave looks like it gets really big. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. This cave looks like it gets dramatically large. Oh, very dramatic, very large. Lots of mobs in here, but hmm, lots of profits too. I can feel them. Strange square boxes all over the place too. Hmm. But it's time for a quick stop because look at all of the iron that I have inside of my inventory. Now this might be a little bit expensive to pull off. But I think it will be worth it. Charcoal, check. Raw iron, into the furnace. And I guess while I do that, I just, 
I'll just mine over here. Here's another crazy looking cave. See a little bit of redstone. Where's that blue beautiful rock? I know it's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, this is big. Oh, and <laughs> total accident. Total accident, 100% fun. That right there, that my friends is very big. Do a little bit of caving, a little bit of mining. They said for the fully set, the stack of diamonds. Mm hmm. Yeah, piece of cake. Six down, that means, I think that means 27. Yeah, 27, more diamonds to go. Do it in no time. Iron, sweet and beautiful iron. Are you done? Oh, you're so close to being done. You're so close. Uh, except I already have pants, so iron helmet, iron chest plate, and iron boots. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so I guess what we should do is maybe go back over to this cave, the really close one to, to the whole setup at least, and start looking around here. This cave was really, really big, and sure, the other ones are safer, but this one is big. Big cave equals see more blocks equals see more precious, precious dust. Let's go. Alright, so that little time lapse right there, it did not disappoint at all, definitely not. Look at all of this copper that I found, and even more importantly, a diamond check. <laughs> Only 23 more to go. Even, even more importantly, excitingly, look what I found down there. I mean, baby zombie, but <laughs> even more of the blue rocks. Here's my plan. We go back over to the furnace, get all of this iron, brand new weapon, Iron Axe, this should be stronger than ever before. Then, maybe like right here, we begin the big staircase down. I make a staircase down to the lower part of the cave and find some more beautiful things along the way, and uh, I hope this baby zombie just despawns. That would be perfect. Oh, diamonds, you're so close, you're so close. I can almost touch you, oh, okay, but I can hear the baby zombie too. Uh, I guess this is the first boss fight of this world. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Child, small child, I would never hurt a child. But if you try and hurt me, which I think you're trying to do, yep, you're trying to do that, small oh, child. child. I'm really sorry. I don't usually hurt children, but... <laughs> oh, 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 what is that that I hear? I, I hear a second one. I see a second one. Oh, that's beautiful. That's cool. Hey, come on, everybody. It's a party. Yeah, come on. Okay, uh, look, listen, Creeper. I don't know about you. You're gonna... Okay, uh, look, listen, Creeper. You weren't really invited, my guy. Um, you, come on. Come on down, buddy. And I mean, I gotta make the jump eventually. I got to jump down eventually. So now we jump down and... Oh, you're trapped. I will take that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I will definitely take that. I'll look around and I will also absolutely take that. <laughs> Sweet. I don't know, man. Like, maybe it's a little early. Oh, an amethyst geode. I found an amethyst geode. Oh, we got an amethyst geode, too. Oh, it's beautiful. I don't know, man. But whoever said finding diamonds in, in this Minecraft stuff? <laughs> Beginner. And whoever said it taking on Enderman in this Minecraft stuff is dangerous? Also, beginner. Come on, buddy. Enderman, you don't scare me. Where are your pearls? So anyways, diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. And instead of diamonds this time, it's the amethyst. Ooh, it's a beautiful amethyst. Nice. I figured I would let him do a little bit of mining for me, but no luck. Look, kid, it's, it's nothing personal. Nothing personal at all. And now, we have a problem. First off, not seeing any diamonds down here, which makes me sad. And second, no easy way out. Third, I, I kind of ran out of torches. I guess it's time we, we do this. And I guess we do that for a second. And I, I won't ditch the crafting table this time. No more wasting wood. Nope. One hour later. All right. Let's do this. Well, hi friends, it's me, Waddles from the past, and boy, does that shark look like a beautiful mining time lapse, but I think it's finally, that long last, a seed reveal time. 
the island seed that we're using for this series, otherwise known as the most beautiful island seed of all time. Well, that's gonna have to be this exact number right here. Is six quadrillion two hundred and thirty four quad million. Yeah, uh, th this is the world seed for the series. I found a seed in Minecraft and Chill's seed video, so thanks. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> I've been out of the caves for a long time now, and I feel like I'm making really good progress, but I'm starting to feel the caves. They're getting to my head. I, I keep running around, and I got these two pickaxes. I don't want to, like, waste all the iron or whatever, and I don't know if I've accidentally mined any diamonds with a stone pickaxe. <laughs> I really hope that I didn't accidentally do that at any point of the episode, because that's going to be really, really awkward. But at the same time... It almost doesn't matter. 26 right here, plus two more up on the surface. Mm, and a skeleton, and a, and a skeleton chasing me, uh, hunting me, searching for my life. Yeah, no, thank you. No, thank you. Dead end. I'm lost. What I'm saying here is one more solid chunk of diamonds with like eight to diamonds if we've not only hit our goal, but far exceeded our goal. And all on episode number two also, with like no torches. This is pretty good. The reason I'm so afraid of that skeleton right there is all the endermen, though, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back over here and say there's no diamonds over there. And uh, two more. There are two more skeletons. Oh, that's wonderful. That's one skeleton. That's two skeletons. That's a lot of gravel. <laughs> Disappointing gravel. Diamonds. Diamonds, come out, come out wherever you are. I know you've got to be close to this point. Honestly, today, the caving. Is this a fourth geode, or did I find this one? This, I might have found this one. Is this a fourth geode? <laughs> uh, honestly, caving today has been really, really... Yeah, I found this one. I found this one for sure. Oh, but I didn't find those. Is this it? This could be it. Take a seat. Take a... S Never mind. Stand back up. Stand back up. False alarm. False alarm. False alarm. But all we need are three more diamonds now. And that's just as doable. Caving today has been so fun, like exploring these caves that are way less flooded than I would have ever thought in the last episode, it's been such a nice experience. However, after we are good and set with all these diamonds, what do I do? Like aside from, oh there you are, there you are, there you are, aside from the light gold challenge that we're setting for ourselves for the next episode, we'll do whatever that challenge ends up being, what else do we need next? Is it time for that beautiful mob farm? Maybe. Okay, so I gotta play it safe here. I'm hearing, yeah, 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 like a million, and I have skeletons. It's like there's a skeleton spawner over here or something, except, except there's not. It's just a million skeletons. And I'm out of cod. The cod has carried me all the way through this trip. This is the final moment, so the final crunch time. Will we make it? Ooh, or will I accidentally fall to my death? <laughs> ha And a creeper, and maybe the creeper will mine a little bit for me, and... No? Okay. This cave is big, and, and this cave is deep, logically, anywhere, right around the next corner. Should be the final diamond. I need one more. I need one more diamond, please, please, give it to me. Need the diamond, need the diamond, not the redstone. I want the diamond. Bring the torch with me, so low on torches, I really don't want to have to make any more. Diamond, diamond, come out, come out wherever you are. I know you're somewhere. Diamond, diamond, please. Diamond, the diamond, checking the ceiling, checking the floor, checking the walls. Diamond, <laughs> come on, diamond, please. Lava, yikes, yikes for sure. Gotta be careful there. These final diamonds are apparently the hardest diamonds to find. It's, as soon as you really desperately need the diamonds, they, they're they gone, they, they don't come out anymore. One more break, and, and hopefully I don't regret this, but one more final break. One final break, one last time, fine. But listen, I better not regret this, and while I cook those logs up, we'll get a redstone. I'll build a machine or something with this stuff. It's great. <gasps> Oh, there it is. <laughs> and there it is. One, two, three. Got him three. I was just thinking about redstone and make a joke right around the corner. Number one is, is redstone uh, and more redstone and more redstone, you know? But uh, it doesn't matter. I take the redstone. Uh, but that coal has officially wasted my time. The final diamonds of today's episode. And all there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. I did my math wrong. I'm one diamond short. How did this play out like this? All right, well, back to it. 
That was anticlimactic. I really thought I had him there. I thought it was done and dusted and we were about to head out of the cave. <laughs> so close, but so far. And all of these mobs too. Now of all times. Now of all times. No. Move. Move. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I go to a different part of the cave. I don't, I don't want this part anymore. And Spider, don't even think about it. Stop it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, this is not good. I cannot afford this for them. No, 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 We run, we run, we run, and hey, hey, cool and calm. You know, I did never check in this big cave. I have a feeling it's probably a little high, but like, oh, cool. Mm, it's kind of, kind of high up. But at the same time, I mean, it does just go and go and go. Deep slate cold, very rare, very good sign. Oh, in a close call. Very close call. I can't believe it. <laughs> I really can't believe it. They're gonna make me go all the way back up to the surface and come back down because I'm out of food. I'm gonna have to go all the way back up to the surface and come back down for one single diamond. <laughs> I love Minecraft. <gasps> Wait. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. No, I'm not. 33 diamonds in one. Oh, more than 33 diamonds in one episode. Piece of cake. I'd do it again, too. And so, with an inventory so full, in fact, so full that I unfortunately have to abandon this little bit of lapis, I think it's time we head home, friends. It's raining. It's the middle of the night. But expand the chest just a little bit so I can clear up this entire mess of an inventory. A bunch of redstone blocks, a lot of raw gold, a decent amount of raw iron, copper, copper, and even more copper. But of course, most important of all today, full set diamonds, beginning with the most expensive, the chest plate, and then the pants, and then of course, we'll need the boots, we'll also need the helmet, that'll be wonderful, we'll need a marvelous pickaxe, don't know if I'll use that yet, we'll need a tree axe for sure, for sure. One trusty little diamond sword, a diamond shovel, and it definitely not least. Actually, least for sure. One diamond hoe. Bruh. Aside from, well, the very real possibility of starving to death next episode, <laughs> we're set. Nothing's stopping us now. I would like to thank you all for watching today's diamond-filled episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to tap that like button, subscribe for more episodes, and drop a challenge that I need to do in the next one down below. It's been me, Waddles. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. In this episode, you're going to see the best luck that I've ever had playing this game. Ever. Enjoy. Michael, Don, Leo, come on. I, I told you the plan for today's episode. I'm really going to need you all to... You know what? Never mind. You can have that boat. I will just make another one. It's not that big of a deal. And awkward moment number two of the episode already. Uh, where's all my wood? <laughs> Somebody must have like burned it all or, or, or something. Survival Island in episode number three. I've got a big one in store for you today with lots of progress, some upgrades, a challenge, and a little bit of exploration too. But, but before we get into all of that, really, you joined at the perfect moment. See, if you were to have joined this episode even one minute later, you would have found me out in the middle of the ocean exploring, and you would have been so confused. Let's go. Today's episode begins with a little bit of exploration. You see, 40 seconds in, this episode is already going off of the rails. Originally, I planned on exploring our great wide world and hopefully importing a couple villagers back to this humble abode. But, uh, I mean, look at this place. Import of villagers to the island when it looks like that. No, no. And so instead, we've got a new rule. If I want to bring things back to the island, which I, I definitely do, uh, then I think I need to upgrade the island first. And friends, that's the exact plan today. You guys did really, really well on the challenge in the last episode, actually. It really impressed me. So let's do it again. 5,000 likes, and I'll pick a challenge from the comments of this episode, and I'll do it next episode. Speaking of challenge, this is challenging. To make it less challenging, maybe? More render distance. So first things first today, we're gonna explore the ocean or around our little island a little bit and hopefully find a shipwreck or two. I'm looking for hopefully if I... Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. I'm looking for a little bit of something and, and by something, I mean bamboo. If I can find one piece of bamboo, just one, that's all I'm asking for, it's not much, then, then I'll be happy, aesthetic even. Um, shipwreck. Hmm. 
See, it's been a while since I've looked around for shipwrecks in a world, um, and I don't really consider myself an expert, but if I know anything about a shipwreck, they are typically ships, and they are wrecked in the bottom of the ocean. Uh, that's where they get the name after all, so I think that's a start. Do you see that out there? Like, way out there. Is that an island, or is it a shipwreck? Oh, I see. This in the world is that thing. What is this? A ruin. And this seeing as we're in Minecraft 1.20 snapshot. Oh, the sniffer egg. The great, the beloved sniffer egg buried inside of the ruin for me. And can I find bamboo inside of this thing? Or is it all just going to be drowned? Bamboo? No. <laughs> And so, unfortunately, or fortunately, by that large... Oh, <laughs> oh. oh, okay. It, interesting. We'll come back to that. Instead, I figured out a hack. L look at this. I can literally x-ray through the, through the ocean. I can see everything. <laughs> I'm never going to miss anything anymore. Cheating? No, 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 no. I would simply say this is taking advantage of unintended, but definitely there, game mechanics. The, I mean, the, look, it, it's literally in the game, and also inside of the game is a shipwreck that I just found 100% on my own. Oh, it, it's beautiful. Now listen here, baby. Listen, baby, baby. You, you got the exact chest that I need, and listen, when I open your chest up, <laughs> it's in this chest, you're gonna have bamboo. I hate everything. I, I hate it. And so after that, it was back to using intended game mechanics for me. That shipwreck, I, I don't like it at all. It was not good. This ruined portal that I just discovered, again, completely naturally. I do indeed like this thing, including this beautiful shimmering. Ah. I mean, fine, fine, pull me down to the bottom of the ocean, whatever. You know what? I just even used this good pickaxe. Look at this. Beautiful. Treasure. Oh, beautiful. A treasure. Lots of it. I will take it all. That's delicious. And last and definitely not least, a little bit more beautiful treasure for me. Thank you. Hmm, one, two, and uh, three. Hmm, very interesting. And depending on who you are, maybe even more interesting is dead ahead. That looks big. Unfortunately, I think this is the part of the ship that doesn't have any bamboo at all, ever. But on the bright side, on the bright side, I guess it means we get this. And it also means <laughs> we get all of that beautiful stuff too. But my inventory is kind of full, so that's awkward. That's really awkward. I guess I could eat that, yeah? So I can take that and then I guess I don't think I could do anything with the potatoes, so that's that. Finally for today, definitely not using that intended game mechanic. There was one last shipwreck that I successfully located. And inside of this shipwreck, uh, it's an improvement. It's definitely an improvement. I will take these things. Back over at home sweet home, bright and early the next morning, I realized that I was going through a crisis while I had like five junk tools crowding up my inventory. So that's nice. I also realized I was running out of food, and I also realized this island, unfortunately, still has not been improved. The whole episode. So I've got a three-part plan to today's episode. Part one involved exploring the ocean and hopefully finding bamboo. Unfortunately, that's off the table, but I'll settle for potatoes and carrots. Those are good too. Perfect segue into part two of this episode. We need a better farm on the island, like right now. And then part three of the episode involves today's challenge. We'll talk about that later. I am rich. I am really, really rich. All of this diamond stuff and to that diamond too. But also carrots and potatoes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. And look at that, a log right there. That's so weird. Why would that be in the furnace? It's so funny game me mechanic thing that I would like to talk to you about. Did you know that one plank, it burns the same amount of time as an oak log? Yeah, that's right. I knew this all along, and I wasn't told by this comment, or, or this comment, or, or this comment, or any of the other, like, thousands of comments in the last episode. No, 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 no. I always knew that. It is now illegal to use logs to burn logs to turn logs into charcoal. From this point on, I will never do it again. Okay, so here's the thing. I'd like to add a farming area to this island, but at the same time, I'd like to preserve this island. It needs to stay looking beautiful, right? To preserve the island, we're gonna need to build onto it a little bit, but I, again, I, I can't terraform it too much. What I was thinking I could do here is maybe add like a small raised planting spot, like raise it up off of the ground and maybe build it down like this way or something, uh, over to like here or something. I, I mean, it'll be small, right? But 
I think it'll look good. I think we can make this beautiful. <laughs> Let's do this. Alright, so take a look at this. I came up with a problem, or realized a problem while I was working on this, and that was the fact that I wasn't gonna have any dirt. I, like, I literally have none. Then I realized there is dirt underneath the farm. <laughs> like, literally right underneath this farm. So check, problem solved. Oh, hi friend. I'm really curious how this is actually gonna look from the ocean. I mean, I guess not that it matters, but like, I don't know. It's, it's okay, right? Eh, we'll keep it. I mean, look, if I decide that I don't like it, I'll just come back and tear it down later. No big deal. So anyways, first bucket of the world. That's going to be super useful. And then farm. Uh, plants. What if I put water, like, right there and make it symmetrical? Put water right there. That should be good. That final shipwreck that we found was, like, basically the best shipwreck that we could have ever found. It's so good. With the help of that shipwreck, this whole farm can just go away now. Kind of looked bad anyways. We can move all of the wheat up to this farm and also actually have potatoes and carrots growing in this farm. Oh, this is so good. I would have never thought. Maybe light right there and light right there and you. No, 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 no. You have to go away. This tree has to stay. It's way too beautiful. We're going to have to work around that, okay? I'm taking a quick second to get organized here, or in other words, dump everything into this random chest. Something big has happened. We found five obsidian total, and we have a full set of netherite and a flint and steel. I also... Wait, wait a second. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I haven't slept in so long. No, I... Yeah, that's right. That's gonna be a thing. Phantoms, mm, beautiful phantoms. Yeah, look, I'm in the kitchen. Don't attack me. This is a rule. You don't attack while I'm in the kitchen. No. Oh, you, can, you can't even get past the tree. I knew we should keep that tree. All right, well, a bed. A bed is definitely gonna be something I'm gonna need to find soon, but it doesn't matter because next up, we're gonna go to the nether. Go away. No, I can't even hit them. Look, real funny, buddy. Don't come back. If we're gonna go to the nether, I'm gonna need a little bit more obsidian. And if I'm gonna need more obsidian, well, if I'm gonna get more obsidian, it's gonna be back to the mines for me. And it's fine, it's cool. I wanna live in the mines anyways at this point. No, at this point, I'm living down there. We're never coming out. Oh, oh, they can chase me under the water? You mean to say that it chased me under... Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's cool. I love phantoms. I love, I love them, them so much. much. Back down on the peaceful calm that is another cave system. Uh, lava, lava, lava. I know I saw lava somewhere. I want to say it was maybe like we went this way and down this hallway and then there was like lava down at the bottom or something. And I didn't really do anything with it. Is that the case? Maybe? <clears throat> no, 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 not right now. I, I, I swear we went down this way and there was lava somewhere in here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah, lava. Hmm, a little bit more lava. I don't think this is the lava I was thinking about. Yeah, yeah definitely not. Hmm. So here's this. I, re I remember that vividly, vividly. Hmm. It's even more lava. Hmm. One hour later. And there it was, after running around in the caves, looking at deranged chicken for like 20 minutes. Eventually, I found the lava I was looking for. Now, all I need to do is this fun, <laughs> and very enjoyable process for a little while, and, and then we'll meet back up on the surface. Heading back up to the surface, please be daytime, please be daytime, and also phantoms, please just be gone. Uh, daytime, uh, check, 100% phantoms. Oh, they would have burned by now, they, they would be toast. Okay, this is great. Before we can take on today's challenge, I, I need to look around and find a little bit more food. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, hello, beautiful. You aren't exactly the beautiful that I was looking for. I mean, I wasn't looking for any. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, this is, this is wow. Any fences. My sweet, my lovely, my wonderful friend. 
<laughs> what? Okay, I knew this was a reality. I knew this was a potential reality, but I didn't think it could it could ever happen. Hello, friend. Hi. Hey. Hey. Look. Look. Listen. This is gonna be your home. This is your home, sweet home, right there. Wow. Okay. So, um, w what happened here? What happened here was, you see, pretty simple. I, I was out at the water uh, farming, and because there are no grass blocks around here, these are the only grass blocks, which means we have a chance if, if we're not, like, too close. If we're not too close to this bot, uh, passive mobs can actually spawn here, which means theoretically we could leave the island, come back, and a sheep could be here, or obviously a cow or a chicken or really any other passive mob that likes to spawn on, on grass blocks. Wow. Well, that's beautiful. A little cross-eyed, but <laughs> wow. See, originally I talked about it a little bit, but the plan was to go out into the great big world and explore. Bring some villagers back, and that would have been cool. But what if we explore the nether instead? And instead of just explore the nether, find every single bio. Or, 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 or as a consolation, if for some reason I can't find every bio, if I can find at least one nether structure, we're good to go. Break this down, and let's do this. Just in time two. No chance I'm dealing with those phantoms again. No. Good spawn. No, or at least safe spawn. At least it's safe. Next step, get out of here. So biome number one, the Basal Delta's biome. That's a, that's a solid check. We've already got that. However, but uh, the lava right there. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. No, it's not like that. Blackstone and land. Oh, or, uh, or a cave. Okay. Okay, so from the looks of where we are, 78, we're pretty high up in the nether. Now, my best guess to, to get out of this situation, because this unfortunately doesn't go anywhere, would be dig a hallway. We, we dig a hallway, and hopefully it opens up. <laughs> nether, sweet nether, please open up so I can, like, explore this place and not just be another random pocket with, with nowhere to go. In that moment, a strong sense of utter desolation and despair hung heavily over my head. I didn't know what to do. Didn't look like this cave was going to go anywhere. Because it didn't look like this cave was actually going to go anywhere, I decided it might be a better idea to go back to the portal and dig a tunnel going straight out in the other direction. While working on this idea though, I did almost run out of wood. I had to make a quick stop back in the overworld. Eventually... <laughs> Eventually, after digging for what felt like forever, but probably really wasn't that much, an opening. The nether. It's here. Okay, so from this point on, I don't exactly know what to do. I mean, maybe definitely mark that, show that, so I can find my way back, but I guess we have to move through this biome. I don't have much of a choice. Uh, fortunately, I do have a lot of blocks, and um, actually, are, are gas going to spawn in this place? Do they go in the Basal Delta biome? I can't remember. At this point, I was feeling pretty good. While contemplating the biggest questions of life, such as gas spawning, I decided to start making my way through this Basal Delta biome. As I started to make my way through the biome, I realized that it might have been smarter to go the other way. So, I backtracked and did exactly that. I figured, because the Basal Delta biome is so dangerous and we're in hardcore, I'll just try and make big bridges all over the whole biome. By making a big bridges, I cut off basalt parkour entirely, and also make an easy way back and forth. After bridging and building for a long ways, eventually I kind of got nowhere except even more basalt deltas biome. I'm pretty sure this has got to be the world's biggest basalt deltas biome. I figured at this point it might be a good idea to stop with the sky bridge thing because it's kind of going nowhere, and maybe jump down and explore a little bit. Fortunately, it looks like everything's opening up, so I guess there's that. Maybe what I do is I build one final bridge, and, and this will be it, I, I swear. But bridge goes from there to here to over to that island. Then maybe from there I can just, like, you know, skip all this lava and actually get to explore. All right, so uh, quite the slow buildup, but we... But we're here. A dramatic climb, a crawl, a slow crawl. Oh, 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 oh. all right. Okay, I, I will take it. I'll take it. You know what? Back to the bridge building for me. I hear a gas, I don't like it, and I see... I see the target. <laughs> I see exactly where I'm trying to go next. Okay, so I'm digging, and uh, oh, oh, I'm close. So oh, I'm so close. We can easily get into this thing. There's gonna be a blaze spawner right there. That's gonna be dangerous. There's gonna be another one. But oh, there might be some sweet, sweet treasure. Home sweet home. 
It's gonna be this tunnel right here. All right, so let's think about this. If I get close to that thing, it will immediately spawn Blaze, and uh, ideally, Blaze are not what I find. I think what I want to do is maybe. Ooh, they already found me. Okay, mm well, uh, fun. <laughs> this will be fun. All right, well, look, here goes nothing. Here's the pl oh, it it literally connects. It literally this isn't high stakes at all. This is easy. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay, yeah, 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 they shoot fireballs, that's right, that's right, they shoot fireballs at you when they see you, and, and those fireballs terrify you, and, and make your heart stop, yeah, that's right, that's right, I, I completely forgot about that mechanic, mm-hmm, love it, I, I really do, okay, so sooner or later, the plan is to build a winding staircase, and the staircase will wind slowly into the fortress and land at lava somehow, okay, yeah, no biggie, don't sweat it. All I do is I readjust the staircase a little bit. So, uh, even more lava, okay. Oh, that's not good, that's not good. That is so bad. How is there lava right here? And can I stop burning, please? Okay, well, we're gonna need a new plan. And I think this plan is gonna be a little bit dangerous, but I should be able to pull it off. We're really close now. All I need to do is build a small staircase off the side of this thing very small staircase. We get in the fortress, and then I see the lava, and we run. Uh, that's it. That's it. We're in. <laughs> We're safe. Pe piece of cake. The lava marks the way out. Now, uh, now that I'm inside of this fortress, I think what we want to do is go to, like, the inside thing. That's where all the loot is, and maybe we could even use this fortress to, like, cut through and find a bunch more of the biomes. Oh, this is going to be good. Also, it's suspiciously quiet. Really, really quiet inside of the fortress. I mean, weird, but also not complaining at the same time. Kind of don't mind. Three nether biomes, down. Out of the five that I could potentially find. But I kind of got the structure, so yeah. Um, never mind. Four biomes down. The, the Soul Sand Valley and maybe a second fortress. Definitely. It's right over there. So, well, I mean, I'm close enough, right? Four biomes. All I need to do is find that sweet, sweet, beautiful blue biome and maybe even a little bit of nether wart too. Can I find some nether wart, please? What I would like to do is move back over to this lava and somehow figure out a way to carve this lava away. The fortress looks like it goes like really, really far that way. And actually, you know what? Carve the lava away. Um, that was easy. That, that was really, really easy. <laughs> anyways anyways moving on this fortress continues to go down and oh wait for it wait for it blue biome please blue biome please red biome hmm uh, no all right well red wood is sweet sweet beautiful red wood you're coming home with me hey uh, look at this this kind of wraps around too that could explore like on the ground in in this biome too if i wanted to I mean, while we're here, we might as well take a quick look around, right? M maybe we'll find something, or... Oh, we, we find a dead end? <laughs> okay. I mean, look, at least there's gold. I can mine it with stone, right? Yeah, yeah, at least there's gold. Mm. Back over at the good old-fashioned nether fortress, it seems that a lot of mobs have decided that it would be a fun idea to spawn. <laughs> really funny. Uh, listen, I don't have a lot of food, so I really can't, like, do that. I, I can't do that forever. Instead, what I'm going to do is run just a little bit. Hopefully dodge all of these fireballs that they're shooting. Yeah, I mean, a terrible shot. And, okay. Find you instead. That's, like, even worse. All right. So, the exit to, to the nether fortress is going to be right there. The bigger part of the fortress is going to be right over here. Ten pieces of fish left. Let's see if we can do this. Explore. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Well, that was easy. That was really, really easy. Oh, oh. And so after exploring what was the rest of this deceivingly small nether fortress with really not much to it, with all of this good loot in hand, I decided it was definitely time to backtrack and get out of the nether. Um, uh, <laughs> bad timing. Really bad timing. What? Back over at home, thankfully, in the middle of the day, I think we just had the best, worst nether spawn ever. 
two wither skeleton skulls in nether ward? Uh, yeah, I mean, I would say that's not bad. <laughs> and a cow too. What should I name it? And so friends, that is it. That's the story of how we explored our ocean for some sweet, sweet treasure. We expanded our island with a brand new farming setup, got a cow, went to the nether, and found some amazing things, and even improved our house too. Wait, what? Improved our house too, that's right. Oh, that's, that's right, this whole thing. Mm-hmm, well. Uh-huh, well, you see, uh, what I, I could do, I have always wanted to have this more on, like, the point of the island, right? That's nice. I didn't really find any string or anything that I could use for, like, a bed or anything, though, so... These little benches, yeah, yeah, we make them a little more comfortable, right? Like, that old trap door thing, that wasn't very comfortable, but this, oh... This is the life, and I don't even need that there either, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks nice. Composter for, obviously, like, um... That's, like, trash, right? And look, if I put something in it... Uh-huh, you see, you see the garbage in there, yeah? And finally, last but not least, uh, definitely a couple rocks stranded on the shore. I mean, after all, it's a rocky, wild ocean, right? Ah, home sweet home. This has never looked better. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like, a comment, a challenge down below, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Now to sea again, we begin, we meet again once more, out of the great big blue that is sea again. Lads, laddies, everybody, welcome to Island Survival, episode number four. And thank you all for the love of the last episode. I've got another big one in store for you today. Uh, but here's the thing. To make this big one in store for you today that I have planned, uh, we need to use intentional game mechanic number 73 again and uh, scour the ocean floor. I need something very specific. Very, very specific. Whoa, I need something beautiful looking. I did not realize that. I mean, looks to be, uh, <laughs> island's gone, so probably about a thousand blocks away from home, but land! That's beautiful! But even more importantly, do you see what I see, or just saw, right down here? So, at the beginning of the last episode, I was diving deep in the ocean, looking around for something specific. Uh huh. Today, my friends, today has to be different. It must be. You see, it's list week, and to pull off list week, I need one very specific thing, and... <gasps> I didn't think that was actually gonna work. <laughs> I didn't think that was actually gonna work. We actually have the beautiful... Oh, no, 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 please, please, no. I have a family, I have children, I have turtles to think about. I can't drown right now. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, uh, okay, one near-death experience. Mm -hmm. uh, th that will be enough. I will not happen again. I... Thought I brought the magma blocks for this situation. Anyway, anyways, I can't believe it. We found it. We've, I'm trembling. I, we found it. I didn't mean to get so loud so soon in the episode, but we found it right there. Recipes. Oh, new beautiful recipes and food and drowning again. I just no big deal. <laughs> we did it, lads, laddies. Everybody is ours. The entire beautiful world is ours. Should I, based off of my current track record, should I dive back down and try and get the other stuff? Hmm. Hmm. Risk the world for a little bit of treasure? Yeah, why not? Treasure? Uh, treasure? I don't have all. Okay, okay, yeah. I was gonna say I don't have all day. Treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come with me. Risk the world for a little bit of treasure? What are you talking about? Of course not. I would never accidentally drown myself. No, no, never. Um, including now, which I'm running out of air again. Uh, this is... It's tricky, okay? It, it's harder than it looks. As we slowly approach the oasis that is our home in the middle of this vast wasteland that is the ocean, I... I have a really big problem. So last episode, you might recall the beautiful progress that we made inside of the nether. Great discoveries. You may also recall the small camping setup that we made, which I'm fond of. I, I like it. However, this farm. I've been looking at this farm in between episodes, and I think I actually hate this thing. I'm really embarrassed that I actually built this thing, and it's just all around bad. Really, really bad. I'm really sorry that I put you through the trauma that was the farm last episode, but I, I promise I'll make up for it today with five big farms. Let's dig right in. There is no way that this is going to be enough dirt, but it should 
hopefully at least <laughs> hopefully it's at least enough to start First things first, if we're gonna make huge farm upgrades to our island today, we need to start with an early version of the final farm that we'll build in this episode. See back over here on the, yo. How long have you been here, Walter? How long have you been here, Walter? You are not one of the planned farms today. Well, my friend, your eyes are as crossed as ever, oh, but you're... Wait a city Walter and Sally, wait a second, when did you both arrive here on the island? Oh my gosh, Walter and Sally. Well, I... <laughs> I, I promise I didn't plan on that. Um, well, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's so beautiful. Alrighty, alrighty, so listen, I wasn't planning on building a farm for any of you three beautiful creations today. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, you stay inside of the farm. I wasn't planning on, on doing a thing with, with you guys today, but listen, um, you're gonna live there for now. Well, this is unreal and un uh, absolutely unbelievable. Oh, it, it's so good. And also, while I struggle to get these mobs inside of this pen, let me please talk a little bit about today's challenge. Last episode, I said if we hit 5,000 likes, I would pick a challenge and do it. The challenge is actually the theme of all of the builds that we'll be building today. I thought this comment right here was just beautiful an island with like Venice themed builds or whatever or like essentially platforms off of the island uh, that will keep the island looking beautiful and I think the platforms will look so good too I can't believe that we just got sheep I don't have to deal with any phantoms today that means that is so good anyways the farm we're gonna start right now and then finish up later it's for trees if we're gonna build platforms we're gonna need more wood and if we're gonna need more wood we need a farm I think I'm going to cry though like like just for a second if you don't mind I, I think I'm going to cry <laughs> I literally can't believe what just happened to us Can can you pinch me is this real? Build the farms off of this island. Hmm. This seems pretty simple as long as I can try and build a bridge that looks nice I, I was imagining like a, a bridge that swoops down over the high point of the island Right so swoops down and then probably swoops back up ab above the water I, I think we don't want it to be too long right so like if I were to go out here and then one more step up and a little swoop, please be honest, guys. Um, is that like a good bridge or is that bad? <laughs> Farm number two is gonna sit right out here above the great big balloon. This is gonna look really, really good too, and it's gonna be kind of big. What I was thinking is one, two, three, four, five this way, and then uh, five the other way. That's gonna make this farm 10 by 10 blocks, and we're gonna be fancy here. We're gonna put a bunch of logs on the farm. It's gonna look so good too. However, However, before we work on farm number two, we need to work on farm number one. And I think farm number one is going to be built off of farm number two. As the rain sets in, let's take a step back and look at our island for a second. Remember the goal. We have 100 days to transform this island into an empire and also make it look good. If I'm going to make this island look good and also turn it into an empire, I think surrounding this island on every single side with docks that come off and more farms, I actually think that would look really bad. It's just a tiny bit of bobbing up and down in the water later, and we have the beginnings of this next farm. Now listen, I, I'm not gonna call myself a genius for this next one, but I'm kind of a genius for this one. In the last episode, we went mining, and I got a ton of gravel. What's the easiest way in all of Minecraft to duplicate dirt? Ah, coarse dirt. Aha. See, I'm severely low on dirt. After all, I can't tear up the whole island. But coarse dirt, coarse dirt is my best friend. Oh, and a phantom attack. Well, I'm under the water. That's so rigged. That's so rigged. Listen, dude. No, you can't do that. Well, I'm inside of the water. I'm not even on the island. It's not fair. It's not good. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I'm the king here. Listen, look at me. Look at me. You're disgusting green eyes. I don't care you have green eyes. Stop it and leave me alone. Yep, that's right. You get what you deserve. Come down from here, pasty skin. Uh, one more time, you swipe back that one more time and I swear I will tell you. Professional phantom hunter, you're looking at him. He's gone. So, about this bed situation. About this sweet, sweet bed situation. On the day number one or two or whatever in this island, I, I thought I made, I did, I made shears. These shears were actually originally for actually breeding the turtles, which I haven't done quite yet. But the shears could also definitely be for shearing the sheep. 
of course, as usual, there is only one type of bed that we can sleep in at first, and it's not a white bed or a gray bed. If I want to sleep, which I definitely, definitely do, I think the bones come in handy first. We take the bones, we run over to the grass patch on the island, and we find the most beautiful flower. Red flower, red dye. Red flower, red dye. I'm sorry I'm so emotional today, but guys, I think I'm still going to cry. I, I just can't believe how that worked out with the sheep. That is like perfect. Let's take a nap. Hello everybody, it is I, Waddles, from the Dream Dimension. Depending on how things go today, we may do a little bit of exploring next episode. And if I'm gonna do that, I like a game. Down below, comment something I need to find and bring back home with me on our potential big adventure next episode. Thank you so much, and now it's time to wake up. Oh, uh, wow. I feel like I had a weird dream last night. Anyways, I planted the bamboo we found at sea on the island a while ago, and look at this. It's ready to go. You see, there's something you might have forgot about, but I haven't. Inside of the crafting table, with this beautiful bamboo block, we can place it like this, and because we're in 1.20, this bamboo block, that is real. This little course dirt platform that I've been working on over here is our big bad bamboo farm. The plan is plant bamboo all over this thing, harvest the bamboo, and build with bamboo <laughs> all over the island. It's gonna be great. So this whole ugly thing that I built on the island, I'm really sorry. I saw a couple comments about it in the last episode. It's ugly looking, it's really bad, and I, I embarrassed myself. We, are, we already went over that, don't have to live it again. I'm sorry about it, it the monstrosity won't happen. I'm gonna tear this farm down, and I'm gonna restore the island to how it once was. Restore island to original beauty. Check. And actually, not only original beauty, but like level it up with a little bit of bone meal. That'll look really, really good. But, uh, secret room? Hey, you never heard about it. In effort to preserve the original beauty of the island, I think it's fully fine to uh, hollow it out a little bit, get some dirt, and transport it off to the side of this thing. The farm that I'm setting up over here off to the side of this thing is essentially going to be an upgraded crop machine. Inside of this farm, for now, we'll be planting every single type of crop that we own, which is actually all of the important ones, other than the most important one. See, unfortunately for us, we don't have any beets, so we can't plant those here. But we do have wheat seeds, we have carrots, and most importantly, we have potatoes. I've got a little personal goal to move our main food source over to potatoes, like, as quickly as possible here. But for now, though, just to get the farm up and running and, you know, start to get actually more food in general, we'll just go ahead and plant everything that I have. With those crops planted, that means functionally, two farms are basically done so today, with another one like, eh, maybe halfway there. Aesthetically, it's time to make some big upgrades though, which means I'm gonna need to farm some trees, I'm gonna need to wait around and harvest a lot of bamboo, and to help prep for another farm, I need to dig a hole. Let's do this. Just a little bit of time later, in progress. I've, I've made a lot of progress. As you can see here, these poles go all the way down to the water. No, I don't really know what's going on in this world. I think it's a glitch or something, but like, from up here above the water, it almost looks like the poles get cut off or something, but, but trust me, I wouldn't lie to you. The poles actually do go all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. If I go under the water, you could tell. <laughs> Visual glitches aside though, look at this farm. It's working, it's producing so well. It's already kind of like ready to go. That's beautiful looking. This farm over here, oh boy, this one is my favorite. This is so good. We're gonna have so much bamboo in no time, which means we can build like, I mean, we can build any build we want in the world, including big and giant to perfect mob farm in the sky. Yeah, it's gonna be great. You thought the sheep thing was emotional. This is gonna get emotional for real because of the first bamboo blocks of the world, the first bamboo planks I'm ever building within survival. <laughs> it feels so good. Here they are. They're so beautiful. What I think I want to try and do is build like bamboo fences. Yeah, yeah, those could look really good on a build and like just bamboo blocks and in, in general. Like my voice is cracking. I'm so happy. 
See how these farms we're building today? Of course, I was imagining bamboo fences. I mean, if we're going to build a bamboo farm, literally for bamboo, we need to use the bamboo fences. So, you know, maybe something like that over here. And then maybe on this side, we could do like, I don't know, some kind of like cool curve like that. Maybe leave the middle open because I don't know, uh, just leave it open. So I'm going to have to keep harvesting out the bamboo. But then uh, down here below the island, I started digging out a room. Unfortunately, when I was digging out this room, I got tons and tons of this stuff, which we're gonna see if I can put that to use in a minute, but farm number three of today is gonna be down here, under the ground. A piston, can I sub this in? Oh no, oh no, this just is, this is so bad. All right, well, like a million useless blocks aside, we're gonna build an automatic machine or, or semi-automatic machine. So here's the thing, right now I have quartz, and actually enough quartz that I would need to build this farm fully automatic. But what I don't really have a bunch of extra pieces of is iron. I don't have very much iron. So this farm could totally be fully automatic, and that would be cool, but I, I think I'm fine with semi-auto. Uh, let's think about this. If I have the piston right there, then the kelp grows right there, and then that means I would have a wall right here. I think I want to keep this room a little bit more open than that. So what I want to do is dig all of this back one block. I dig it back one block, and then the farm sits back one block. So, like, wall right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. That's it. A little bit more digging for me. Now it's time for redstone. So, one, two, three, four, five. I want to center this farm right here. It's just going to be a small farm. Uh, we do the basalt like that. I think that'll look pretty cool. Then maybe up here, we do the basalt going like up and down. I got so much basalt, and basalt is actually one of my favorite building blocks. I think it just looks so, so good. Now look, this little contraption here, this is some pretty advanced stuff. Super high tech. As you can see, we're running redstone lines, which are one of the most advanced things in the game. Yeah, this is a tricky farm. Climb down out of this thing, place a couple more blocks right there. Go to the inventory, craft a button, grab the button, place the button right there, press it, and... Uh-huh, you get the vision. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna harvest all of the cow for me. All I've got to do is dump a little bit of water right there, put blocks in here to, like, contain the water so it actually looks good, and then it'll be perfect. But now that I look at this, and... I mean, now that I look at that, and now that I think about what I'm getting up here, I might need to tear that farm down, guys. <laughs> I might need to take it all down. What about bamboo? Oh! Oh, that's a keeper. Yep, that's a keeper for sure. No more trees right here. Uh, <laughs> that's a good keeper. Always looks so good. Anyways, back down here, I've come up with a new vision. Check this out. It's a lot of bamboo, and it's really, really yellow. Maybe I could, like, do something else in this room to blend it in a little bit more. But what if maybe we, we put a... Oh, whoops. What if maybe we don't do that? Anyways, instead of basalt everywhere, we'll put a button up there. I hit that, it'll power all of that. I fixed it all. And then down here at the very bottom of this thing, I plant kelp. I think, well, I mean, like, obviously right here, the water is being held in here. It won't go anywhere. And I think once I get water sources up there, it should pour forward and then, like, essentially rinse everything out of the farm. The kelp should get thrown up to the top eventually, like, once it's all actual water sources. So, uh, I'll just let it fill in for a little while. And then I, I think the kelp will just get dumped out of the top into the hallway right here. Oh, it's going to be great. So, that's one side of the room. Check done. I'll let it grow for a little while. It'll be pretty good. For the other side of the room, I have to send a shout out to you. I'm, I'm stealing this idea from you guys. It was in the comments of the first episode. This was like the number one challenge, I think. The challenge, of course, it was build an underwater base. Now, a fully underwater base right now, <laughs> maybe that will be a bit much of work, but a partially underwater base with a window out into the great big ocean? Haha. <laughs> a window that peers dramatically into the great big blue is totally doable. Down here underneath, if I go ahead and frame the window with basalt, uh, you know, keep it looking really, really good, and then put glass panes all over the place, this should cut out all of the water. Maybe, uh, maybe I have to unwaterlog some. But anyways, fill this wall in with the glass panes, and maybe eventually this becomes the entrance to, like, some kind of big underground hub. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's gonna look really, really good. I'll clean it up, I'll make it look a little bit better, and then we can move on. And well, <laughs> I have a loop. It works.
I think I've got it. I think I finally came up with an aesthetic that I'm really, really liking for this island, and just everything is starting to come together really, really nicely. Take a seat if, if you've been standing this whole time. We do have a little bit more work that I definitely need to get done today, but it's time for a quick tour. And so walking over this way, the bridge, I've been trying to make a couple upgrades to it, and then over here, the beach, I terraformed it so the room looks good from the top. Over here, what I want to do to basically like finish this whole thing off is a couple more fences right there, and then definitely fences over here. I don't want to plunge into the sea. Trying to keep things nice and bright all over the island, so maybe a couple more torches right there. Over here at the bamboo farm, things are basically fully finished. I, I like the bamboo farm. Over here on the tree platform, things are starting to shape up. I've got a vision. Here's what I was thinking, and maybe what we could do is take some trap doors, it's gonna be a little bit expensive, and then definitely some slabs. Trap doors and slabs, what if we were to make this thing almost look like it's some kind of floating raft in the water over here? A floating raft that can logically, of course, support gigantic trees that I am farming on top of it, and also whatever else I want to come back on and, like, farm on this thing. For now, it'll probably just be trees, but I figured if I needed to, I could take out the torches and maybe try and farm mobs over here. So yeah, that'll be pretty good to have. I don't think I'll connect that to the island. I'll just swim over to it anytime I need it because after all, it's a raft and it's fully floating in the water, you know? So that'll be good. Now, uh, over here, next to the founding tree, we have this brand new staircase. We walk down and... Now, now listen, listen. The aesthetics are simple. It's really not much, but... We walk down in here and eventually I'm imagining some kind of carpet, but we walk down and then we got this sandstone wall behind me. I think the sandstone, oh yeah, it makes me feel like I'm like actually under the island or something. So sandstone wall right there and then an ugly wall right here because I think I'm actually planning on expanding this thing. Maybe I'll dig out that way and build even more farms. It'll be pretty cool. I've got a cool view into the ocean that, I mean, it like kind of works. You can kind of see. And then this thing. Attempt number one. I've never harvested this yet. Will it work? I do. Oh, yup, yup. It'll work. Boom. <laughs> Perfect kelp farm, just like that. Then I can take the kelp over here, smelt it up. So, I guess we'll do that. We'll smelt it up, turn it into dried kelp, and then I've got the building block, or maybe even furnace fuel, too. All of that is a lot of amazing progress. It's time for the very final farm of the day, and then we can wrap things up. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh, final farm of the day will sit somewhere over here. Then maybe we could build it like close to that thing. I want to keep things like packed in. I was definitely thinking on this farm that we will 100% to make it a circle. Absolutely, absolutely a small, small circle. Oh, we're gonna have just enough. We have just enough soul sand for this farm. Okay, that's cutting it close. I hope I have enough of the other stuff. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough wood to build this exactly how I want to, and if I don't, it's a sad moment, so sad. Warped logs, we stack them up in the corner. And warp logs, we do it in every corner. Warped log, yeah, crimson log, yeah, whatever, whatever, you know what I mean. Now, it's time for the first beautiful block of the world. <laughs> the stone cutter, oh, it's so perfect, we'll keep it down here. We make this for walls, a plain old cobblestone walls. I think that'll look nice on this build and it'll match everything else that we've been doing today. Cobblestone walls at the back. Oh, look at this thing. It's coming to life. It's coming to light. You see what I'm building? So in the last episode, when we went over to the nether, you might remember how lucky we got. It was actually insane, like really good. We found a nether fortress and then inside of the nether fortress, we found something beautiful. I think it was in that very same episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was last episode, like right at the beginning. I also did a little bit of ocean exploration. Right at the start, when we were doing that ocean exploration, oh, that's a big tree. Uh, anyways, right at the start, we found something really good. A golden apple. We have nether wart, we have golden apple. We don't have any villagers quite yet. I have no clue if there's any village nearby at all. And by nearby, I mean like, of course it's not gonna be within a thousand blocks of us. We got a giant ocean in every direction. But I mean like, maybe we have a village on like a beach nearby. If we could get lucky and find a village, we could totally get a villager, and then we could bring that villager back over here. We could turn that villager into a zombie, cure it, get a really, really good trade. Because I have a nether ward farm, too. Maybe add a couple more slabs on the top of this thing, get the dome just right, which I think... Perfection! Yes, yes, beautiful perfection! Look at that dome on that! That's good! That's it! And look at this, even utilizing our new little friend in here. We can make some staircases, two of them. Oh, it's so good. And we could also turn one block into one block with slabs. I can switch this up up here so we can actually like walk into the farm smoothly. With that right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that brings us to here. The very final bamboo harvest of the day. Over the course of today's episode, we've built farms on farms on farms, and during that whole process, made our island a whole lot more beautiful too. 
In a plot twist that shocked all, we discovered the most useful mob, like basically of all time. Two of them. We'll farm those things more later. I added a couple more rocks to our stony shore, and even actually started getting way better food too. It's really good. With the very little nether wart that we currently have planted on our island, we're now set. I feel like the island is now finally looking good, like so good, that we can actually go out and explore and bring things back home. While the sun sets again on our island, and while I do a little bit of wood chopping, that is the very end of episode number four of Island Survival. What do you think about the progress we made today, guys? What farm is your favorite? Let me know. If you haven't yet, comment something that I need to go look for in the next episode and maybe bring back home. Thank you all so much for watching this farm design focused episode. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been me, Waddles, and I will see you all tomorrow. Happy holidays, everybody. Goodbye. My beautiful island-loving friends, we meet again on our stranded island, this time one day before my birthday, with the worst birthday present ever. <laughs> sure, in between episodes while I was cooking up the baked potatoes, another cow spawned on the island somehow, and it's beautiful, sure, but also, at some point I've updated to 1.19.3. 1.19.3, it will not do, it will not work, I can't believe this, we waited far too long. Compared to 22w45a, we cannot duplicate the book. I never told you why I started in that specific snapshot, and, and now I have to. This is the worst early birthday present ever. Well anyways, welcome back everybody. As soon as I cook up these 13 potatoes, we're going on a big adventure today. In between episodes, I've done a little bit of organization. As you may notice, there's a new fence right there. There's a new chest right there. There's a new chest over there. I started to put things where they actually belong instead of, you know, inside of high-tech storage facility that is very organized. Come on, buddy. Come on. Right this way. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, what is this? A trap? No, no, no. It's not a it's no trap. You stop resisting. Stop resisting. Back, Back up. up. That's what I thought. This is great. For the very first time ever in this series, I feel like the island is ready. And actually, honestly, more than ready. I'm really happy with how the island looks. For the first time ever, we're going to leave the island, set out into the vast big world around us, and hopefully come home with the best treasure in the entire world. Now, in the last episode, I asked you all to set the theme of today's episode. Call some things that I need to find and bring back home. The first big thing that I saw a couple of people say is a brand new types of wood for a little bit more variation. This beach is looking a little bit empty. I think we could fill it up with some sugar cane today. It's been now 16 days since I've had any contact with any other civilization. I'm losing my mind. We need a villager. And finally, Michael, Don, Leo, the other one I always forget about. Uh, my heart is growing cold and lonely. I need a pet, a new friend. Don't forget the chest boat, Waddles. Don't forget the chest boat. Oh, listen. I've forgotten the chess boat entirely, but this time, oh, but this time it's for good reason. It's because things have gotten a whole lot more beautiful. Uh-huh. One handsome lad on a beautiful bamboo raft. Yes, yes, this is perfect. Remember the coordinates of home sweet home? And I, I think that's everything. We set out into the sea. Let's go. Hey, by the way, my birthday is December 23rd in honor of that big, beautiful day. Can we get a like on this video? Like just one? So for today's big adventure, I figured we would go straight out from the island this way. This way is north, maybe, and we'll follow the North Star. You, you see that star right there? Yep, that's the North Star. Now, while we sail through Big Blue, there are two bonus challenges. You see, today I was really kind of planning on exploring on the surface, not really heading down into the caves or anything like that. But I did see an interesting challenge for dripstone and lava. Also, I mean, no offense or anything like that, but I gotta ask. I saw like at least a couple of people talking about spore blossoms. What is up with your obsession with spore blossoms? I mean, I sure a couple strategically placed spore blossoms would decorate the whole island. And you know what? Now that I think about it, that's actually really smart. So if we can find a lush caves and get a spore blossom. That's the plan, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
Being a cheeky British lad that I am, I was about to say a raft, a boat inside of the iceberg land. Uh, that's bad. It's like the Titanic. Great tragedy of our times, but no, it doesn't matter. If we if we hit the iceberg right there, we swim to shore. <laughs> they didn't even think of that. Oh, but my heart, you know, it's still sick and in recovery. It's it's humming, sweet songs of joy and beauty. <laughs> I, I I can't do this. Wait, wait, just one one quick little second. Uh, I don't know if that's a desert over there. Probably not. It's probably just a beach. But this is Taiga Wood. We're we're gonna get to Spruce Wood for sure. And there's a swamp here too. What? This should be like illegal. Isn't the swamp like really warm and? That's obviously really cold and wet, right? Huh? Well, turtles like lily pads, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it would fit. Michael, Leo, Don, they will be very happy with this one. I get a couple turtle pads and uh, bring them back home, sprinkle them around the island. Oh, it'll be terraformed and beautiful. And my turtles will finally smile. They haven't smiled in days. I think I will get them checked out. First off, rain. On my very first day of exploration, I spit on you. And second off, workers filling up the mob cap. I don't think so. You will have to exit this world promptly. You cannot fill up my mob cap. I don't know if this is going to mess up mob spawning on my island. Don't do that again. I forgot my shears at home. That was a terrible decision. Could have totally sheared those sheep. But vines. I could bring vines home too. I could build a vine farm on the island, underneath the island in that cave system I set up. Oh, that's good. And now a forest biome, which I mean is acceptable, it's passable. It's not very exciting though. Hmm. Mm. And so, all but 20 seconds later, and I've realized that. It's literally just another small island. I, I mean, like, it's a little bit bigger than my island, obviously. It has more trees and stuff, a couple biomes on it, but it's a small island. That looks large. Or at least a little larger. Now listen, I've got to be strict. Okay, I don't know. That's dangerous. Oh, there's multiple. No, an ambush at sea. No, 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 no. Wait. I have diamond armor on, you fools. You imbeciles. <laughs> Come back. Where are you at? <gasps> no! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! They shouldn't target me, right? It doesn't work like that. Where is he even hiding? Hiding amongst the kelp. Where is he? I can hear the tridents. Pro trajectories are saying that way, I think. Right? I don't know. I want to find him. There's like a million tridents around over here. I've got to be able to get at least one trident. Look it. Okay, okay. You know what? You know what? I suddenly don't know if I care about a trident. I, I just don't. I don't really need it. I did. I didn't want it. Don't want the trident, okay? You come out of the ocean. Come on. It's pathetic. Oh no. Oh no. What is this? A damsel in distress in the shallow water sitting here on a raft. I would hate if. If any drowned were to somehow make its way over to the damsel in the shallowest of water. Stop it! Stop it! Where'd my raft go? It did it? Oh, no, no, no. There it is. Hey! No, no! I'm, I'm not even in the water anymore. Stop it! Stop it! I think it's just one over here, though, right? And if it's just one, I should be able to navigate over here. And you better drop this thing. You better... No! I don't think you dropped it. Where's your friend? Where, where are you at? All right, there's another one of you. Real funny. Nope. Okay, fine. Sure, you. You better drop it. I did not go through all this trauma, all this struggle and pain for you to not give me a trident. I hate everything. Why can't I pick these tridents up, huh? Real funny, Jeb. All right, well, small sidetrack aside, buried treasure map and a little bit of coal. And I guess gold nuggets, too. I gotta be careful. I can't fill up too much. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. And well, 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 look what I found. Buried treasure on the very first try too. Like the first bot I dug. This is insane. I must be like cheating or something. Wow. Heart of the sea is maybe actually going to be pretty beautiful. Oh yeah. All this sand hot. That's awkward. I don't know how that all happened. All right, well, destruction of the environment aside, I got a heart of the sea now, and I also have two sugar cane.
It's not much, but it's a start. I think it's finally time we can do a little bit of deforesting while we're at it, too. I'm going to chop down a bunch of spruce trees, get a bunch of spruce wood, and hopefully get even more spruce saplings. I cannot wait to farm these things back at home. Well, I think you will be proud to see that this big chunk of the forest has now been deforested. Finally, made a little bit away from like some kind of corporation or something to set up over here. That's, that's gonna look pretty good. Also, 17 saplings now. It's pretty crazy. And let's get rid of some of this junk. Really sorry about that, Sam. And so with them, their noble adventurer today decided to set foot straight off inland. While traveling in land, I found something that I actually somehow completely forgot about. The sweet berry bush. Those will definitely look nice on the island. I also noticed some sleeping foxes, which was really, really tempting. It could be cool to capture those and bring them back home, but then again, I think they'll just chase all the fish at sea and, and leave me. Feeling alone and abandonment in general being one of my biggest fears, it's not what I need in my life at this time. I kept going. I kept going until... <laughs> This couldn't be any better, guys. This couldn't be any better. I mean, I, I don't know if this is the same ocean, but I'm sure it's the same ocean. I, I landed on the land, like, over there. Maybe, like, uh, a couple hundred blocks that way. I don't know. And it kept going. And <laughs> it's New Orleans. Or, actually, this is probably, like, Toronto or something. It's on the ocean. It's on the water. All I need to, to, to see here is if there are any resident uh, villagers working over here realizing that chess boat isn't going to cut it for, for moving a villager back, which is fine. It's fine. Oh, boy. There are some villagers inside of this place. Oh, my friends. It's a terrible time of the day for this nighttime. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to sleep. I cannot risk it. But, oh, this is beautiful. Look at how many there are. Oh, there are so many of you. This is going to be perfect. I, all I think I need for, for now is, like, one. We'll, we'll move one back home. <sighs> Maybe I can do it at nighttime. Maybe it's risky, but I think I can do it. One crafting table right here, and then we make a boat. One boat right here. We walk over here, and you, sir, you good friend, mm, get out of the bed. The bed is going to be mine, but uh, even more importantly, you're going to be mine. Romantic. No, I, I, we, I, no, 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 Look at, listen, listen. We cannot do this at nighttime. You're gonna cause zombies to spawn and and hurt your friend. Okay. All right. You sociopathic monster. Get in the boat. We need to get away from this place. The zombies are going to spawn and hurt your friend, the nitwit. All right. Let's do this chest raft thing. You wait right there. I'll be back. I think I can get far enough away from this thing pretty quickly. Nothing should spawn. And hopefully, I mean, I'm sure, I, I'm almost 100% certain this is going to work. Let's do this. One trip that was definitely way longer than I would have guessed later, and we've landed at home sweet home. You're going to like this place. Uh, so I was thinking maybe... I think the villager's number one priority right now is going to be sleep. So I think I can use the bed to, like, essentially lure this thing over to the land. And then maybe, like, ah, uh, and maybe, we'll, hey, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, you go to the land. Uh, I was thinking maybe what I could do is lure it down into, like, here. If I could make, like, a small temporary holding room, like, in the wall where it's, like, nice and safe. Ah, uh, then, then we could do whatever we want to do with this villager later. I, I think I'm going to worry about today, but I just got to make sure it's safe. Uh, I hear a drowned. See, that's terrible. That's the worst case possible. Villager friend, listen, um, come on down this way. Ignore the sound of the drowned that you might be hearing. Yep, 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 you're coming this way. All right, keep on walking this way. Yes, yes, yes. And one more final trip. Walk back into this room. Um, no, hey, friend, pal, good old buddy. Don't go that way. Yep, mm-hmm, the drowned is right out there in the water somewhere. All right, now once it jumps into the bed, I can go ahead and make this room a little bit more spacious for you so you don't get, like, hurt or anything, you know? There you go. It's a little bit more roomy. I am an empath, after all. I want to make sure you're comfortable. We'll do cobblestone right there and a cobblestone right there. That should be pretty good. Or actually, we'll just pull this out and, and do a half slab there. Uh, and, and that should be good. No baby zombie should be able to get you. You should be safe forever. I love you. Hey, wait a second. 
Wait just one second. What is that that I see sitting on the ground over there? Mmm, it is. It is what I suspected. A random pumpkin? Uh, sure. I don't know how much of a use I have for this right now, but yeah, sure, sure. You come with me. One more long sailing trip later, and I've made it back to Toronto. Along the way, I stopped and picked up some raw fish because I think the other goal that we need to finish can be found inside of this town. You see, in fact, that there was evidence of it right there. There should be a cat somewhere inside of this village. We, we could tame the cat. It will be the best friend, and it will also help keep creepers away. So, kitty, kitty, I, I see you right over there. This bell, you're coming home with me. Uh-huh, there you are. So how do you tame a cat, friends? No, like, like really, I, I can never remember how to actually tame a cat. They always just run away from me. Stop moving so far away from me. I think you like raw fish, right? I, and I think I definitely need to sneak. I, I just sneak over to the fish. Hey, cat, hey, kitty, kitty, look at you. You want the salmon, right? You, you like, look it, it's on the ground. No? Okay, fine. Look, I'm right here. Yes, please walk over to me. Please, please, please. It's actually working here. <gasps> You're my best friend. Come with me back this way. Yes, yes, best friend. Let's go. Oh, another friend too. I wish I could take them all, but I will have to take one extra trip for each pet. I think I have to push it into the boat and, and take it back home. Listen, bestie, we will meet again very soon. For now, you will wait right there on the shore, and I will not forget you. And so with that, big progress is exactly what we've made. At this point in the episode, we finished every single one of the goals we had to finish. Now it's time for those sweet, sweet optional goals. The Lush Caves biome, the Dripstone Caves biome. The Lush Caves biome, in theory, shouldn't be too bad, right? Like if I run around and I find one of those trees sitting on the surface, all I need to do is dig straight down from the tree and then, and then I can find a swarm blossom and get out of there. Dripstone Caves might be a little bit more tricky, but the challenge for that one, well, the challenge for that one will definitely be worth it. You see, Dripstone is so useful in so many things. Mob farms, lava farms, Dripstone farms, and not to mention mob farms. <laughs> what is going on with that shipwreck? It, it's literally on top of the iceberg. They're like 360 flipped on top of that boy. Um, wow. All right, so as I approach this thing at night time, pink sheep, oh, that's so rare, pink sheep is standing right over here, I won't take you out, I won't hurt you, don't worry, don't worry, that's so cool, oh my gosh, this is the second time I found one of these things within like a couple weeks, uh, anyways, as I approach this cave in the middle of night time, trying to, you know, maximize the amount of days, uh, disappointment, it looks like it's just a really impressive big cave here, a little bit of coal and stuff, sure, but yeah, n nothing like dripstone, that's too bad. We'll keep moving. I'm also still looking around for lava, and speaking of lava, I can at least do that. <laughs> and so, just as I was about to give up, I found the better of the two options. I mean, don't get me wrong, aesthetically, this War Blossoms is amazing, and ever since I've seen the comments about it, I think I kind of need them on the island, but mechanically, functionally, oh, the Dripstone Caves biome. Look at this place, it's right below this spiky biome on the surface, too. It's kind of perfect, and is that a creeper burning? Yes, it is. I love to see that, too. Wow. Wow, the only thing that would make this any better is we walk into the cave and all of a sudden th there's a lush cave too. Oh, th this is amazing. We can at least go home with a little bit of dripstone. This is so good. Now, I am going to need to be a little careful here. Um, definitely careful. And, and not push it too hard. I, I just need to get a tiny bit of point to dripstone. Uh, and maybe some dripstone blocks too so I can farm like more of it. Wow. What a find. What a beautiful find. Really hope that I could find a lush cave, though. All right, get a little bit of this, and maybe a, a little bit more of this, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. Yeah, 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 okay, and 
Lush caves. Come on, come on, wherever you are. Oh, you go deep. You go really, really deep. Mm. Doesn't look like there's any luscious caves over here, but... But at least... Oh, at least there's so much dripstone. I think I've got enough. That's good. Wow. And just as I was about to give up, too, because we're getting really, really far from... Oh! An igloo. There's an igloo, too. <laughs> this is the best day ever. This is the best exploration trip that I've ever had in my life. Oh, it's so good. Secret room? Yeah, secret room? Ooh, yes, a secret room. A, a submerged secret room. But a secret room nonetheless. There's no way this whole room is underwater, right? Oh, yes, thankfully not. Hmm. So an experiment. And a golden apple. Thank you. And this too. Thank you, thank you. And wait a second, a cactus. We can grow that back at home too. And while I'm at it, that cauldron is mine too. You friends, uh, wait there, I I'll come back one day, I promise. All right, well, I think it's time I start looping back, find Bestie, and maybe head back home. All hope isn't lost on the Lush Caves yet. Maybe I find one on the way home, but I don't know. It's not looking too hot. Just a bit of time later, we're back at home. Uh, this is the scariest thing in the episode. You need to get out of the boat. Um, how do I? Uh, how do I? Uh, there you go. Yes, yes. Come on to the land. Let's go. Bestie, you're home. You love this place, right? Hmm. Well, pig monsters aside, let's take a look at all the things that we found today because, wow, this went way better than I thought. I was just like, ah, my brain was working today. I remember to pick up like everything that I needed to and even more. We could build sweet berry farm. We could farm the sugar cane, obviously, and the best wood in the game. We've got it. I can't wait to combine this with bamboo. It's going to be so good. I raided the village right at the end and got a ton of workstations. Obviously, I found that and this potion and this, which means we can cure up a villager. And our good friend that lives down here is definitely still living. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. We'll put you to work soon. Thank you all so much for watching this. Wait, what's that? What do you get me for Christmas? Uh, oh, you don't have to give me anything for Christmas. Just give me a candle. Give me candles. Island Survival, episode number five. It is now day 20. What should we do in the next episode? Let me know down below. Leave a like and subscribe for more episodes of this series. From me and from Bestie, from everybody here, happy holidays. Enjoy it. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Last time we met up, we explored our world far and wide for some of the greatest treasures across the land. I've successfully now imported all of these treasures back to home. And we're... And we're back at home. Good morning, my dearest friends. In today's episode, we're going to go on a brand new big adventure. Except to this time around, the adventure is going to be a little bit... Wait, do I not have any? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, oh, it's right there. It's right there. It's been there the whole time. <laughs> oh. And sit back, buckle in, because today we're going on a ride. Don't. Oh, I can't break that. No. I don't know about you, but I know about me for sure, and I think it's time we do a little bit more expanding on our beautiful island that I'm now realizing that I never actually officially named. I've had this really cool name in my head for like the longest time for this island, but I never told you. So, this island is now hereby forever crowned Turtle Island. So what do you think? I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of a fitting name. You know, after all, we got Mike, Don, Leo, that other one. Uh, <laughs> Turtle Island. Turtle Island. An honor of you guys, right there. Still trying to get that third one in the boat, huh? You keep at it. You, you'll get it one day. So I've cracked up a little bit of design work, and uh, warning, I know it looks really, really good and beautiful right now. I'm just kind of working with the blocks that I have, but I would like to show you this. Uh, so check this out. This is what I'm imagining for today's build. We're gonna build a new dock coming off of this thing, and then I, I was looking at, like, trap doors. Look at that. You can see the ocean really puts emphasis on the fact that I'm isolated, stranded in the middle of nowhere, alone forever, and just, just in general, really, really lonely. 
Uh, so yeah, th that'll put emphasis on that really, really nicely, and uh, then a section of wood, and then maybe more trapdoors right there, definitely not cobblestone, and another section of wood, whoa, don't fall right there, and, and then even more trapdoors, and then finally, that lands me out here, and right out here, <sighs> looking at the sun, the moon, the meeting together right here, it seems to be the perfect spot, perfectly aligned with these two things, for today's build. And so, it's time for a flashback. Before we enter the strange and mysterious portal that popped up at the very end of our last 100 days adventure that sent me off to the stranded island in the middle of the ocean, I built a farm. And I was really, really, truly so excited to build this farm. I didn't really think about things in the bigger picture though, and I built this farm, and I literally never got to even use the farm at all. It's kind of heartbreaking, a true tragedy of our times. Today, we will be constructing one even better the mob farm of my dreams. To fully pull this off, we're gonna need help from a couple different things, including a few torches. Uh, somehow, I I guess I've completely ran out of torches and I'm building a big platform and it's really dark. All right, so I think I've got it. Here's what we're doing now. Now we go from a straight line to amazing beautiful circle. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and then I can see it somewhere right in the middle, uh, center four by four. Ah, uh, right up underneath the moon, directly almost lined up. That's perfect. Ah, uh, I can see it now. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm so excited for this, because today we finally get to... Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Oh, I hate to be this guy, but it seems that one of you didn't leave a like on the video, and apparently for the next part of this episode, access is denied. I'm gonna need you to leave a like so we can move on, please. Uh, please, it's really quick. Ah, thank you. A lot of time, effort, and editing goes into these episodes after all, and it's all done by yours truly. Every single time. Hmm, so question, question. I know I went exploring, and I found a lot of profits and loot last episode. How much iron do I have to my name? Do I perhaps have just maybe enough iron to scounge together, gather up? Just enough iron, maybe. Ooh, oh, yeah. I think I'm fainting. I don't think, I don't think I have enough iron. What am I talking about? I did have enough iron. Again, it was in my inventory. <sighs> was that smart? No, but did I do it? Yes. The vision is so solid with this one. As you can see above us, I've created some kind of fancy floating platform. As you can see, still above us, I'm I'm placing hoppers. These hoppers, they're gonna be top secret though. Don't tell anyone about them. Prepare yourselves for one of the most beautiful blocks of all time. The mob farm of my dreams would always, would most definitely have some kind of secret, top secret, fully hidden item collection system like that beauty right there. How does it work? I just won't be able to tell you because it's a secret, but all of the items will be thrown inside of this thing just like that And now it's time to build so let's think about this I think if I drop a mob 24 blocks see exactly 24 it should fall hit the ground to crunch Ooh. every single time Which is exactly what I want my vision is pretty 2020 here Yeah, I built this one out here floating off of the island in the background and as I walk around, it's just running, and mobs are falling and falling and falling and falling every time on the mud, and and how am I going to get down from here? Uh, I could probably just jump. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that so much. I don't like that. So, uh, that is going to... Well, it's, it's gonna look. That's gonna look, for sure. <laughs> Let's crack on with it. Okay, so less of the oak wood, but I, I think I've learned a little bit of something from my time in the Navy. And by Navy, I mean my time stranded on Turtle Island. And by time stranded on Turtle Island, I mean, uh, yeah, my, my term stranded out here at the island. I think I learned something about mob farming. See, it's real awkward. I have a bucket somewhere, but heck, I, I mean, I'll just make another one. I, we have a bucket, and 
I think what I could do is if I dump the water right there, with this being four blocks, I think if I dump the water right there, it'll spill all the way to the middle, and then same thing, spill all the way to the middle, I think that's how it works, and then all the way, and, and all the way, and it will be perfect. The only question that I have is, with a smaller platform, how many mob platform things can I put in this thing? I think theoretically I could do two by two ones, and I, I do think it would work fine. Like, I could do two by two, and then, you know, like, row of trapdoors right there, I think they'll cross over and eventually fall it should work so i could do a bunch of two by two oh but then oh but then spiders oh but then spiders oh i don't know if i really wanted spiders in this thing huh hmm well i guess to get around a spider I could do slabs kind of randomly placed in here every once in a while ah no oh no and so it was at that moment that I realized why I was having all of these confusing, confusing moments. It's because my dropping spot is 2x2 two two instead of 3x3. Three three. On the previous model that I built, I made it 3x3, three three, a 3x3 a three three dropper. A 2x2 two two dropper will definitely work, it's just going to be different. We're going to need to redesign this and come up with a brand new design from the ground up. If I put this lava, like, <laughs> all the way over here, like, all the way over there, that should be safe, right? That won't burden a beautiful tree or any of my other builds, right? The whole dock? I, no way, right? It's so far away. You, you wait there. And don't be naughty. Alright? Alright, I put my thinking cap on, I thought and thought and thought, and I think I've maybe come up with something. So, first things first, we'll go ahead and test this out. If I put water right there in that corner, that dumps down, and yes, yes, as I thought, that fills up that perfect corner, so check that out. If I were to put this over here, oh, no, 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 yeah, if I were to put it up there, not pouring down, uh-huh, the same exact thing. Water currents, check, that's nice and easy. Now, uh, the mob farm, to compensate for this different design, we, what we can do is just go ahead and build up. It can be as tall as we want, after all. Uh, so first things first, we go ahead and leave a little bit of room for the water. I think if I start my platforms right there, mobs will fall down, and yeah, yeah, they'll be so clear of that thing, that's perfect. So platforms start right there, and then instead of maybe small disconnected platforms, what if I maybe ran this thing almost all the way to the edge, so like that spot right there, and then maybe I like wrap it around, right? And so I'm almost starting to form some kind of ring-shaped platform around this thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and then in the middle I would line this thing with trapdoors, right? So filling out the design a little bit more, we would end up with something that's the gap right there i think so we would, we would end up with something that looks like this like a big ring going around the thing all the way i would finish it and then i'd have trap doors in the middle and then maybe to like convince the mobs or something i could do like i don't know like maybe more blocks in the middle i don't know if one gap is enough though but uh trap doors i, I was thinking trap doors right and then they'll try and pathfind over this thing eventually fall down into the water or maybe even just like straight down into this thing somehow and boom i think it should i think it should work <gasps> oh, it grew, it grew, it grew, it grew. I knew it was going to do it eventually. I, I planted a tree over there. I mean, it's like the smallest possible tree. But for wood, for our build over there, that, that's going to be perfect. That's great. But not yet. In the last episode, we had the most successful exploration trip in the world. We found so many great things and even a great new beautiful friend, Bestie. We got tons and tons of really, really nice, wonderful things, but there is one specific thing, one type of thing, that I didn't actually uh, pick up in the last episode. So, we pick it up now. You know, take a look at this island and take it all in, because the next time you see it, oh boy, the next time you see it, it's gonna look, well, actually the next time you see it will be coming home and it'll look exactly the same. Alright, so, if I can remember correctly, we found a shipwreck out this way, and then beyond the shipwreck, I found our goal. Let's see if memory serves me correctly, and it is indeed this way, uh -huh, uh -huh. and even more importantly, let's see if memory serves me correctly, and it was not a mere mirage or anything like that. Where is it? <gasps> there it is! There it is, and it's so close, too. Ah, land, sweet, beautiful land, complete with a little bit of coal. That's, that's really wonderful. I will definitely take this. Thank you. So now that we're over here on land, in apparently the world's smallest, most strip of a dark oak forest, and unless it continues in there, it's time we chop a couple of these wonderful trees down. I was thinking, imagine how beautiful dark oak wood would look with spruce wood. 
And uh, <laughs> that sweet bamboo wood. And that's why we need this stuff. Now, I don't want to go too crazy here. Got to preserve the environment at least a little bit. But then again, it's either me or some kind of corporation that does it. Right? Villager, villager, it's bright and early the next morning. What are you doing in bed still? Get up, get up, yes. My good friend, there's profits to make, big dreams to catch today. How are you doing? Did I ever name you last episode? Do you have a name? Guys, help me out with a name for this villager down in the comments, please. It needs one. So, when it comes to progress, that's all I've done. And honestly, nothing more. I've been working for a long time. I got really, really lucky and actually chopped down my very first dark oak tree. And oh my gosh, it was such a sentimental moment because look at this, five dark oak saplings. I got enough saplings to not only grow that tree, but also potentially have like reserve saplings now. It's pretty great. And I don't even know if I'm gonna need more dark oak wood. Like look at all of this stuff. One sack, two sack, and 11 more. It's insane. Oh my gosh, uh, this stuff, uh, yeah, long story. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Anyways, distraction. distraction, the beautiful mob farm that is going to sit in the sky. Look at it, it's geometric, it's tall, it's mob farm, it's everything my dreams have ever dreamt of and more. Bamboo mosaic, obviously. Bamboo mosaic is the only block that I could use to fill that thing in, except fill that thing in. Oh, that, ooh, ah, ooh, that hurts. So fill that thing in. Yeah, that's like six blocks long, seven blocks tall, uh, six times seven, uh, every single side. And I have no bamboo blocks to my name. Not a single one. Hey look, a tree grew. Let's chop it. When it comes to bamboo though, it's not all bad news because look at this thing. I've been busy harvesting the bamboo farm over and over and over again. And I think looking at those numbers, I'm pretty sure looking at those numbers, that's gotta be a yes, one solid stack of bamboo logs, which actually splits down into two stacks of planks, which then could split down into even more mosaic blocks of bamboo. Oh man. Oh wait, no, no, it's an equal value. All right. Well, still. That's a lot of bamboo. Back up on top of this thing today, I would say things are going exo. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, let me let me explain, okay? Let, I can explain. Look, guys, look, 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 please. When I was working on the island in the other episode, digging out a big hole, I got so much of this disgusting block. Like, what am I ever going to use with this stack, this stack, this stack? And look, I will degrade the mobs to this block. That That's it. That's it. We're degrading the mobs to diorite. Yeah, yeah. Look, I ain't proud of it, but this is island life at its finest. You, you get materials, and you gotta use those materials. You think of smartly. You don't be too, like, picky and concerned with ugly and yuck and bad. Or correction, you do. You, you definitely do stay concerned with ugly, disgusting, and bad. But when you are concerned with those things, all you've gotta do is take those things and tuck them away. I will never see these blocks because... All I'm gonna see is beautiful bamboo mosaic, dark oak pattern around the thing, and spruce. And by the way, I can't decide, like, should I strip this stuff, or... Or do I, like, leave it alone like that? I, I, don't, I just don't know. <sighs> maybe what I do is I strip, like, I'll strip two sides. Uh, I'll strip this side and, and maybe that side. And then maybe I'll leave the other sides unstripped. I don't know, I feel like that smooth texture could look really good, and maybe I'll leave those logs alone. So I'd like to talk about something. I can't lie. I was actually really, really, and still am, so nervous about this episode. I feel like it was like just yesterday that we were building this thing in our last adventure, and actually, hold on, slow that roll a little bit. Let, let's check this out. Wait a second. Uh, oh my gosh. November 10th, 2022. What? Nope, 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 I, I just won't accept it. There's no way, that was like almost two months ago. No, that was not almost two months, no. What? 
No, no, I no. I was gonna say I don't want to do this project like twice because we did it like yesterday, but never mind. I take it back. Guess it was a million years ago. I feel like this is a necessary step of evolution for this island. As soon as I have this farm up and constructed by the end of today, we're gonna have infinite mob loot for well, every single mob in the game, other than spiders, not spiders. Depending on the rates of this thing, which, to be honest, I'm a little bit unsure because there are a lot of caves underneath us, but depending on the rates of this thing, this could potentially unlock us a super easy infinite emerald farm. Amazing rates are not coming from this thing, and no matter what, this is going to unlock us easy, very, very easy infinite bone meal, too, for decorating anything and maybe even, like, bone mealing some more of those big giant trees. Make the island look even better. No way, no way, no way, no way. I mean, I'm not gonna quite have enough up here, but I think in my bamboo reserves, oh yes, I'm pretty sure. Inside of my bamboo reserves, I've got like, I think five more stacks of bamboo. I have enough bamboo to actually finish this whole thing. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, we're in the home stretch now. At this point, all that I need to do is get like a million trillion trap doors in on every floor. Small problem though, and by problem I mean not a problem at all. I built the lowest platform a little lower than I was thinking initially, which means the trapdoors are going to hang low. Considering the fact that mobs don't really bounce around in water anymore for the most part, I think this should be fine, but what I will do, just to make sure, is maybe like, go a little bit lighter on the trapdoors in the lowest floor. I really don't think it's going to be a problem though. Okay, so, actually, this worked out perfectly. Skipping the first floor, just to be safe, with the mob heads bumping everything and all, the trap doors are all in. All I've got to do is open up every single trap door now, can't miss them, and then the mob should be tricked. They should constantly try and pathfind either off to the back corner of this thing, you know, like hide in the corner or something. I don't blame them, I would too. This is a really, really terrifying looking block. Or, uh, they'll, they'll try and pathfind to the middle. They'll see their brethren on the other side, and they'll go, whoop, we're right down to the middle. I think it should work. Oh yes, oh yes, but wait, there's more. There is one more. Good point, good point, you who, who just whispered that in my ear. Yeah, good point. Right now, in, in its current form, it's wonderful, but spiders might actually spawn on this thing. That's a no-no. Double checking the Minecraft spider wiki for a second, just to make sure I'm right on this. I believe for a spy, oh, it needs a three by one by three. Oh, never mind. A three by one by three. I don't think there are any three by one by threes in here unless this counts, but I don't think a trap door is a spawnable block, so I don't think it should count. That's not three. That's, you know, like it's three, but like missing one. I think we're going to be good. And I mean, look, if not, all I need to do is break back in and put like a slab right there, and then that should cut out any spider spawning on every single floor. I think we're good. Okay, so quickly, it's a race against the clock. It's almost daytime. What I would like to do is finish this build in this daytime, which means we need to finish opening every single trap door. I need to go back down and get even more bamboo. Wow, that crop farm is doing numbers today. I finally decided to plant it in rows now that I have even more crops and numbers, numbers, and numbers. Wow, that's, that's crazy. Let's chop a little bit more down, just like as much as I can. It's a race against the clock, and oh my gosh, that's a, that's a mob farm, all right, all right. <gasps> wait a second, wait a second, I don't have time for this today, the one day I'm in a rush. What are you doing? What are you selling me? What are you selling? No, 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 I have it all, I have it all. Where were you last episode? Come on, come on. You know what? That's it. You walk the plank, you walk the plank this way. Trader, careful, you're on the ledge. No, no, no. Oh no, he drowned, he drowned, he can't swim, he can't swim. Back up here inside of this thing, bamboo, check, that's all finished. Next step is gonna be water, and I'm gonna need to put water all over this thing, in every single corner. I think I'll come back and get this corner last because that's, that's my ticket out. Now up there, now up there on the very tippy top of this thing, we're gonna need a ceiling, of course. Oh, and I can't forget, that water, that water definitely needs to go away. We don't need that anymore, and I guess now that I think about it, I don't really need that anymore either. Gonna have to be careful. Up on top of this thing, from the side of this thing, I don't know if I'm really gonna be able to see the ceiling. It's, it's pretty tall compared to everything else, but just in case, we're gonna start with slabs all the way around the side. 
After we come up with the slabs all the way around the side, the spruce ones, I'm gonna come in in the middle with this stuff. Just a little bit more of this disgusting stuff. Okay, okay, forgive me, okay? It's just one, one thing. Just forgive me. I will come in on the rest of the build with this because I'm really worried about a lightning storm happening on the island and then striking this thing and burning it all down. And you know what? Now that I think about it, now that I think about it with any single block of wood on this thing, if lightning hits this, it's just gonna burn no matter what. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter if I, I, whatever. I'm putting these slabs on the roof. The slab's right there, and now it's fully dark. Now, I think while I'm close to this thing, it shouldn't really be a problem. I can take my time, and theoretically, I should be able to take my good old time on getting out of this thing. Now, speaking of uh, getting out of this thing, we need to carefully move right here and block that, okay? And then not fall from the water. No, stop it. <laughs> and, and then that's it. That's basically it. Aside from some few minor aesthetics that I want to do. When I was looking at this thing from the ground a second ago, I realized that this corner right here, that corner could look like really, really good if I put a couple staircases in it. So we'll go ahead and put staircases there. And then I was thinking maybe even that corner right there, beef that up with even more staircases. I think it'll look good. Now listen, listen, rates wise, I don't know what this thing is gonna be at today. It might be super hot and, and that would be amazing. It might be just dropping mob after mob after mob. But also there are caves all over the place. My vision for this farm is more of the slow approach. You see, we build it now and we just let it keep running. Maybe at some point I work my way back down to the caves. I light them up even more, but it doesn't really matter because this thing has been running for episodes and episodes. Well, I've been over at the base. Next episode, why are you back on the island? Where did you come from? Oh, you bring friends. You bring so many friends. What is going on here? <laughs> I mean, usually I would say get out of here, but like, Wait a second, we have more cows. Oh, I was up there. Oh, wow. Oh, in the leads, too. The leads, thank you. All right, anyways, our beauty that I've built in the sky. <laughs> our beauty that I've built in the sky. I mean, I mean, it's all right. <laughs> it's okay. So, so far, we don't really have any drops inside of this thing. But also, so far, I haven't been very far away from this thing. Next up, what I think I need to do is plant a couple more oak trees and get even more oak uh, trap doors. So head over to the platform and maybe even farm some other stuff too. Wait a second. No, 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 that's not, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna start using that platform all of a sudden, mobs. Come on. And it happened again. What are you doing out here in the middle of the platform? No. Guys, this might be the first spider that I take out of this entire world. Is it? Is, is that? Yes, yes. It's the first spider that I ever take out. That's beautiful. Um, and so is that. But this thing has to go. It, it was a nice experiment. And maybe it was like the first step in a big process we did today. But yeah, yeah I can't have this happening any longer. And so, as the sun slowly began to creep above the ocean line at the very beginning of day number 27 in our survival island world, that's it. With a couple of lily pads sprinkled here and there all around the island, with a wonderful turtle wrapped it up and, <laughs> and ready to go, I guess. And with a wonderful brand new mob farm it built off to the side of our eye, oh god, I forgot to strip those logs. That is my bad. I'll strip those in a minute. With all of those finished, that brings us to the conclusion of episode number six. Does the mob farm work perfectly, or does it need more? Well, questions like those, my friends, those are going to be questions for another time. Because this is a cliffhanger. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Good night, my stranded island friends, and welcome back. Oh boy, I've got a big one in store for... What was that? Why did I hear a trident? Llama. <laughs> Llama, no, no. The beginning of the episode, where are the tridents coming from? Being bombed from all over. No, no, no. All right, listen, bucko, buddy. This isn't my first day go around. Listen, you're dropping the trident this time around. It's mine, and it's enchanted too. Whoa, boy, you better stop it. No, surrounded at all times. <laughs> what is going on here? No. Use the trenches to the advantage. Use the trenches. All right, here goes nothing. One shot left. One shot left. And it better be mine. No. <laughs> no. All right, well, anyways, I got a big one in store for us today. Bestie, let's crack on with it.
Our first matter of business today has to do with a hostage or a friend living in my basement. Ah, uh, sweet friend, you are now seven years of age. You know what that means. Time to wake up, get to work. It's too long that you've lived in my basement doing absolutely nothing. Yes, yes, good morning, hello. Oh, what's that, a name? Oh, a name, they've named you. Yes. In the last episode, I asked for name ideas, and name ideas is what you guys gave me. Thanks. We go with the beautiful Tribune. You kind sir, your name is now forever Axelwaddle 2. And speaking of two, I want a friend. What is this? I've been betrayed by Bestie, laying in the bed of another. <laughs> bestie. Bestie, no. Bestie, no. Alright, well, anyways, today we're gonna build a brand new, much improved, best food farm in the game. I've come up with a really brilliant idea. But, before we can do that, the villager wants a friend. Options, video settings, render distance, all the way. And off we go, to a foreign and distant land. Well, that wasn't too bad. One quick little sail across the great wild blue, and here we are, landed on the snowy beaches of Toronto. Our home away from home. Oh, you, you, you really want to go, but you wear the green shirt. I don't like the green shirt. You're not, no, no, not you. Nope, but you, my beautiful the farming friend, a beautiful farming friend, a beautiful farming friend. You will be put to work, repurposed as a farmer. Look, your chow, your chow is in a boat. Yes, I knew you wanted to devour the rotten flesh. No, no, no. Look, listen, just for the purpose of this experiment, I'll bring your workstation too. Me and you. Oh, we're gonna get to know each other real good. Let's go back home. And oh, I'm getting distracted again. I'm getting really distracted again because what is this ice ocean right here? I mean, maybe this is like a 1.18 thing with the terrain change and everything. I haven't really seen the iceberg oceans too much, but like, oh my god. <laughs> I should have been living on that iceberg. That's beautiful. Back over at home sweet home, bright and early the next morning with our brand new captain friend, with our brand new friend here. We're gonna have to make some changes around the island. Alright, so for starters, down here, the apartment. Uh, the villager apartment is going to have to be expanded uh, ever so slightly. I think if we maybe make it, or well... Wait a second, I have a better idea. Look, uh, listen, listen, it's not that you did anything wrong, Axawaddle II, you're named after a great, but it's also that, like, you're kind of in the way. How about we expand the villager apartment complex under here into, like, something far greater and bigger? Basically, I, I could start to, like, expand the hallway down this way, the there's one apartment right there, and then apartment number two? Hi, <laughs> well, it'll be right next door for our brand new friend. Such a good idea. Carefully, uh, carefully, cannot mess up any of the lily pads. Carefully, carefully, we steer in here, and there you go. Okay, so now listen, you got one chance of this. You're gonna jump onto the land right here. You're gonna go to this composter right there. You got it? Oh, yep, you see it, I think. Trusting you here with this one, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh, you, you don't even want the composter. Okay, beautiful, yes. Trapped, uh, trapped in the basement forever. Follow me right this way, good friend. You will work out of that composter now in your brand new home. Stone cutter, oh, it's beautiful, I know, but it's mine. Right this way, right this way, and boom, bingo. You're trapped forever, or at least for a little bit of time. Gonna need some more names from you for our new friend right behind me. Except this time, there's two conditions. Any name will do, really. Like, I, I like any name, basically, except Axel Waddle the third, nope, nope, can't use that one, and Hugo, no Hugo either. Drop your best and finest ideas down below, and really quick, uh, while well, you're headed down there, tap that like button. Thank you. Alright, so our next matter of business is the big one. Here over at the island, we're crawling with mobs at this point. And I mean, not that that's a problem, that kind of like immerses me more in this island life, right? But I do have two sheep and I have two cows. However, and, and I swear this is 100% serious, but however, last night I, I had a dream. I knew that I was going to work on this episode today, right now, and for some reason in my dream, like maybe I play this game like too much or something, but for some reason in my dream, I was reminded of a beautiful sight. A sweet, sweet sight that we found a while ago. Options, video settings, render distance, 32. 
Now, I never went over to the side, so I don't have the cords or anything, but I feel like I can remember that from this island, off to the south of it, and then over this way, like, like somewhere, I feel like I could definitely remember seeing something very, very interesting that I said we'd come back to. Maybe you remember. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and it's big, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. This is it. This is the thing. So the dream. Now, this is where the dream comes in. I have no clue why I was dreaming of this, but in my dream, I saw a Mooblu, <laughs> and that reminded me of this whole place, and that also reminded me that this thing might be, just maybe, one of the best things for food of all time. You're coming with me, buddy. To pull off what I think might become the biggest upgrade of this entire world, the next step is import two precious Mooblu's back to Turtle Island. One small float in a boat later. Mushroom number one, check. Let's do it again. Back over at what we will now formally name Mushroom Island, Moobloom number two. I know I, oh, you got a whole patch of Moobloom's over there. Oh, crikey, that's a lot of Moobloom. Oh, that'll be perfect. You, my friend, my sweet, sweet friend, you will come back home with me. However, before we leave Moobloom Island for good, let's go ahead and check it out a little bit. Uh, oh, <laughs> seems that once I've seen one side of it, I've seen it all. It's like the smallest mushroom island. Well, no, it's like a medium mushroom island, but like, it's still pretty small. Imagine island survival on this thing, though. You would never have to worry about mob spawns again. Ah, oh, that would be beautiful. Seems that all we've got here is Moobloom, a bunch of mushrooms, and a couple fake caves. Uh, that, that's it. Well, anyways, it looks like I have a friend uh, dramatically waiting at sea, wanting to go home, so uh, let's go ahead and crack on with it. You, friend, come with me. Complete and total side note, I love exploring. And even though there really wasn't much exploring today, traveling around the world, I, I love it so much. Look, I know we don't accomplish much when we explore other than exploring. And I know that we have a 100-day limit, and it's day number 29 now, but I really want to explore more. <laughs> Should I do it? Bright and early the next morning, now back over at home with not one, but two fancy Moobloom. Let's talk about the best food farm uh, of all time. So we've all hopefully heard of the tried and true cow crusher machine. It's a beast when it comes to food. What if I told you I think we could upgrade that cow crusher with sweet Moobloom? You'll have to give me a break on this one. I'm a little rusty when it comes to Moobloom and, you know, like what they actually do. But I swear you could take wood like this and, and make bowls. And then I think you can walk over to the Moobloom and just use the bowl, and it's easy, infinite, yeah, 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 easy, infinite mushroom stew. Now look, it's not the best food, but when I'm low on food and I'm back over at the island, maybe like working on any build at all, I feel like this wouldn't be a bad option. Like, I literally just walk over to it and milk it, and, it, and it's free food, continuously. That's not bad, right? The stew, uh, maybe not the best food, but undeniably so, a food. A cow crusher, of course, you know how it works. You put a bunch of cows inside of the cow crusher, you breed them up, and then they take themselves out automatically. It's so easy. Then I can cook up the beef, and beef's an even better food. Here's what I was thinking. We plant the tree, and then we grow the tree. It's a big tree. Then we take the wood from said tree and, and build a beautiful build, and on that beautiful build, we put not only mushroom, maybe just hanging out, but also mushroom inside of the crusher. You see, I guess this is where the experiment part of today's episode comes in. If I put Mooshroom inside of the Crusher and I breed them, I'll get leather and beef for sure. But will I also maybe give Mushroom too? Hmm, a true four in one. Maybe. And now when it comes to our next construction, today I was planning on making things symmetrical, finishing it off with another platform over here. Platform would be great, it'd be right next to the food supply so I could, you know, get the food and then feed the food. Except, I don't know. I, I feel like it's weird we don't have a boat here. I mean, look, you tell me what you think about it, but I, I feel like stranded on an island, stranded here. Uh, theoretically, we could just not be stranded by, you know, having a big old ship here. And also, maybe like, how did I get here? So let's build a boat. I was thinking maybe the best spot for a boat would be like sitting off to the side of the island over here. Then we have like a boat. I could build like a whole dock situation going on. And oh my gosh, I, I butterflies, butterflies in my stomach thinking about it. Ah, now, building a boat. Building a boat is not something I'm exactly new to. I've, I've built myself a couple of boats in the years I've been playing a game, but it's also something that's a little tricky. You, you see, boats. Hey, yeah, but boats. 
I know for sure I want this to be like a decent sized boat, so I think maybe, by my calculations, what I do is I set it one block lower, like the bottom of the boat sits there, then I could like slowly curve it up, curve it out, curve it forward, curve it backwards, you know, curve it in every way that a boat beautifully curves, and ooh, it'll end up being a beautiful boat. Let's do this. You know, with all this shipbuilding stuff, I'm reminded that how tricky, honestly, really, really advanced shipbuilding can be. Especially if you're building that boy freestyle. So, uh, no judgment, please, but boat, uh, so far, this is what I've <laughs> come up with, okay? Now, l now listen, it's an outline, but I, I think I figured out the shape, right? Like, it's going this way, and then it kind of curves up a little bit, and then I just need to put, like, a front cap on it. I mean, I, I don't know. It's meant to be a small boat. On the back, I'm setting up for, like, some kind of a small room or something, and then on the inside, ah, uh, well, on the inside, I've got, I've got this. <laughs> I mean, look, I don't consider myself delusional or anything. I wouldn't call this, like, pure perfection or, or anything like that. But, I mean, I feel like it's not bad. Now, uh, with the wood type, I, I was trying to do an experiment. I don't know if it worked out. But I was trying to basically use the dark oak wood and the spruce wood together to try and make the boat look, like, a little wet or something. You know, because water everywhere. It's, like, wet, soggy wood. I don't know. I don't know if that one worked either. But... I tried. <laughs> you don't switch it up confidence is a perfection. Exact pure perfection. Worked exactly how I had planned. Perhaps we come back in on the front, it's looking a little flat, and cap it off with like stone or maybe even copper or something. But for a small ship, I don't think I've ever seen anything better. And if I did, my eyes were closed. Ideas. So sweet, beautiful, raw, flowing ideas. Ah, bamboo. What if we put bamboo as the floor inside of this thing? Oh my gosh, that would look so good. So we're gonna do it. Over on the ship, I would say the vision is solidly coming together. Here's what I was thinking. On the top of this thing, to like cap it off in a fancy way, could we maybe do like a, a strip of dark oak wood? And then I actually saw this one comment about maybe not using strip wood on everything and... Very valid point, so I won't strip the wood. I think it'll look like okay. I might have to like do something to blend it in, like maybe some trap doors, spruce trap doors, like going up, and making it like hold on. But I think we can make it work. Let's try this out. A couple fences on the front that should maybe help. I don't know. Could even throw some fences right there, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, maybe. This back room, it'll be a step up. And then on that step up, and here on the floor, the mosaic. Oh, it's so beautiful. Bamboo mosaic, yes. With the help of a couple slabs, we'll give ourselves a big, generous back window. Of course, we'll need a front mast. I don't know. I feel like this spot on the boat would make sense. Now listen, listen. It's not that I don't have any wool. It's just that I don't have any wool. So I'll come back and put the flag later. After all, the flag is for kind of moving the ship, and I can't really leave the island until day number 100 anyways. We'll go ahead and add that cool back curb, that fancy, fancy front door, and even a top deck too. Couple fences here, some kind of anchor, uh, there, and absolutely, a stone cutter, here. A little bit of blood, sweat, and tears later, it's time for the big reveal. Island surviving friends, please allow me to introduce you to our brand new beauty, the Amethyst Woman, complete with, well, Amethyst. <laughs> All right, I'll admit it. I don't know if I'm sure on the name of the boat quite yet, but like, I mean, it's a boat, right? It's not bad. Given the circumstances of being stranded in the middle of an ocean with not much to my name, I would say it's not bad. So over on the ship, ooh, <laughs> going to work the anchor, I see. Nice. So over on the ship, here's what I've got going on. The profits from past adventures, and what is this? The, the ship is flooding. Oh, no. Now, nah, well, anyways, a little bit of workstation over here, then the back room, and we're gonna transform the back room with a new purpose in a minute. Up here on the top, I do still have to finish the fences, but I have a problem. And surprisingly, this problem doesn't have to do with wood. Considering the fact that this boat is built entirely out of wood, thought I would've ran out, but no. The problem also definitely doesn't have to do with the very first bamboo gate that I've ever crafted in survival. 100% not. Instead, it has to do with a hopper. Uh, so for a hopper, I need a total of five iron. I have two to my name. It's time to mine. And so with that, back down into the mines we go. 
Now, lucky for us, I'm pretty sure I left a bunch of iron just sitting in the caves. At the time, I, I don't know why I decided to pass it up, but I think I did. All of that being said, that means hopefully this won't be too difficult. And <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. One, two, three. And then I have two more. That'll be five exactly. Maybe I can find like one more chunk of iron sitting around somewhere. Just one. Aha. Yes, just one or two or three or four. Perfect. Oh, I love how it worked out. We'd love to see it. Exactly eight. I'm not even going to waste any coal either. Oh, wait a second. Make it nine. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, 10, 11, 12. Wow, I'm loaded. All I've got left to do is a tiny bit of smelting up for the sweet, sweet iron profit and build the machine. Maybe the bell goes, I don't know, like right there. That feels fancy. Cow friends, cow friends, my marvelous cow friends. Wait until I show you what I built for you. I think you're going to love it. So uh, listen, listen. Yes, yes. Come with me. Come with me over to the land. Just but only for a second. Mm -hmm. And now that you're on the land, you come to your new abode. The amethyst woman. Yes, yes. You come over here. You open this up and right in here. The captain's quarters for you two fine lads. There you go. There you go. Marvelous. Oh, no way, and I, I can't believe I've never done that before. Okay, so I passed the first vibe check here. I was not sure if when I breathe these two, I would get another mushroom. I never really mess with these things, and sure enough, that's a check. Now, uh, are they going to be able to climb this thing? Ooh, I don't want them to. Oh, you might be able to. Okay, okay. Well, never mind about the ladders. Back over here on the boat, iron is done, which means it's go time. I was thinking I will put our little contraption sitting right here, which means down there where that cobblestone is, that's where the hopper goes, and then the barrel, the barrel's gonna go right there. Absolutely gonna have to solve this flooding problem here. I don't even know what's going on here. It's almost like I never pulled the water out from the boat. Wait, what? No. Well, anyways, minor flooding problem aside, water is gone. I made a bamboo staircase, it's like an extra one, perfect for this moment. We'll drop that right there, and then the flooding problem actually happens again. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Now, the final piece of the puzzle today is going to be getting a couple cows inside of this thing and, of course, a bucket of water at the bottom of it, too. And getting a couple cows inside of this thing, I think I want to wait until I have two cows that I can keep outside of it, and then I'll move two inside of it. While I give those cows a little bit of time, let's go ahead and check on the mob farm. At the end of the last episode, we ended with a big question. Does it work? Do it not work? Well, I have wonderful news. The mob farm, the beauty itself... It absolutely does work. Now, it doesn't work insanely fast. As I suspected, there are tons of caves under the ocean that have, like, mob spawns going on. But it does work. It absolutely does. And th the string, the spider at the end of the episode, last episode, I had to do a couple repairs in between episodes. It broke into the thing. Uh, turns out I didn't actually place the water right. So spiders were spawning, but I don't think they are anymore. And to now, day number 33, the greatest science experiment of all time. The cows that make the love, the baby cows and children, you come with me, you are not the founders. Listen, child, listen, listen, into the water you go, no, no, into the water you go, perfect. Other one, yes, you come with me, come with me. Other small child, eh, perfect. Cap it off so they stay there forever with the bamboo fence, remove that, and... I don't know if I would say beautiful, but I would say... I would say it's a thing. And so, all of that hard work and grinding brings us to the cliffhanger of today's episode. Oh lord, not again. It is clear and true that Moo Bloom are a subspecies of a cow, which means we will get beef and leather from this thing. That's already two drops. It is also true that if those babies were grown up, I could walk into it and milk them for a little bit of stew. Another delicious delicacy of the sea. That's three. But the big question is the mushrooms that grow atop the backs of these beautiful beasts. Will they drop too? My friends, that'll be a question we'll answer next episode. Thank you for watching. Remember, I need your best, strongest, and coolest name ideas down below. Depending on how things go, next episode just might be the final time you see these guys. Um, at least like this. Like for more, subscribe for more. It's been me, Waddles, and I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Ha, what a beautiful evening on the island, my cross-eyed cow friend. There's only one thing that could make this moment even better. Alexa, to play Unholy by Sam Smith. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is awkward. I didn't realize you were there. The cross-eyed cow over in the pen just told Alexa to play Sam Smith's song. <laughs> That's so weird.
Good evening, friends, and welcome back to Island Survival. In this episode of Island Survival, we will be checking out the results of last episode's food extravaganza and villagers. Villagers and one more villager. But you see, this time we're gonna do it ethically. No need for any boats or anything like that involved. I have all of the villagers I need over here, and even better, you guys have named the villagers. Over here, you wake up, wake up, it's too early to sleep. You, you are Axel Waddle, named after the great. Definitely not as great, but maybe close. And you, oh you, my friend, you are a hard worker. Your name is, your name is Mason. <laughs> you remember that thing you wanted to do? Your, your dream, your dream career? <laughs> well, Mason. Today's a big day for both of you lads over here. You're gonna get to see the great big blue, the great world. We're gonna set up a brand new home for these two villagers, and this home is going to be as romantic as ever. Let's do this. As the moon slowly rises on our island, it's day number 35. I figured one third of the way through the series now, this would be the perfect time for a quick little recap. A tour of our island paradise, if you will. Over here, as you can see, standing strong and tall, is the farm that reminds you to always leave a like on these episodes. You leave a like on these episodes, I keep making them. Fully automatic like machine. Susan from YouTube hates to see it, but I love to see it. Next stop over here, we have the best farm of all time. The wonderful Bamboo Titan that we're probably going to use a little bit today. I can't wait. Standing beneath my feet over here, we have a humble food farm. Another brilliant farm that we're going to use today. Then we've got Turtle Island. Now, uh, Turtle Island scattered about all over the place. We have like random things. We got an animal pen right there. We got a nether wart farm right over here. It's wonderful. We got Bestie hiding in the corner. Bestie, Bestie, no, Bestie, come back. Hey, yeah, Bestie, yeah, 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 Bestie, you sit there. Over here, we've got Lander's Point, where we landed. Then the only friend out here that seems to get me Amazon Alexa. Oh, and then over here, the beautiful amethyst woman. And now, in between episodes, I've done some work, lads. Take a... <laughs> well, you don't have to take a look, okay? Not to brag or anything, but people who watch Waddles are, by far, the smartest people on Earth. Uh, one of you amazing geniuses pointed out this spot right here is kind of, like, problematic, so... Uh, it's, it's all I got. Anyways, I'll take some food, make some babies, and let's do this. So the main reason I wanted to do a little recap of the island here is to kind of show you guys what we have going on here. I feel like at this point, the next logical step has to be like villagers, right? Like, we got some farms, we got some food, we got some mobs, I, I mean likes. We got a lot going on. I, I, I think, logically, the next step uh, on an abandoned island is, is repopulate, right? Repopulate and then we can do like, I think we could do like anything. Villager, villager. This one's a little bit of a tricky one. Uh, so I've been uh, spending a little bit of time looking around at the island and uh, considering villager breeders. My favorite and typical villager breeder is a fully automatic one. One that just runs beautifully in the background, producing villager after villager after villager. But it's kind of a small space, right? Like, I already have a lot of turtles. Leo, Don, Mike, the other one. I don't know if I can have infinite villagers here. Friends, I think it's time we switch up the mindset. I've been looking around at the island, and I'm still not 100% sure about this, but I've been looking around at the island, and to where I could maybe put a villager breeder. But no, not just any villager breeder. We're going for the world record, world's smallest villager breeder. A machine so small that it doesn't even logically work, but <laughs> that's the thing it just does. World's smallest villager breeder machine. A mystery, a myth, a legend. So, uh, take a look at what I have come up with here. Up on the top of the Amethyst Woman, we have this plain empty space. I'm not saying a villager breeder sits on the ground right there. Instead, my friends, I've come up with something far better. As the sun slowly rises on day 36, we build a tiny platform, floating and centered. If only there were a way to actually, like, uh, lure villagers outside of somewhere. Like, with a cow, I hold the weed, and, and then they follow me. Or with a baby villager, I should be able to hold, like, I don't know, like an emerald, and they would follow me. Right, Bestie? That would be amazing. Alright, so in uh, the process of developing this thing on the front mast of the boat, I kind of used up all of the wool. Which means I think it's about time we expand the sheep operation. Tiny bit of work, and here's what I've cracked up. We've got a small dirt path that winds and twists, connecting the surface down to the basement. 
my thinking is here eventually the grass will slowly grow down this way hopefully before 100 days passes it grows down the staircase slowly ends up in a basement and i relocate the sheep to the basement ah oh, it's wonderful The villager breeders, so to be honest, I'm actually way more comfortable and familiar with the fully automatic designs, the ones with the farm inside. I swear, for these small, super compact villager breeders, essentially, all I need to do is have these villagers stand on the beds. Then what I need to do is leave like an opening somewhere for the baby villager to be able to walk off the side of this thing, and I, I think eventually it will walk off the side. As long as I make sure mobs can't spawn on this thing, which, uh, that's gonna be pretty easy, all I need to do is add a torch to it. I think for the world's smallest villager breeder, it's like two by three. Okay, so here goes nothing. Workstation, workstation. I'm gonna need two workstations. That'll be one, and this will be two right over here. What we're gonna do is basically use workstation to walk you all the way over to your brand new home. So, friend, Mason, Mason, you remember your old dream, your life dream. Go on, go on. Yes, yeah, this is time. You can actually work at your life stream. All right, next up, Mason. This is going to be an advanced maneuver, but I think you can do it. I, I fully believe in you. We're going to have the workstation all the way up on the surface. I tricked you about your dream, by the way. All right. Farmer, check. That's that's good. Now, next up, your dream. Oh, you remember your dream. You want to work as your dream. Well, your dream exists right there this time. Now, this is where things might get a little bit tricky. Please don't notice any other workstations that I may have laying around. Uh, like a composer. No, you're not a farmer. Don't notice anything on the boat either. Yes, yes, th that way. Oh, you're so smart. All right, 4K thank you right here. We put a, a trap right there. You can't go back. You won't want to. Instead, what you want to do is work up here as a composter. Yes, yes, forget being a farmer. Be an actual physical composter. Here, look, my friend, let me get out of the way. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, easiest trick in the book. Now all you need to do is get inside of there and uh, yeah, I'll come in with you. And no, 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 no. Boom, you're trapped. <laughs> you live here forever. Now when they sleep, they're not going to fall off of the side, right? <laughs> you better not fall off of the side. To get out of here, all I need to do is that and that and you're still trapped. <laughs> well, that was an outstanding and immense success. All we need to do is do it again. Axolotl, no. Wait a second, hold on, hold on. Small problem. For a villager to work, there are three components. Three beds, a little bit of food, and three villagers. I have them all. However, I, I have them all. But if this villager, and I put Axolotl in here, uh, looking the same, how would I ever know the difference? Oh no, <laughs> that's so bad. And so, my animal friends, the biggest conundrum of today's episode. <sighs> villager difference. If only there was a simple way that I could say, lock in a villager's... Oh, <laughs> that's how I could do it. Mason, I have great news for you. Mason, your dream. You get to give me emeralds. Yes, <laughs> yes, what a deal. But this does intrigue me. So look, I'm going to need you guys to convince me. Help me out a little bit here. And most importantly, convince me. The next step on the island, of course, once we get this whole villager stuff going, is the next step. Set up villager trading hall, get even more geared up, like get the right trades and everything. And then with the right trades, maybe some better gear, we go find to the end and take it on. Or instead of that, is it maybe time for big farming operation with maybe like more farms for emeralds? And definitely, considering the fact that we're running out of this stuff, is it time for an iron farm? What is the next path we take? And think long and hard about it. This is a very big decision. You let me know what you think we should do down in the comments below and why. And I guess we'll see what's next. Next episode. Axolotl, you could go ahead and let that luscious hair that you have down. It's time. It's your time to shine. Go ahead and work as a stone mason villager. I don't care. You're my favorite child. Other than when you do that, I don't... I Where are you going? Um... Just go right on over to... No, 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 no. Not the boat, not the boat, not the boat. Get off. No, get on the land. Get on the land. You keep this behavior up and quickly become my least favorite child. I would neglect you severely. There's nothing over there for you. Look, come back over here. Forget about it. You go into the ocean, the drown will get you, Axolotl. Forget about it. Mm, 
Stubborn, I see. Stubborn. You want the brewing stand. No, no, no. Ah. Well, that's a life hack. And you don't even care anymore. So, oldest trick in the book. All we need to do is do it again. I've already proven the exact method. We put a workstation right there. I should be able to break this thing and you... Yeah, yeah, you want to be a farmer. Go you. Go ahead and lock you in. I don't think you're going to make any moves, though. And then this time, we need to make it a little bit different. For you to get up... Oh, no, yeah, by the way, no more working. For you to get up here, we're just going to walk you up to the top of this thing and then have that workstation. And I think you're going to be able to try and take that job. Right? Yes, yes, you want the job. A perfect candidate. Into the breeder you go. All right, so with that all set up, all we need to do is test this thing. And <laughs> friends, that's where I got you with another cliffhanger. Bruh. Thank you all for watching the episode. Check out my Patreon link in the description. And oh, wait, there, there's a lot more that we need to do. Would it be smart of me to take five iron ingots and condense them down? Hey, why not? So lighting, mob spawning? That's never going to be a problem again. And we do need one more bed, which isn't a problem. You, my friend, I'm gonna need you to move over a little bit. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, thank you. Third bed right in there, take this away, and then food. Look, it's time to get romantic. Pretend I'm not even here. I think this should work. You look at each other, share the food a little bit, please. Spread it around, and, and don't miss. If, if you miss, it goes down there. Go ahead, and make the baby. They don't even notice me down here. Ah, oh, beautifully, I see the hearts going. Yes, yes, this should work. Please work, please work. Please have baby, please have baby. Oh no, it's going on. It's drawing on for too long. Have you shared your <gasps> Never mind. Oh my gosh, never mind. There's a baby villager. No, uh, listen, friend. I, I think maybe. I think maybe you're gonna want to walk out on your own, right? Like, like you're definitely short enough. You can walk out there. You should be able to walk and fall, I think. Oh, I'm a scientist. I'm a big, big scientist. Ah, like any good Minecraft farmer would do. I think I've come up with a trick to make this villager move a little faster. I don't know if this is a farm already, and if it is, it's definitely slightly less impressive. But look, we put trap doors right there. Now, by putting trap doors on the side of this thing, I think the baby villager will see that as a valid walking block. It should eventually try and walk over to it, finds out it's not a walking block, and splat. <laughs> Lands right down there. Hmm, sharing food still, and a baby villager. Can you get out of this thing? Hmm, I'm tempted to. I don't know if I should do it. All right, so if I turn on hitboxes, I can see that this villager, I think it might be too tall. Like, can you? Actually, even you can't. Yeah, you're way too tall. Uh-oh. So quickly, I get out of this thing, put that back. We're gonna need to come up with a new solution. You see, I think, theoretically, to fix the world's most compact villager breeder, if I move a trap door right there, that's definitely short enough. Maybe the villager will actually try it. Or was it short enough before? <laughs> well, this is an interesting turn of events. I was really certain that this other method would have worked, but that should definitely work. There's no way it won't. Bright and early the next morning, our contraption. It seems to be hard at work. They're romantically looking at each other again. I don't think they have enough food to do that, though. I, it shouldn't work, and they definitely don't have enough beds. Baby villager needs to move. I've decided to come in here, and oh, I heard you. <laughs> oh, not so fast, I heard you. I was gonna say I came in here and made it a little bit safer. It will pass mine out of it eventually. Eventually, definitely, yes. We have trap doors right there, trap doors right there to trick it. And, and now listen, get it wrapped, get it wrapped. You're not going anywhere, but you stay there. We'll hold the villagers temporarily inside of the rafts, and because this is all like slabs and stuff up here, you should be safe until I need you. Oh, you're beautiful. In a win for Minecrafters worldwide, we have now successfully invented the world's smallest villager breeder. However, I mean, I'm, I'm no fool. Given the scope of the Minecraft community, sheer, just massive in size. I, I get it. Maybe it was found before, but... It was never found on this island before, and it certainly wasn't ever found by me. <laughs> we did it. Next up, options. We need to have them. Here's a little bit more food. Hopefully that baby villager down there has forgotten all about the bed and has made a little bit more room for you guys. Rain. Again, rain. <laughs> what is going on with this? Enough, please. So with that project done for now, this time we move on to some other things. In the last episode, I ended with a big giant cliffhanger. 
this thing right here. In between episodes and this episode, I've been breeding these things. I think we're almost at capacity. One more trip back to this thing and we should be good to go. One thing about today is we haven't really done very much building. I'd like to make a little bit more progress to the island. In the last episode, we built a wonderful Amethyst woman, but I did not build a dock. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I'm really sorry about this. You're, you're gonna have to move. Oh, ooh, I'm sorry, so sorry. No, 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 no. All wrong. Getting there. Hey, closer. Well, 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 you come along to check out my brand new dock. No, stay off of the boat. Yeah, yeah, but look at the dock. I mean, I don't know. It's simple. More importantly, what are you doing over here? What do you have? Oh. Ooh. Oh, make a deal with the devil, you say. Oh, I don't like this. Please forgive me for this. Uh, it's not every day that I want to do this. It's not any day that I want to do this, but I think for the pursuit of the beautifulness on this island. Uh, <laughs> My good friend, what is this war crimes against the villagers? Well, it's time for you to walk the plank. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. And the leads? No, not the llamas. I don't want them to drown. Well, anyways, not my problem. So the dock, it's a small dock, a simple dock. I went through a couple different iterations. It's kind of a difficult amount of space to work with here. The goal was to create a little bit of a story here with this dock. The ship behind us had sailed into town and landed. They set up a dock, but maybe not the best one. It like fell apart. Then over here, the settlers came with their Alexa to listen to music by a campfire and like, you know, do campfire things like listen to music. I wanted to keep it small and not overtake this whole peninsula of the island. So I, I, mean, I don't know. I think it looks nice. It's decorated. I think the boats add to it. The moment of truth, the beautiful moment of truth. The cow friends. Uh, you have to have grown up by now. It's time, long time. Go ahead and, and breed. Make the baby. And then the, the babies take the grown ups out, please. 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 Come on. Come on. Ah. Checking on our grass growing experiment over here. Never really was worried about finishing it today, but oh my gosh, this is slow. Like why, <laughs> like three blocks of grass? Well, I'm working a whole episode. L literally three blocks of grass. Uh, that's it. Back over at the villager breeder, as I suspected, the previous villager was still linked to the bed, but now that baby has grown up into a full grown adult. I think it's been enough time, and I think over time, if the villager can't get to the bed, it should forget it. So hopefully this one will work. Come next episode, I think we're going to have to take a look at this whole situation over here because, uh, simply put, it is harsh right now. The storage is not good. I need to build a storage building, but I can't really decide if I want to build a storage building up on the surface or do I put it underneath? <sighs> decisions, decisions. You know, I just realized, now that I have trap doors right there, I think I could definitely put ladders back down there. Make the baby, make the baby. <laughs> yes, yes, you made the baby. I knew it, I knew it. All we had to do is give you a little bit of time and you forget, so forgetful. And now listen, listen. Now that our baby is born, your life is gonna change. Uh, those parents are too busy to be the caretaker. You're the official caretaker of that baby. And let's see, maybe I can like catch the baby right away with like a, a raft position right below it. I don't know, seems like a long shot, but I guess we'll see. All right, come on, friends. Come on. It's got to be time. Breed up, breed up. You all look at each other. I know there's a lot of babies in there, but they should. Just take out the adults, right? Take out the adults. Will you get the mushroom? Come on. Come on. Well, I guess that's a cliffhanger for another time. <laughs> Island survival. Episode number eight. A simple episode with an expansion that is so small it shouldn't even work. With our villagers put to work and also the source of more infinite villagers. Really, the, the sky's the limit. There's anything we can do now. Smash like, subscribe for more. Big thank you, patron gang. Michael H., Rob, CK, and Doug. The fate is in your hands now. Pick wisely. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.
Well, hi and good night, everybody. <laughs> you get it? You get it because I always say good morning, and right now it's like the nighttime and mine time. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Be quiet. You're ruining my moment. No, no, you're attracting them too. No. Oh, that's awkward. Well, traitor, it looks like it's your problem now. All right, so friends, there's a lot that I'd like to get done today, but the very first thing we need to check out is this right here. The result of our two episode long science experiment. We, we've finally done it. The cows should de- Oh, I heard it. I heard it. I don't know if you heard it, but do we get mushrooms? Oh. Well, that was a waste of time. As the sun begins to rise on our island, it's safe to say I'm something of a collector myself. I like to go out into the world and explore. And speaking of explore, relatively recently, when we went over to the nearby Mushroom Island for these beauties right here, I got a taste of exploration. And ever since then, <laughs> my stomach's been growling. So friends, I've invented a brand new goal for this series and more specifically, a goal for today's episode. By the end of the episode, this island will be the home to at least one camel. Who knows? Maybe even more. Before we can go on our big exploration trip, though, we're gonna need a map this time. I think it would be fun to go out and, you know, map the great big world around us. So, let's harvest a good old-fashioned sugarcane farm. <sighs> wow, not to brag or anything, but just like that, I am now the owner of 11 sugarcane total. But, but wait, there's literally more. I 11 more, to be exact. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, iron, iron is really low, but yes, 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 we have a compass, okay. I mean, wow, that's some amazing foresight on my part. How would I ever have known that I was going to be flat bro when it comes to iron? Wow, I'm just like a genius. Make a map of the entire island. We'll put that on the to-do list for later. For now, for today, we expand, we expand a tiny bit more, and then we explore. So for today's episode, if we're planning on looking for a camel, uh, there's one specific, very, very specific spot that we need to find. And that's going to be a desert village. Considering the fact that I live in the middle of a stranded ocean and have seen nothing of the world, like, at all, I don't know where to start. Not a clue at all. Correction, correction, this is where we could start. Render distance, as always, all the way up. Ah, <sighs> and there it is, the ever-familiar feeling of lag. Beautiful. Uh, so, we have a problem already, friends. Please don't judge me for this. Um, but my whole plan was to take this map and explore, and <laughs> I hit the corner of the map already, and the map goes that way. We've already been that way. I guess this one's on me, but I'm not going to be taking accountability. I think what we could do is just throw this into the ocean and keep moving. Never happened. Oh, <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. That's definitely a different island. For sure, this is so far from the island, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not an island. No, no, no. That's a continent. From left eye to right eye, as far as both eyes can see combined, it's mushroom, mushroom, and a tiny bit of mycelium. And it's rain. Why does rain happen every single time something good happens in this world? <sighs> Every time, I, s I swear. Well, I didn't have this on our to-do list today, but a little bit of mining too. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. And with that, the perfect opportunity for a segue. Speaking of mining, my. And speaking of my, my comment section. In the last episode, when we were setting up the villager reader, I asked you guys what the next step would be. Would we be setting up a trading hall or would we be building an iron farm? I got a lot of wonderful, lovely responses, and I think the decision has been made. From the bottom of my heart, sincerely, madly, deeply, thank you. I can't reveal the results today, but I can ask a question. Theoretically, if we were going to build an iron farm, do I build the old beauty, or do we try and invent something new? Let me know down below. Oh, right, how could I? How could I? While you're headed down there, do me a quick favor and smash like absolutely annihilated. I think I found like the most cool mushroom island ever. Look at this thing. Like, like I said, you know, it's not quite a continent, but it's pretty big. It's right next to a warm ocean. Over on that side of the island over there, I found an ocean monument, and 
Yeah, it's just big. It's just really, really big. We'll put it in the to-do list for like a couple years later, 2025 or something. It is now officially one of your job to remind me to come back to this very world and do Survival Island on the Mushroom King Island. Ah, uh, it's, it's such a beautiful place. And there won't be any mobs either. And oh my, <laughs> oh my God, there's a cave too. Yeah, you see what I mean? Yeah, we're gonna have to come back later. It seems poetically I've been given the opportunity. At dusk, the sun sets, and finally, it's enough of this disgusting rain. Let's roll it over and keep moving. Just a little while later, then it looks like we can finally say goodbye to the water. Even better, it's not just any land. It's one of the most disgusting biomes in the entire game. If I know anything about biomes, sometimes that'll lead into the one we're looking for. Uh, but first, I found a shipwreck. Uh, a shipwreck that is definitely not going to get me drowned. Oh, heck no, no, no way. We're going to just jump into the shipwreck nice and quickly and smoothly and check out all of the loots that are... Mm -hmm. You see... I knew it! I, I didn't even finish my sentence, but I knew it! Or conversely, this game knew that I needed iron desperately. And even better, even more paper and a compass for a map too? And a buried treasure? Wow, what is my luck? And wait for it, e even more paper. And Death Strider, oh, <laughs> Death Strider boots! Wow! I think it's fair to say that I'm packing now, but, um, terrible news. Terrible, terrible, no good, really bad news. You remember last episode when we did a deal with the devil for some saplings and money? Ah, you mean to say all I had to do was travel like, uh, I don't know, a couple thousand blocks and I could have had it myself. Wow, capitalism, <laughs> back at it again. Alrighty, so this looks like a great spot to land. Now that we've made it this far on our journey today, oh, I thought I saw something. Mm -hmm. Well, 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 my friend, look at what you've got here. Beachfront property is beautiful. It'd be a shame if somebody came in here and just um, re took it. If somebody came in here and took it. I mean, I guess we might as well take a look. Are we? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're close. We're real close. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, let's see if I can figure it out. And so, just a little bit of time later, on my very first try, in fact, I actually found the buried treasure. It's getting a little late and I'm being swarmed. No, no, it's my treasure. It's getting late and I'm being swarmed, sure. Oh, hey, I don't know why the chunk board is around. Who turned those on? Anyways, treasure. Beautiful, sweet, delicious, precious treasure. It's all mine. And a shell will you have, my friend. That will be mine, too. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so I've now filled up my inventory all the way, and uh, there's lots of mobs. I forgot the mobs can spawn. <laughs> okay, well, let's just go ahead and go somewhere else. I might go somewhere else, hey, in the middle of the ocean. Perfect. Carrying on from that near terrifying experience, I figured my next move was land. We would head over to the nearest body of a big land and basically sail along the shore. With such a high render distance, if I look in land, I should be able to see what's going on biome-wise and maybe, just maybe, find that sweet desert we're looking for. Then we can get looking for a village. Check this out, after sailing for not very much longer, it seems I've found something. Decisions, decisions, they're gonna have to be made at this point in the journey. Oh, they're, they're two different treasure maps. Oh, we're gonna have to make some room for some other things, just in case. Look at me look, you never know when you find a casually stranded gold block. Ah, it's beautiful. In our great pursuit of the new elusive, new best Minecraft mob, I don't know, to be honest, if this place is going to help us at all, but it is a place, and this place does happen to have a little bit of loot sometimes, so I figure we might as well stop. Oh, wait a second. We can import the trees. 
And wow, that's a fancy house. You got that double wide right there. Wow. <laughs> that's fancy. Oh. Oh. We've entered the wrong neighborhood. <gasps> beautiful. How oh, beautiful. I didn't even think that I wouldn't be able to ride the camel until now. <laughs> this is the best. Oh, don't mind me. Just, just looking through your wares really quick. I didn't know that was in the loot table. The stone. Hey, just taking a look at how, what your loot is. Every single building in this town apparently has a loot. A serious question. Are, are Savannah villages maybe the best villages of all time for loot? It sure looks like it. But anyways, when it came to looting, this is our final stop. Uh, final stop in the disappointing train. And now I, I figure we'll try something different. See, it's not that I've been sailing around for a long time, but yeah, actually, no. That's all I've been doing. That wasn't really seeing any deserts in the ocean, so maybe what we do is we cut and land. We move into the savannah and then start exploring, hopefully not losing my sense of direction, and hopefully finding a desert. Is it? <gasps> Oh, it is. Spots, so sweet spots. How about me and you just become a little bit of a friend? This is a plan I came up with on the fly here, but imagine this. We take the horse, we, we become best friends with the horse, seeing as we're on land and we have a saddle. We can take that off anytime we need it back. We put the saddle on spots over here, and we sail. Except this time, <laughs> sailing on the land. Oh, that's genius. Wow, Spots, would you take a look at this? On the horizon, it's all our land, me and your land. It looks like we were destined from the start to have bamboo in this world, too. Spots, I think it's safe to say, me and you, you're my new best friend. Ah, <sighs> the bamboo jungle. I really wonder if they're gonna actually like do anything with this place in 1.20. Now that we actually have the bamboo wood, I mean, like a village? We could have a village here so easily. Maybe like a thicker bamboo thing built out of the bamboo blocks. It's, it's like this thing, but like thicker. Maybe you find it here? I, I don't know. All right, listen, spots, spots. It's getting crowded in here. We need to move carefully and we need to move quickly. This is becoming nighttime. Sooner or later, this thing will... Yes, yes, sooner or later, this will break and we can keep moving. But we're gonna need to rest. We can't do this at night. Bright and early the next morning. Spots, you come with me. This is the day. I can feel it. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> oh, no way, no way. Oh, if only I was bringing the panda back home. Oh, it would be so easy to bring the panda back home. Look, you, you make the baby. And look, even more generously, you eat to all of your whole family, the baby, the child. You could all have the bamboo. <laughs> I need to remember this. Uh, we could bring pandas back to the island. Oh, no. Should I bring pandas back to the island? <laughs> if I can't find a camel, I I'm bringing the pandas. Wow, so that one's got to go down in the top 10 plot twists of all time. And this one has to go down in, like, one of the biggest sparse jungles of all time. This thing is huge. I thought these were usually, like, the small edge of the jungle. And it just keeps going and going and going. This would be a great spot for a base. Oh. <gasps> oh. And speaking of a great spot for a base, that sure looks like a whole lot of sand. Don't you think, Spots? Oh, yes, yes. Spots doesn't speak English, only Czechoslovakian, but uh, Spots did indeed answer yes. That's a lot of sand. And a cactus, too. <laughs> that means it's not just a beach. Oh, we could be onto something. Just in case. Oh, just in case. You come with me, cactus. Not that you had a choice or can't even know that you're coming with me, but you're... My face. It, you can see my face right now. Check the webcam right there, yeah? Oh, my gosh. I think we've done it. Spots, we've done it. <laughs> we've done it, we've done it. Well, I, I guess I should say we probably did do it. I don't know for sure that there will be a camel here, but I also know a lot about the camels. I, I've done my digging, my studying, my research. Ah, we've done, uh, I've done a lot of reading into the camel. And every single desert village should have a camel indeed. All we need to do is find the center found center. <gasps> <laughs> there it is! There it is! I'm crying! I'm crying right now! The camel! The camel in Minecraft survival! You're, you're beautiful and so much taller than Spots do, no offense! A tall king! Wow, and look at you, you're smiling! You got the tadpole on the- Oh, and you sit down too! Stay away from my camel, Iron Golem! Oh, wow! This is beautiful! Now, this is really beautiful, but can you- Okay, you can go on the lead, and if I walk around, I will be able to pull you on the lead. Yes, yes, I can pull you, or I can make you follow- Oh, you're so slow. Oh, you're so relatively slow compared to the horse. Oh, this is bad. And wow. Actually. 
Actually, this is beautiful. A warm ocean, too. And a floating village. Back to the sad music. This is bad. This is bad. This is so sad. Spots, you're my new best friend. You know this. You know this. It's nothing personal. It's really nothing personal at all, but... Uh, this, this would be the longest journey of all time. Camel friend. Get up. Get up. You're lazy. Get up. Spots, my friend. My friend Spots. It's, it's nothing personal. I hate to do this. I really, really do. I feel like such a bad person, but Spots... Spots, I think you're gonna need to hold it down over here. They got a sea pickle. Oh, that's that's interesting. Spots, I will return after the Great War. Your job is to hold it down over here at this town. Without the camel here, who knows what could happen? The camel was in charge, but these villagers, look at them, they're fools. And the golem? This is just gazing off into the distance. It's not even thinking. Spots, your mission is to hold this village down forever. Camel, a uh, lead, can't lose that thing. Camel, you come with me, and it's getting emotional. I, I need to leave here. Camel, I, I need to move you about, like, yeah, 4,000, 5,000 blocks. <gasps> oh, it's bad here. It's really bad. All right, so it's time to get our good new friend back home. Home, sweet home. I've gone such a long ways, and not only have I gone south at this point, but I've also gone, like, straight out in this way, like, east, west, you know, something like that. Like, really, really far. I think I have an idea for moving the camel across the ocean. Oh, there's a lush biome over here too. Oh, wow. I want to, I, I really do, but I can't do it. I can't strand Minecraft's rarest and best mob out here alone on the surface. Who knows what would happen? Maybe it would despawn or something. That's not good. I think we'll have to come back to the lush biome later for the sweet axolotls and all of the other amazing lush game things. Oh, <laughs> another village. Another village. Oh, the smell. The smell. This place is an absolute dump. The villagers, uh, if you're even anywhere, where, where are you? The villagers, this place reeks. What have you done to this place? I think for that reason, I'm going to have to check out some of the chests here. Camel, no, no, no rest yet. We're going to have to check out the chests. Oh, no, oh, it's you. You reek. You reek. What have you done to your pants? Oh, oh, that's disgusting. All right, well, moving around here, gazing into each building. I'm not seeing as much loot as I had hoped for. Maybe this place really is just a whole dump. I mean, it literally reeks, too. I mean, maybe we have something good. <laughs> just, just the world's biggest supply of apples. That's all. I gotta get out of here. That place is disgusting. All right, my big brain friends, we've made it to the ocean, as you could probably see. Next up, if I move north along this shore, I think I'll get to where I landed. There was a smaller mushroom island within viewing distance of the shore. I remember that for sure. Minecraft Survival's first camel Lee. Oh, so close. <laughs> we were so close. Oh, that was almost great. <laughs> it's so cool. 100% this was it. Absolutely. This was the shipwreck that I was remembering right over there. There should be a jungle over there. And even more importantly, we've got this right over here. So lads, it's time for a little bit of science. So over here on the shore, check this out. If I go ahead and grab this boat and drop the boat down, maybe lure the camel slowly over to the boat, it will not be able to fit. If I had a baby camel, so like found another desert village, bred him up, I could put the baby camel in there and that would be cool. But this one won't work. Instead, what I think I want to try and do, and I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work, but instead, what I think I want to try and do is bring the camel over here. Then we put the lead on a camel. Then I jump into the boat right over here. Then I hold this to keep it with me, right? Get it nice and close. And then can I sail the camel back home? Like, oh boy, watch out for that thing. <gasps> We're golden. We're golden. It's going to be so easy. Look at this thing. It's zooming on the water. You ever seen a camel faster than this boy? No, impossible. Oh, that's it. I was so nervous. I didn't know if this was going to work. But that's all we need to do. Maybe I'll like sail in like third person, you know, keep an eye on the camel, make sure it's keeping up with me. That's it. All I need to do is sail something like 2,000 more blocks or, or something. Uh, past a couple islands, a couple ocean monuments in here too. Watch out for those. And <laughs> we successfully import a camel They're back to their homeland. Oh, wow. I think this is the best day ever. This, this has got to be the best day ever. <laughs> And there she is, 
just a quick bit of Sally later. Home sweet home. With that, my friends, we've done it. Right as the sun sets on day number 45 in our world. We've done it. Minecraft's best and rarest and newest mob. It's ours. Now, uh, containing a camel, containing a camel. What do I do? They can walk over like fences and everything. I think we're going to have to build like a house for it or something. But I think for now, good friend, you live on the lead next to. Yeah, I'm really sorry about your neighbors. Really sorry about that. Taking a look at the inventory here, when it comes to the heart of the sea and when it comes to diamonds and other profits, we're rolling in it. In this world, we are now the proud owner of not one, but two heart of the sea, one nautilus shell, and a lot of gold things. And, and an extra saddle too. Definitely can't forget that. We got a brand new type of wood to maybe experiment with. That'll be pretty cool. And sentimentally, we've got even more memories made along the way. Alexa, play a sad song. Well, actually, I guess it would be like a hopeful song or happy song. It's a very good moment. Oh, that's <laughs> that's funny looking. Island Survival, episode number nine. What do you think about our brand new friend? And what should we do about the iron farm situation? The tiny one or the classic one? No cliffhangers today. Sorry about that. But please leave a like and subscribe anyways. And notifications on. It's snapshot season. Until next time, waddle waddle. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? It's me, Waddles, and I can't believe it. How could I do it to you? <laughs> How did you let me? You wouldn't skip an episode. I know you. That means, of course, you remember that we found Minecraft's best mob ever. Last time. I didn't name this thing. I didn't come up with the name in the last episode, and I didn't even ask you either. So today, I ask you a simple favor. Name this camel down in the comments. This time, the most liked comment that isn't a name I've already used will become the official name of the camel. <laughs> uh, I hope I don't regret this. So we got some catching up to do. In the time since our last adventure, one of the most interesting Minecraft updates of all time happened. Armor trims in Minecraft 22 W03A. From the aesthetic of the items to how you get them, until of course the actual trims themselves, <laughs> I'm obsessed. Like thoroughly, completely obsessed. There's only one thing we can do. Look friends, I know we just went on an adventure last episode, but... Uh, legally, I have to do it again. Checking out my set of armor, it it actually appears to be missing trim. <laughs> then we're gonna go looking for trim, though. We do have a couple problems. Problem number one, I'm still in Minecraft 1.19.3. The resolution to problem number one is maybe one of the easiest ones of all time. All we need to do is upgrade the world. Load up the world in the most recent snapshot. That's of the recording of this episode. Hey, check. Not a problem. The next problem that we'll come across is definitely going to be a little bit bigger. Considering the fact that in the last episode, we went out into our great big world and loaded a lot of stuff in. And when I loaded stuff in, I kind of locked armor trims out. That's going to be a big problem. Using MCA Selector, what I'm going to do next is delete almost every chunk from the world that I've ever loaded in. Other than our island, of course. By doing this, we'll be able to load them back in with the new loot. So, here goes nothing. Well, <laughs> I guess that's done. There's no going back. Look, it's up to you to debate the morals, the ethics of said previous action, but it's up to me to say, what's done is done. <laughs> Lads, let's find us some trim. My currently unknown, very mysterious camel friend, uh, listen, I won't be watching you, but you better not go anywhere. I swear, if I come back and you're gone, you're, you're done. done. <laughs> so, with that empty threat done and out of the way, I think it's about time we set a goal, and even more importantly, we set out. Armor trim, shamarmor trim. I mean, how hard could it be? But just in case, we'll set this goal at an attainable level. I, I know a bit about armor trim. I know it can be tricky to find. If we can find one piece of armor trim in today's episode, I will be more than happy. If we can find two or three or four pieces of armor trim, I will be ecstatic, but that's a little bit of a perfect world scenario. Sometimes it's just not a perfect world. With a doable goal of at least one armor trim item by the end of the episode set, it was time we could take advantage of intended game mechanic number one. Eh, well, 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 would you look at where I've found us, shipwreck number two of the day. 
Now look, look, shipwreck number one. Hey, yeah, yo, you get out of your way, out of the way. No, 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 no. Look, shipwreck number one. It didn't exactly go as smooth as I wanted, but shipwreck number two. I can feel it. Shipwreck number two. Don't let me down. You wouldn't let me down. We're, we're friends. We're, we have an emotional connection. It's so emotional that you can't even bear to open yourself to me, right? Come on. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have opened. All right, so I studied up armor trim. I think we have about 11% chance to find armor trim inside of shipwreck chest. 11% chance is 11% chance. So, or in other words, it's not exactly the hottest percent chance. Uh, but we have three chests in every single shipwreck. I think the shipwrecks are going to be our best bet, but I'm not sure. Taking into account the world around us and what we've seen of it, and of course, where the new armor trim items can actually be found. I think the smartest bet is going to be head out in the direction that we went last episode. Shipwreck number three, baby. I love you. I hate you. I meant to say I hate you. And I meant, wait, moss. Do I have moss yet? I don't know if I have moss. I can't remember, but I definitely have it now. Uh, thank you. A constellation. I love it. Look, I, I know I have a tendency to say things like this and, and be wrong sometimes, but shipwreck number four, I can feel it. I can feel it. Shipwreck number four is the ticket for us. It's the one that we need. All I need is this chest to open up, and then I will show you that I, I, I meant the other chest. This, this is, is the, the chest. chest. Oh. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm an emotional wreck. I'm crying. This is... It is actually the chest. Uh, guys, I, I think we need a new goal. New goal, two armor trim by the end of the episode. The stakes, they raise and slowly creep up higher than ever before. <laughs> I, I, I have an armor trim. I have an armor trim right now. I can't believe it. I, I, I'm drowning. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> an armor trim. Uh, is it really going to be that easy? There's no way. Like, like, absolutely no way. It's actually going to be that easy. Yeah, th that's what I thought. You open. There's no way at all. It's, it's going to be that easy. And look at all this emerald, too. I come home rich. I drown a little bit. I drown just a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. It makes me feel alive. We'll keep moving. Land. Oh, beautiful land. I see it. That's where we're headed next. Before we go too far, though, one more shipwreck. Could this be the one? Could it be? Will it be? Maybe it is the one that actually opens for once. Wow. All right. Well, I guess I have some time. Oh, oh, that's awkward. <laughs> I was kind of in the middle of something. I guess I'll take the books, though. And it is. All right. New goal. Three. Armor trim count them. One through three. By the end of the episode. Wow. This is extraordinarily extraordinary. I mean, then again, I, I know I live in the middle of an ocean and there's like a million shipwrecks. But wait, when it comes to armor trim, this is like, it's like a cakewalk. Hmm. Land, sweet land. It looks really beautiful, too. Lots of bamboo. I'm sure there's a panda or two inside of that thing, but I think I need to keep moving. Uh, look at my inventory already. I mean, sure, I know I have a lot of suspicious stew that I've been collecting, but the, the inventory is already getting really full. <laughs> I'm gonna need to be more selective. Wait a second, you know what I just thought of? It's a jungle. Duh, it does not even hit me. It's a jungle. Jungle temples. Duh. Uh, obviously. And so with that, we set foot on the very first land of the dead. Hopefully this will be the one. All right, it's, it looks like it's all a bamboo jungle. I, I don't remember if jungle temples can generate here, but... It also doesn't really look that big. I mean, think, wait, is that terracotta? <laughs> is this Mesa? Oh, it definitely beautifully is. It looks like I found a Badlands Island in the middle of the ocean with a jungle, a, a desert, and a bat, and a lot of lush caves. A lot of them. Five of them. <laughs> okay. It's really cool, but unfortunately, all I can see up here when it comes to... Anything we're really looking for is, is melon. Sweet, tasty, satiating melon. All right, I, I know this suspicious stew is sometimes bad, but I can't lie, I'm feeling lucky today, so it's gotta be good, right? Oh, okay, I'm blind, I can't see. Hey, 
And so, the at log last. After the luckiest sail ever, we made it to mainland. Now, looking at all of the structures where we could possibly find armor trim, for example, outpost or desert ruin, I think the land is going to be our best bet. I was thinking from this point on, we'd be able to explore the land, move slowly across it, and hopefully, sooner rather than later, come across the perfect structure, like a pillager outpost or something. <laughs> Look, at this point, after all of the luck that we've had, I'm really not looking for much. Thinking about it now, I definitely should have taken the saddle off the camel so I can move a little bit quicker across the land, but I mean, I'm, I mean, this works. Well, actually, a question. Would it be legal of me to move into a village that I may have already generated before, maybe even looked at the loot of before? Is it legal of me to move into this village, get lucky, and hopefully find a saddle, and keep it? Oh, you, you know what? That's right. This is the dump without, like, anything here. Now, let's get out of here. And so with that, it was time to move. Until... Ha ha ha! Interesting! You see what I see down there? The lush caves. Nah, I, I mean, look, a complete sidetrack, sure. Definitely not what we need to be doing, and, and inventory-wise, maybe not what I should be doing. But the lush caves. I need the glowberries. Oh, oh, that's awkward, no, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Not necessary, you, you, you know, stop it. Uh, look, I come here for but one small thing, one small tiny thing, just a couple of them. So a couple glowberries and I, I get out of here. I'm looking for bigger things anyways. And so, after that sidetrack, it was now actually, officially, time to move. Look, I'm an optimist, but I'm, I'm also a realist. I think it's unlikely that we find anything in this thing. We got a one in five chance, but maybe. I mean, who knows? Maybe fortunately we come out of this with at least an LA, but a one in five chance. Let's do this, boy. No, 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 no. We move. We dodge. We, we, we quickly find the entrance of the structure, which of course is the final side that I check, and, and then we block it off. Nobody else comes in. Like Rapunzel or something, we climb the stairs uh, slowly but surely. In the please, uh, at least a goat horn. Literally nothing. I, I literally get nothing. None of it. All right. Well, I got, I got a second. We got iron golem cages over there. And no alley either. Oh, it's, it's sad. It's sad. <laughs> Heartbreaking even. A tragedy. I did, however, come up with a plan that I think is actually, like, pretty smart. Instead of exploring across the land, I found this river. And I reminded that in Minecraft 1.19, or Minecraft 1.18, you know, like, any update since they redid the terrain, the rivers are actually great for exploring. It, depending on how deep this jungle actually goes, I might miss things, but also, jungle temples kind of stand out. It's like gray in the middle of green. I figured I could maybe uh, just, just uh, end up seeing one from the river, right? I'm thinking as long as I scan the jungle and look at like every pixel and anytime I see something relatively gray, which... Is that? <laughs> I think it is. I think if I move along the river and look at the jungle for anything gray and stop, then there's no way at all I miss anything intriguingly beautiful. Hmm. So temple, we break into sight. Like a true archaeologist, we cannot disturb the temple, can't break a single thing. We need to move into this thing carefully, not setting off any of the traps. We hit every lever right here, which definitely does something. Without breaking a single thing, I, I break one simple block and find the treasure. And there's nothing but a saddle. A saddle and sweet, sweet disappointment. <laughs> Next up, this right here, trap, nice try. <laughs> and finally, I think there's another trap over here, right? Or there was. Treasure, please, treasure, please work. Nothing. And th that's all there is to this one, right? I, I, I'm pretty sure that's it. I think I want this, though, and this, and I think I want that, too. At this point in our journey today, we're starting to get pretty far from home. Like, 5,000 blocks or more far. <laughs> really far. Instead of continuing to head out in basically a straight line, I decided I would switch up directions a little bit. Instead of going farther and farther, I decided what I would do is start slowly circling back towards home. 
Not that we were going back towards home yet or anything like that. I still wanted to hopefully find one more trim, but like, maybe just get like less far, you know? Also around this point in the journey, the dreaded moment that I was fearing for so long actually happened. My inventory was truly all the way full and I would have to start making decisions as to what I wanted to keep. Oh, <laughs> I did it. I found another one. Oh no, oh no, 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 I'm doing, I'm drowning. I have, well, that's three. Wow, 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 that is stunningly beautiful. Gorgeous even. At this point, I had a change of heart, a change of plans completely. With three out of the four pieces of coast armor set needed for a full set of coast armor, maybe that's the real goal. One full, perfect set of coast armor before we go back home. I, I think we could do it. At this point, I feel like it's definitely absolutely possible, and it would kind of make sense, seeing as how we like, live in a stranded island. So let's do that. And there it is, and there it is, the full set of ghost armor, and actually, well, well, well. Now look, look, I don't know the ethics of this, so I, I'm not gonna do anything with it today, but I didn't think about it. Uh, when I reset the junks, I reset the desert village from last episode. From the looks of this desert village right next to the warm ocean in the approximate area that the other desert village was, it's the same one, guys. It, it has to be the exact same desert village. With the, the same camel, too. Technically speaking. And so, a question for you. As I embark slowly on my long journey back home today, should I come back and take the camel? Like, is it ethical and legal to take the camel, breed the camel with itself, and then have it create a baby? Technically speaking? Ah, let me know what you think uh, down below. And so with that, there was yet another, one of the greatest cliffhangers of all time. What will he do next episode? With some of those newfound profits, will he perhaps craft a smithing table and add those brand new smithing templates to that set of armor? What color could he add to that theoretical new set of armor? Where in the world did that new panda friend come from? And of course, what will the big camel's name officially be? I guess those are all questions we'll, <laughs> we'll have to answer next time. But before we go, check out all of this loot from today's episode. We're so rich now. Smash like for more, subscribe, and notifications on. It's been me, Waddles. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to our big ocean adventure known as Hardcore Island Survival. This episode is going to be a big one. It's a three-part saga. First up, we'll have the intro, <laughs> then we'll move on to <laughs> actually more exploration, and then finally, we end with a bang, the biggest upgrade of all time. In our slow march towards the big 100, we're halfway there. We should crack on with it. Oh, Clyde, oh, oh Clyde, you reek of a camel, but Clyde, I, I can't believe it. I forgot to name you when I first found you. It was despicable of me. Instead of me naming you, I've had them name you, and they picked the best name in the world. Clyde, you definitely smell like a camel, look like one too. But in my heart, in my heart, you're more than a camel. Aww. And your name? Your name is Clyde. You didn't let me down. You could have named the camel anything, Bill, Robert, Toe, but, but you chose Clyde. <laughs> so thank you. So now it's time for a nostalgia trip. Alexa, play something romantic. Perfect. A couple episodes ago, a while ago on our adventure, we built the Beauty in the Sky. The Beauty in the Sky has now seemingly broken. There's three villagers inside of it. Alas, but there's more to it. The Beauty in the Sky, it was really a big setup for something 
while big, running dangerously low on a crucial world resource. I think it's time we head out into Great Big Blue, and at that, sail smoothly into Act 2. Alright, uh, so uh, guys, I made a mistake. I made a big mistake by upgrading this world to Snapshot. We're now in Snapshot 23W05A. And <laughs> we're not going to talk about the debacle last episode. Not one single one of you is going to point out the fact that <laughs> I recorded last episode in 23W04A. And then in the next snapshot, they, they made armor trims like a million times easier to get. <laughs> I will see not one comment about it because it'll emotionally wreck me. <laughs> I, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine, really. Thanks for asking. But the actual big problem that I'm having in this world is, well, ever since upgrading the snapshots, this world lags a lot. It's really bad, actually. Act two of our adventure today, like I said earlier, um, involves exploration. Except only this time, we won't be exploring on the surface. I know exactly where we need to head. And that's gonna be precisely under the ground. Milady, how are you doing? Very nice hat you have today. Soulless, demonic looking eyes, but <laughs> it's great to see you again. In one of the handful of exploration episodes that we've spent here together, in this world together, we found this gigantic mushroom island. It's essentially the Australian equivalent of mushroom islands. Things a continent. Like, as far as the eye can see, in every single direction, it, <laughs> it's all mushrooms. Mushrooms and a little bit more mushrooms. Thing is gigantic. While I was here, and this is something that I think I, I cut out of the episode, but while I was here, I found something perfect. Oh! <laughs> I didn't find that! I definitely didn't find that! I swear that wasn't even here before. But when I wiped the chunks, generation didn't change. I mean, I, I'll take it. For, for sure, I'll take it. Thanks. Alright, but anyways, when I was over here before, I found something intriguing. That intriguing, oh no. Don't tell me. No, 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 no. Oh, ah, I don't know what I was thinking. Never mind. It's still here. To build the insanely powerful and actually still kind of secret farm that we'll be building today. To pull it all off. But, uh, oh, okay. Well, I'll remember this. Anyways, to pull off this big, wonderful, bodacious farm that we're going to pull off today. We're gonna need zombies, but more importantly, we're gonna need a zombie that doesn't go away. So you see, I was thinking we would come over here, we would explore the mine shaft a little bit, find a name tag hopefully, and then we'd, we'd be on our way. <laughs> Except the mine shaft kind of ended. <laughs> but I'm familiar with Minecraft generation. There's no way at all, not a chance that this is all there is to the mine shaft. The mine shaft definitely. Yeah, all right, hopefully. I'm really praying here, guys, that the mine shaft just simply just got cut off. It, it definitely continues somewhere, and maybe we could use this cave to, to cut to the other part of it. Hmm. And so, after a little bit more winding and weaving, I seem to have found the mine shaft's continuation. We're really, really deep now, but. That's not a problem at all. See, this uh, mine shaft over here is kind of like a two-in-one, or at least that's what I was thinking. Because not only is this a mine shaft, meaning uh, 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 the first chance, please be lucky, please be lucky, please be lucky. All right, all right, there'll be more, there'll be more. All right, anyways, not only is this a mine shaft, but this is also a mine shaft inside of the mushroom field spot, which means no mobs are going to spawn here other than the spawner mobs. And uh, apparently it means things are going to be insanely, insanely chaotic in here. A uh, very cramped feeling even. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I, I, I can't complain. I'll take it. Look, hey, it's a cakewalk, guys. A piece of cake cakewalk. As long as I cannot get lost in this thing, uh, there's like no risk involved at all. It's going to be so easy. This is going to be uh, so easy. <laughs> it's not going to be a problem at all. Uh, so easy. Uh, no risk involved at all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh. Oh my. 
Oh my. Haha. <laughs> 100% is above me. 100,000% is above me. And oh, there you are. There you are. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. There you are. It, no. Well, this could only mean one thing. Logically speaking, if I'm in the mushroom fields, biome. Oh, you're waiting from above. Haha. <laughs> Dangerous. Yeah, look, logically speaking, this can only mean one thing. All I've got to do is find that one thing. Could you be the thing? <laughs> I know exactly what you are. Could you be the thing? Let's move. We move quick. We place the down zombies all over the place. Being swarmed. Oh, wait. That's right. Swarmers are way stronger now. Uh, two torches not going to cut it. No, 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 no. You go away. Right there. Torch right there. There, there, there. Everywhere. Torches all around and... Name tag or name tag? Name tag or name tag? I know I can find you in here. No. Not name tag. Delicious. Name tag. Listen, you do it here or wow. else. <laughs> we don't gotta find out what I meant by or else. A beautiful day. All right, well, that went really, really well. All I've got to do is find some kind of way to fit everything inside of my inventory here. All I have to do is find a way to fit everything. Specifically, there you are. Coordinates of this very honorable spawner. I will remember them forever. Spawner, I salute you. The tributes that you have bestowed upon me so dearly. And the sweet progress that you have enabled me to be able to make. It will truly never be forgotten again. So now, all I need to do is get back up to the surface. I'll meet you there. Hey, by the way, in the last episode, specifically the comments of it, I pinned a comment that will help me remember this handy little trick forever. With the help of this one simple life pack right here, the inventory has been literally doubled. It's so useful. All right, so the, the the exit out of that spot right there, if we ever want to go back to the spawner, it's just going to be under the water, a little unfortunate, but I, I mean, it works. I'm marking with that. Now, let's get back over to the home. Out here in the ocean, beautiful shipwreck right there, intriguing, but uh, anyway, out here in the ocean, I'm pretty sure home sweet home should be down this way. <laughs> Back over at home sweet home, with every ingredient and more in hand, it's go time. No oh, villagers, villagers, how could you have done this? You embarrass me, it's despicable. You, you are not supposed to be in here. You need to get out of this thing right now before the other ones wake up. All right, buddy? Listen, listen, you're just gonna go ahead and... You better not, you don't jump out of this thing, okay? Um, look, I hate to do it to you, but get out of here. You're not supposed to be in the farm, you're breaking it. No, <laughs> all right, um, two villagers inside of the breeder, check, and, oh, uh, okay, there you are, <laughs> I was gonna say, where'd you go now? So, iron farms, a while ago, uh, I think it was the episode that I actually built that thing, I asked you guys what I should do, build the same old iron farm, or maybe something new. I've done some thinking, a little bit of research, and some thinking. When it comes to iron farms, other than my beautiful beauty right there, there are so many options out there on YouTube. I think what I'd like to do is build a super compact beauty floating off of the island. And for that super compact beauty, I like the looks of this shulker craft design right here. Even more importantly, not only do I like the looks of that design, but I think I have everything here ready on the island. Well, you know what, correction, almost everything. I almost have everything right here on the island. The only thing I'm missing is a little bit more extra lava. I don't want to give up my only lava source, so sure, sure, it's aesthetically horrendous, but functionally, this would be perfect. The logistics of this design are pretty simple. Essentially, we would build an isolated platform out in the ocean. Maybe out of like another bricks or something, that could be cool. Essentially, we need to find somewhere that is far away from the villager breeder over there. So, you know, maybe something like this over here. Actually, that's kind of far. Or even better, maybe something like this over here. It's a little bit closer. We built a small isolated platform out in the ocean, kind of close to the island so it'll actually run, but not too close that the iron golems are spawning on all of our other farms, ruining them. And then essentially, all we need to do is torment a couple of villagers for all eternity. And make the baby. Oh yes, oh yes, it's beautiful. I don't know if I gave you too much food or what, but oh, it's beautiful. We're gonna need three villagers for this design. 
So first things first, we need to set up a small spawning platform, and then we also need to set up a small removal box. According to the original tutorial, this spawning box thing needs to be 14 blocks deep, but I'm willing to bet I can modify it and make it even cheaper. See, uh, thinking a little bit about how zombies spawn here, they're gonna walk over, and then they're gonna jump down here, and I'm pretty sure if I make this hole, like, maybe three blocks deep, maybe four to be safe, that should be way, way easier than 14 blocks deep. Ah, gosh, uh, the, the hardest thing, I, I think the hardest, most disappointing, annoying thing about living on an island is, is on, honestly never having the blocks that I need. Like, like you see in Super Flat Survival, anytime I needed blocks, it wasn't really a problem. I will walk over to the cobblestone generator and just generate a little bit more cobblestone. And now that I think about it, I could totally just build one of those things here. Ah, but anyways, beside the point, beside the point. In a normal survival world, you go down into the caves a lot. You find blocks. You move land around a little. You terraform it to make a new beautiful build. And when you do that, you get more blocks. Ah, what I'm saying here is you guys should really feel bad for me. Yeah. You're starting on a survival island like this and not really like building off of the island, expanding it. I always run out of blocks. All right. So, evil iron golem removal chamber. Check. We're set there. That's good. This golem removal chamber being just a little bit shorter, it might affect the rates a little, but probably not too much. Next up, next up. <sighs> In order to afford this expensive step, I've done episodes and episodes worth of exploring and then chopping and chopping worth of chopping. I had to cut down one of the biggest trees of all time for this one because hoppers. Oh, it's painful. Yeah, it's so painful. Nine hoppers. Oh, wow, I'm glad I went and explored for all that iron. Ouch. All right, look, there's no easy way to put it, but this is expensive. This is so expensive. In the end, it will probably be worth it once we have just so much iron. But if this design is... If it is clickbait, the, the biggest, biggest Minecraft, Minecraft drama of all time will commence. Um, so... Every hopper goes into the chest and you know, put some signs in there. Uh, this should be good. So this part is my own modification of the design. I think to speed up the iron golem removal a little bit, instead of like a campfire or something, we'll use a lava bucket. If I didn't mean to do that, if I put a lava bucket right in the middle, I'll burn up the golems, just like in my own design. We find the middle, which is that spot right there, and then three blocks up above the middle, we place soul sand. Uh-huh. All right, so we're just about time, uh, or almost just about time, to, I think, capture our zombie. What I think we want to do is we put water right there, we put a boat right there to get the zombie into position. Then we go out, we find a zombie, and we'll have to name tag the zombie, but I think it's going to be sitting in water, so it should be safe from, like, the fire. Yeah, admittedly, however, when it comes to these things, I am a bit of a coward, so <laughs> I think if we just put a solid block right there and then some slabs around it, or maybe even, like, more slabs or so something, if we put solid blocks up here... I don't think it'll burn. It should be fine. And cue the music. Uh, cue the clown and beautifully uh, cue it. Just cue the music. Uh, cue that wonderful goofy music. Um, the problem. So I heard a drought a second ago, and I don't know if it despawned or what, but a drown showed theoretically. Yes, you will. Hi, beautiful. You will work. Oh no, what is this? A damsel in distress in the ocean. Drowned. I, it would be really bad if you got your way over to me. Really scary even. If you got your way over to me, you followed me up the staircase and, and then you tried to actually walk out of the water and get me. And then funnily enough, come on, you can do it. You can do it. All right, look, look, I'll help you out a little bit. Come on, you got it. You can do it. You can get on the land. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Look, look, maybe I'll help you out a little bit. You build like a staircase right there. You should be able to jump up now. Yeah, yeah, you got it, right? Come on. Come on, you can do it. All right, fine. Uh, be like that. Be like that. You don't cooperate. It's fine. I'll put you in a boat. You'll get inside of the boat. Come on. Yeah, yes, yeah. Think, improvise, adapt, overcome. You, you go ahead. Oh, you pick up the item too. Wonderful. Okay. Well, okay. This should work. Yeah, yeah, that works. So look, uh, listen, funny story here. Funny th story, I'm used to iron farm, you need a zombie inside of it, and you name tag the zombie so it doesn't despawn, right? Yeah. 
One more try again. Didn't seem to work that time. We try again. We just climb the staircase right here. You walk over. You see, I'm used to name tag the zombie. You name tag a zombie and it will never despawn. <laughs> Guess I should have looked at the design first because zombie in the boat, <laughs> it won't despawn either. I guess I have an extra name tag. It's your fault, you fool. I hit you if I could. It's, it's all your fault. Listen, don't go anywhere. I got just a job for you. Entities don't despawn when they're in a boat. <sighs> well, this is just some some beautifully mind-blowing information that I <laughs> Really wish I looked at before <laughs> That's fine <laughs> Well, what have you brought me today? You've not only brought me but your child as well <laughs> No, no, no All right, so next up from the looks of things I'm gonna need a little staircase looking thing right over here yeah, kind of like that. That should be good. Couple more beautiful looking temporary blocks, and then it's bedtime. We place a couple of beds right here, and this should be basically it. One trap door right there, another trap door right there, and another one right there, and then a couple more over here. And somehow, yeah, magically, these trap doors are gonna hold the villagers in. I mean, I believe it, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> I guess we'll see. And now, villagers, villagers, wonderful villagers, I'm gonna need one of you, just one of you, to, to go ahead and move into the new boat, yes, perfect. I'm gonna need the other one of you to get inside of that boat, yeah, perfect. And now, my good friend, it's off to your new place of employment. Have I got the best spot in the world for you to work? Now listen, listen, this is a little scary looking right now, but this spot should be the best spot in the world for you. I think you're gonna wanna work straight up there. Forget whatever you're seeing, and forget whatever you might be hearing. There's nothing to see over there, okay? Just forget it all and go to the workstation of the dreams. No, that is not over there. Definitely the wrong way. Believe it or not, the workstation of your dreams is gonna be straight up the staircase over here. Maybe it's too far. That should be good. That, that definitely should be good. Go ahead and move on up to the workstation of your dreams it's right up there right up there no it's not over there where i don't know where you're going new plan is absolutely foolproof look at that you could literally work right there you don't even have to walk anywhere you could just turn around and be at your <laughs> oh uh, yes 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 go that way go that way yes my friend you're so smart the speed at which you swim is so slow agonizingly so oh but you're smart This'll do it. This'll do the trick. With that thing up there, it's foolproof. There's no way you couldn't just see that job and simply, irresistibly walk right up there. Uh-huh, that's perfect. All right, so now that you're up here, good friend, you've done so well. You've done so well. You're so smart. No, don't do it. Don't do it. You just walk right over there. No, okay, we're so close, buddy. We're so close. Yes? What did I do wrong? There you go. I don't think you can get out anywhere. That should be perfect. So my friends, you seem to have camouflaged yourself and you've gotten stuck again. This will simply not do. You need to go out that way. Go out, nope, no. Nope. All right, I'll go out that way. My good and dear friend, you go out there and we're here together. Uh -huh. Okay, so at this point, we're in the home stretch of today's project. I've made another modification to the design that we'll we'll talk about in a second. But all I need to do is get two more villagers up inside of that holding pen over there. We should be good. Also, I don't exactly know what happened, but <laughs> there's an iron column right down there. You might be a problem. The strategy this time around might be a little bit different. You see right now, it looks like the villagers are trying to pathfind to go into the bed because I think it's like nighttime or at least like almost nighttime. I was thinking this time, maybe the villagers will just pathfind straight up this thing, try and, you know, go to the bed and sleep. But <laughs> then again, maybe not. Bright and early the next morning, it's time we finish this job for once and for all. I've got myself a couple different workstations lined up up here and a brand new method of pushing the villagers in. From the looks of things, everything up here should now be perfectly in place. The only modification I needed to make to get these villagers to not jump out of the cell is add a slab up there. Now in the original design, there are two sets of villagers on both sides of this farm. 
Lava, lava. How are we doing over here? Lava, lava. Nothing. So knowing a little bit about how Iron Golem spawning mechanics actually work here, I'm willing to bet that just the three villagers up top on one side, that should be enough. I know as soon as I leave this spot and come back, the lava's going to be ready to go, but <laughs> I'm tired of waiting. To the nether. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't mean if I walked in on something or <laughs> something. <laughs> oh, but even more importantly, one source of lava. That'll do. One lava bucket carefully placed right there. A couple sandstone slabs placed back right there, and it should work. At least in theory, this thing definitely should absolutely work. If there's anything I consider myself an expert at in this game, it's the iron farms. And there it is. <laughs> there it is. It's beautiful. It actually works. The villagers sleep every once in a while. A golem pops in. Just need to add a trap door so it can, like, fall into the lava. <laughs> it works. Uh, I mean, gosh, that's, that's one way to ruin a cliffhanger, I, I guess. My friend, here you go. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm evil. I'm evil. I'm evil, but it works. It absolutely certifiably for certain... It works. Ah, so today's cliffhanger of the day, what could it be? Well, there's only one thing I could really put at this point. So that fancy armor trim that we bought for ourselves last episode, it's time. Now that we have a smithing table in hand, I think it's finally time actually. We go ahead and place this down and grab this trim and... Oh, wait, that's the cliffhanger. Approaching day number 60, so many questions left unanswered. I like this panda. Or how about this farm? Will it ever work? This beautiful iron farm? Ah, is it even beautiful? And the armor trim, what will he ever do with it? Today, a big shout out my patrons, the great Vegeta, Michael H, CK, and Doug. I appreciate you. From the bottom of my heart and Clyde's heart over here, I would like to thank you all for watching this episode. You drop a like if you liked it, subscribe for more. It's been me, Waddles. I'll see you tomorrow. Oi, how you doing, everybody? It's me. Welcome to my island. Welcome to my sweet automatic island. We begin with the discovery. Last episode, we set up a... Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Last episode, we set up an iron titan of sorts. However, I have since discovered that it is uh, very easy to build. And it is iron for, for sure. However, this beauty, it seems to only work at nighttime. <laughs> that's a major flaw with this farm. Uh, they only see it at nighttime. At least I think. Now take a look at this poor, wretched place. This is this is what I've been calling home sweet home for the longest time. With all of these new builds around it, it's starting to look like a pile of junk. Also, related to my not pile of junk, that is definitely a pile of junk. The real estate market has not touched this land. Today, it's time. It is finally time. Taking a look at these chests right here. All the four of them included a barrel right there. Yeah, yeah, it's finally time. I think we are finally deserving of nothing less than a mansion. So the mob farm has been brilliant. It's been working perfectly as planned. Look at all these bones for bone meal that I could use right at the beginning. <laughs> it's wonderful. And uh, take into account the fact that we've barely been here and hey, it just gets even better. Over here at Planters Raft, right after you give that like button a good tap for me, we can get on with things. And hurry up and do that for me, because we need a lot of wood. And so, after harvesting what very well might be the most amount of wood you've seen in one place in your whole life, I think we're ready to go. In the time since the last episode, I've hatched up, cooked up, concocted a plan. But at the same time, I need a plan. You see, laddies, it is now episode number 12 and day number 58 in this world. What should I be working towards? With all of these wonderful farms built on the island and after today, with a beautiful mansion built too. What should I do? Like, should we work towards the Ender Dragon, take that thing out, and try and explore the end? Or heck, maybe it's some kind of cool farm that we need to work towards. Either way, I'm gonna need you to drop some kind of goal that we should work towards in the rest of this series, leading up to day number 100. Drop that down in the comments. So you see, friends, we've all heard of the qualitative method, we've all heard of mixed methodologies, of course, we've all heard of designing framework. But however, you may have not heard of 
the box method. Today, we will be building <laughs> with a little something I like to call the box method. This humble little beginning of different squares that I've kind of placed semi-randomly here. Oh, yeah, within 20 minutes, within the next 20 minutes. Look, by the end of the episode, we'll be living in the house of the dreams. So, not to a solid start, but things could get even more solid. We'll solidify things a little bit more with... Hey. No, 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 I hear it. I hear it. What are you doing? Everybody's invading the island, and... You don't even bring anything good. If you're a little unsure of the vision, I don't blame you, but I have just the thing that should change it all for you. Bamboo door. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. You may think I'm crazy, insane even, but believe in me, trust me, trust me. I think we can turn these simple boxes into the most beautiful piece of architecture ever. What I'm thinking here today is all of it's gonna be in the details. Not to flex or anything, but when it comes to this island, it, it's not about the resources. R really, when it comes to the resources, at this point, we're thriving. Look, I, I know day number 58 now, or whatever it is, might be a little late to call this a starter house for some, but it's a starter house. And the thing is, every single time I build a starter house, I always kind of go with the same vibe. And it's definitely not this. The sand. It's sand, sand, sand. I'm going to need so much sand for today because I'm going to need a lot of glass. All right. So box number one. Hey, just about check. Maybe I will pull this out and put another window, but that's a beautiful start. One box down, only like five or six more to go. <sighs> yeah, no big deal. This is gonna be done in no time. All right, so problem. I was taking a look at the box from over here. This is the first time I'm actually like taking a look at it and I was definitely thinking a boat garage right here, but I don't know what to do next. And does it look weird? Oh no. Ocean window. Romantic ocean side window so I can look out and look at my friends Leonardo, Michael. And then the other two that I'm forgetting. Alright, so check. Never mind, that's perfect. That'll be great. And then over here, like I said, the boat garage. Now this boat garage is no simple garage. You see, it's it's a boat garage. Perhaps the most luxurious way that one could enter some kind of fancy mansion. I was thinking for the boat garage. You're gonna have to switch it up a little bit and incorporate. Yeah. A second type of material. This old staircase that I was using for something at one point in the series with hold down here. Hi, yeah, yeah, thank you very much. The old staircase has got to go though. Well, 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 if I'm not mistaken, it seemed like the villagers that I was holding in this room were perhaps digging that room as a getaway tunnel. Interesting. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Where is that man going? <laughs> That's not even... What are you... What is it doing? I guess I hurt its feelings. Haters may say it's fake, but real ones, they say it's real. To every single person who was not believing me just one second ago and to every other drowned that is... No. No. Bad. I don't want you to try it. Yeah, how do you think about that, buddy? How do you think about that? Get out of here. And this time, the trident is mine. Or not. So I was able to find some glass inside of some of my chests and to look at this beauty to anybody who believed that I couldn't do it. It's cozy. This is like the best interior I've done in years. Oh, I, lo I love it. It's so simple, though. I wish, wish when I was at the mine shaft, I got some of those cobwebs because I would put them in the ceiling. But uh, anyways, the rest of the house. So we're out of the tricky bar now. I got a back wall of the garage in here, and I need to figure out how I want to connect it. I was thinking like a staircase, right? We would leave the garage, we'd step up maybe, and then I guess I could have like a door right here. Uh, but that means I think I need to add another box on, or... Yeah, I definitely need to add another box on. What I was thinking is maybe I could just do a, a small hallway box or something, right? Like, walks over that way? I don't know. Of course, with this being a garage, we'll need a door, so bamboo door again. Oh, it's beautiful. It finishes off the garage, like, perfectly here, but <laughs> how do I connect it to the rest of the house? I mean, I guess, like, yeah, a hallway and a staircase or something. 
I guess that's it. I gotta be honest, when I began the box method today, I didn't fully believe it in myself. I was kind of a non-believer, but this is like beautiful. We're now into the big room of the house. I mean, look at this thing. Look at how big and expansive it's gonna be. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, so let's say theoretically, we walk in from the garage, we will turn, and then we'll have like a double wide staircase right here. Don't want it too cramped. Then I step up to like, I think this layer right here, and this will be the main floor level, because then, then it'll be even with that. And that'll look good. The main floor level will also be sunken down below the ground over here, which I love. I could do a window looking like right out at the sheep, which hey, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry. I haven't forgotten. I won't I'll leave you out here forever. <laughs> I couldn't do that, right? Maybe I will. I don't know. What about a nice tall ceiling for the entrance from the garage over with even more like big windows or even big window wall? Matter of fact, this is a courtyard now. We'll move that portal later, but that's a courtyard. Ah, oh, I can see it all coming together now right in front of my eyes too. And it's beautiful and it's gorgeous and it's dark oak wood. Listen, there's no way I could all build it all entirely out of dark oak wood. We'll switch it up a little bit for this room. House building. House building is something I've missed so much. In this series, we've been doing so much like farm building and definitely exploration. A lot of exploration. But like house building, I haven't done it in so long and especially interiors, you know? I used to actually like kind of hate doing interiors, but I think that might be like one of my favorite things ever now. Like they're just so fun to work on. One cool thing I haven't got to show you yet is the front of the house. I made some small changes to this thing. I went in with a little bit more bamboo and then I put those trap doors up top right there. I don't know, I wanted to make one of those cool modern overhangs. Think it kind of worked, right? I think it doesn't look bad. As any good real estate developer would know, we imported the most precious stones that were fully ethically harvested, of course, ethically harvested for this fancy wall over here. But truly, there's only one thing that would be even more ethical and beautiful, romantic even. This one's for me, we set the mood. Every day I come home after a long day at YouTube, open my house and I walk in, and oh, it's beautiful, the giant mansion. I walk over to the back and romantically, I sit next to the fire waiting. Oh, yes, we will need a fire in this house too. And then, I don't know, maybe finish off the rest of that wall with a little bit more dark oak staircase. Oh, dark oak staircase is beautiful and in fact, maybe a tall window too. A little window so I can see the mob farm. All right, so that's a lot of efficient building and wonderful progress. We'll break it up with a trivia segment that I like to call trivia segment. So look, I say this from a place of love, like true, pure, heartwarming love, but how could you? How? A bit of context for today's trivia segment. We're asking a question that I ran a poll about on my community tab and the results were so wrong. Pretty recently, I ran a poll over at my community tab asking you which one restores the most hunger, cookie, chorus fruit, carrot, or slice of cake. And you guys failed the test. I'm shocked. So I figure we'll try it again. We'll give it one more shot. Out of those four, which item restores the most hunger? All right, so I'm having a little bit of a problem here. I've got the front window in and a little garden out there. It's beautiful. Uh, I'll move the chest later, but I wanted to do a skylight, which I could do that over there. But over here, I can't really do a skylight because I have more boxes up there. I wanted to do, in place of that, like some kind of solid light block, but I was thinking of glowstone. I, I don't even have a glowstone. I've barely really been in the nether. I don't think I can craft any light block out of the things that I have here. Cook beef, cook beef. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, so we got ground floor one pretty much done. All I gotta do is lay the flooring. That's no big deal. I know how to do that. Then what we could do is make maybe like a staircase walking up to the second story right here, which will be firmly not inside of a block. It'll be in a wall. So we'll adjust this box like this way. That'll be fine. We have that box continue over to there maybe. And then I, then I have the exterior wall. So this could walk up and then turn back around or something. And then I'd be in this box over here. And then finally, you do like a doorway over to that box over there. The one thing with this part of the box is that this is actual roofing block. Or at least like the ones that are like right over there. Technically, I could remove that. I think what I'm going to have to do is make this one final box right up here a little bit taller. I was thinking also at the top of this thing, not only do I have that luxurious rooftop access. I mean, look at the view up here. It's a, 
it's a view. But also, I was thinking like the bedroom and the top story. And so, that's it. That's basically it for like the rest of the house. We have a room right here. We step up to the bedroom. A little small, but it's fine. And then maybe over here, I set up some kind of big balcony looking down at the rest of the house. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. It's going to be so cool. Oh, <laughs> a kitty, a cat. <laughs> uh, I don't think I could actually be able to keep you in the house, could I? <gasps> a brand new house cat. <laughs> Hi, friend. Wait a second, wait a second, do I? <gasps> I do, I do. Kitten, freeze, freeze. You have no toy, don't go in the fireplace. No, 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 no. Where'd you go, where'd you go? No, 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 no. calm down, calm, yes. <laughs> You're mine. I'll name you later. Okay, so look, listen, listen. There's a brand new block, I have to use it. But does it work? Does yellow go with the browns and the grays that I have in here as like the floor? Maybe I should, <laughs> maybe, maybe actually like <laughs> putting it on the actual floor might be a good idea. Does that work? Maybe? Ah, you know what? Never mind, never mind. I'll just do these planks. Birch planks kind of, they're kind of modern, right? Yeah, we'll just go with that. This is a little cramped over here, but I think we can pull it off. We can do like a staircase like that and another one like that. Then you can walk right up. Wait a second. Another one. <laughs> Why? What? Bamboo, what a oh, beautiful bamboo. What is your time to shine? You may not have been the one for the first floor, but oh, believe me, for the second floor, for the second floor, there is no other one. It's all you. It's all you, sweet, beautiful bamboo wood. You're going up to the top, and at the top, you can't drop. And so, one final cut later, give it a little bit of time, a tiny bit of time, a passion, hard work, and desire, then we end up with this house right there. And, and nobody's gonna tell me it's not, not beautiful. beautiful. Look, look, I will admit it that it is very Dark Oak inspired, but that was the point, that was the point, Dark Oak is a, it's a beautiful wood type, so, <laughs> yeah. As any good, bad, or okay real estate developer would do, we found a dry piece of land in the middle of a wet body of water, and we put a giant house on it. House is probably too big for the island, but walk inside, and oh my gosh, you got the kitchen right there with, uh, what does that imply? We got the romantic red sofa right here with a table, and of course, our brand new pet cat. We got a treasure map that we'll check out one day. We got a beautiful portrait of the founder, and then over here, Oh, that's nice back over here in the backyard the courtyard that maybe will be filled with plants one day We have a portal to the underworld the boat garage is still probably one of my favorite rooms I, I just feel like it looks so interesting with the explosives and the posters all over the wall the clock for the time and of course the boats I don't know. I like this room, but most importantly the actual action goes on upstairs up here We got a chest for some of the like dual items that I found over my journey and then we have this balcony I think I might leave it open and just try and be careful. Keeping going up up here, I have a hallway. I still do admittedly need to do a little bit of decoration, but welcome to the true palace of the dreams. The master bedroom. The master suite right here with the second fireplace of the building. It's uh, simple, but it's nice. We got this corner view of the iron farm and the other farms too. The bed, a counter for doing counter things. And then finally, and, and this is um, questionable at best. This is the thing that I'm not sure about yet, but I put like a rooftop garden on the thing. I don't know if the rooftop garden is kind of killing the vibe or crushing it or whatever, but I mean, it it's a thing. I might take it out. Here's another nice angle of the build. The island is so busy. <laughs> I definitely have to clean that up, but like the build, I, I think it's okay. And then another angle of the build that I liked, you find it out here in the ocean. Looking at it from over here, I mean, I think it looks like a solid house. 
So I have a big job. I, I have a lot of organization to do. I gotta go through this chest. I gotta go through this one. I gotta go through this one. But oh my gosh, look at that thing and these things. So I, I really think 1.20, it's gonna be all about the interiors and decorating and things like that. So uh, bookshelf, we'll put a bookshelf right there. And then the actual books, I can finally actually store these things. From this point on, we will no longer have to sleep out underneath the stars, the sky, because, well, I mean, we've got a house. And a not bad one. Oh, this room. Yeah, this room. I don't know what to do with it. I was kind of envisioning that room is almost like a basement or something. So I was thinking maybe like stone, deep slate, cobblestone. But at the same time, I don't know. I do know this is the new storage room, though. And I kind of started to organize things. We've got a lot. In between episodes, I might come in here and play around with some block combos or something. Try and really figure something out. But for now, for now, I think we've done it. So thank you all so, so much for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember the big question, what do we work towards next? You let me know about it down in the comments below. Ooh, should I maybe, <laughs> should I maybe leave the sand in there? Did I just figure it out? The patron gang, Fire Dragon 19, Paul P, Gabriel Y, Andrew H, and Austin V. Thank you all so much. This has been me, the Island Mansion Man, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Good morning, good morning, miners and crafters, and welcome to my island. Welcome to my beautiful, gorgeous, steamy island. Oh, it's so luxurious and nice. Look at the camel, the, the camel. I forget your name, but the camel loves my brand new house. So last episode, it went exceptionally well, and since last episode, it's only gotten better. I made some upgrades, some big changes here. So we walk into the house. We'll have the brand new cat over there. We got a fireplace that's cozy, and then, oh wait, what's that? Oh wait, what's that? Oh, the mystery room. The mystery room I didn't know what to do with. You wouldn't believe it if you didn't see it for yourself, but it's got that luxurious imported wood from a foreign land. And then we have, of course, a fully complete and finished floor down there. Again, imported stone from the deepest parts of the world. And finally, oh my gosh, finally. If the bedroom is like the heart of this house, this is the brains of the operation. Inside of the brains of the operation, we got a fully sorted, organized, and complete storage room. Complete with storage of all of my diamonds and even more. Yeah, sure, sure, there are some parts of the house that I still maybe need to finish up a little bit. I add some details and whatever, but oh, it's beautiful. Today, I've got a plan. Not only for this episode, but for the rest of the whole series. Before we talk about that plan, though, this thing was running like most of last episode. Has my iron farm failed me, or is it perfect? Oh, it's perfect. It is so perfect. <coughs> it's sick, even. So one final sleep under the starry sky. And it is now the nicest day of the entire series. There's only one thing we could do in honor of the nicest episode of this entire series. And that is set out. Today, for one final time on an island world, we will set out and we will find the nicest biome. The grove. Ah, there's nothing like it. There's really not. Food cooking in the background, the smell illuminating the entire house. Me sitting on the cozy couch right by the fire. Reminding you romantically to leave a like on this video. <coughs> all right, all right. Food is cooked, dead. Yeah, mostly. Let's hit it. Cherry Grove, Cherry Grove Biome. So in search of the Cherry Grove Biome, I know one direction that I definitely shouldn't go, and that's going to be straight back behind me. Well, hey, Delisa, I hope it's not straight back behind me. You see, in every single exploration we've gone on, we've gone out that way, past the Amethyst Woman. I was thinking this time around, because I've seen so much of that land over there, and it's not really mountaining, and we're looking for mountains. Maybe I start by going off this way. I remember a dark oak forest biome that kind of looked like stony over here. So let's check it out. Ah, and there it is. Land, sweet, beautiful land. I'm sorry about, like, the three frames that I keep getting. It's because I got this render distance really cranked up. I want to be able to see stuff. Exactly as I suspected. Over here, we have a ton of stony shore. It, it's stony. And then we got the dark oak forest I was talking about. The birch forest that I completely forgot about. Ugh. And then it almost looks like another mountain. Like back there. Like it looks like it gets more hilly. I think that's where we should start. And so with that, it was decided. Our courageously adventurous yet inexperienced adventurer decided to quickly move inland. Starting out here, the goal was pretty simple. Get right through that birch forest bomb as quick as possible. It looks like a bad place. After that, our wonderfully handsome adventurer found a hill. 
he thought it would be a good idea to climb all the way to the top of that hill because it's like the highest point in the land. And then, oh, oh, and then, listen to that music, and then, a meadow biome. But a meadow biome is close. A meadow biome is really, really close to the cherry grove. If a meadow can generate, that means the cherry grove biome could generate here too. I mean, sure, it didn't, but it could've. It totally, absolutely could've. So I would say this is kind of a lead. We keep walking over here, and unfortunately, the mountain kind of goes away. But if I don't mountains and terrain generation, maybe we, we go through the plains a little bit more and just see what we have. I mean, after all, it, it's not much, but it is definitely, absolutely a start. Kind of. In a way. For today's episode, we have a pretty straightforward goal of find the cherry grove biome, bring some cherry grove saplings back home. That's too straightforward though, so I add another one into the mix. By the end of the episode, we need to have the most beautiful bundle of blocks in the entire world. I'll show you what I mean by that. And so, with nighttime number one of the day upon us, I came up with a plan. What I think we want to do here is lower the render distance like quite a bit. We, we don't really need to see far for this next part. What I do need to happen is have a no lag. I can't lag out during this thing because this is going to be a little bit dangerous. During this nighttime, I need to hang around inside of this field and hunt. We're looking for spiders. And so, I think I got it. I'm pretty sure I did it. Three string. <sighs> I don't know if it's three or four. Give me string. Ah, yes, thank you. All right, now I did it. Let's get out of here. Bright and early the next morning, I'm, I'm starting to lose hope on this direction. Commence plan B, also known as the backup plan. To pull this backup plan off, first things first, we're going to need to relocate a shipwreck. Let's relocate a shipwreck. <laughs> oh, yeah. This shipwreck over here, there's no chance that I have ever seen the shipwreck before. It's so far away. And if there was a chance, I... Yes, <laughs> there wasn't. There wasn't. Oh, it's beautiful. Real funny how they changed that loot right though. Look, back in my day, it took shipwreck and shipwreck and shipwreck to actually find that thing. And that's it. All right, anyways, focusing. Let's get back home. Back over at beautiful home sweet home, with the inventory clear, I've cracked up a new plan. So look, we might have to dig deep in our memories for this one, but think back. Think really, really, actually. We need to ride in style. Anyways, think back and look really far back into the series. Do you remember when we were exploring for the very first time? To jog that memory a little bit for you, the villagers at the top of the Amethyst Woman. They came from this place. You see, when we were exploring for the very first time in this world, I think we went from our island, like basically straight north, right out into the ocean this way. Eventually, kind of like the Titanic, I hit icebergs. Except this time it was for real. After I found those icebergs, I found a village. And then I found more land. After I found even more land, eventually, I remember finding areas that were really, really mountainy. I wiped all of these chunks a long time ago, so everything that we load in, it's new generation. And so, friends, that's it. That's plan B. If plan B doesn't work, I have literally no clue what we're going to do. All right, so retracing my steps here. I can definitely remember landing on this ice, probably making some kind of Titanic joke again, and then walking, wandering straight into the swamp. I think some of these trees over here were the very first rooseries that I imported the wood from, so that's pretty cool. And then, of course, the swamp. Inside of the wonderful swamp over here... Oh, more decorations. Look, look, I know this is an ethically protected wetland environment that we cannot come in here and destroy. Definitely not destroy for profit or anything, but yeah, yeah, we can't destroy this. And look, I'm not. I'm not doing anything. It's my boat. My boat just ripped up every lily pad in this lake. <laughs> How could you, boat? That was terrible. And then, light bulb. Light bulb and one more light bulb. It's hitting me. Genius. I'm genius. I didn't have any luck finding rabbits in the plains biome. But I... I didn't have any... Oh, I did have a look here, too. I'm so sorry, Rabbit. I'm so sorry. You, oh, your child. N not you. No. Rabbit, I'm so sorry about this. I'm really sorry. Look, look, I, I don't want to do this. Look, you leave me no option. You keep running. No. I'm so sorry. I can source any rabbit and every rabbit that I need today from the snowy biome that is literally all over the place over here. That's perfect. That smile. 
That beautiful, pearly white smile. There she is. So when we were doing our world wiping extravaganza, I actually didn't reset any of these chunks inside of the village. That means everything over here is exactly as I left it. Open doors, extra villagers, and all. However, once I started moving a little bit past this village, I absolutely should start to find a brand new terrain. And in that new terrain, it will happen. It has to. Alright, so, uh, it's hard for me to tell what is new and, and what is old, but I definitely remember, in, in relation to the village, I think I either went, like, diagonally that way, or, like, diagonally, or, or not diagonal, but, like, straight up this way. We'll do one of those. You know, side note is funny. <laughs> if you told me I was going to do so much exploration in this series at the beginning, I would have called you a flat-out liar to your face, too. I really didn't plan on exploring so much in the series, or, yeah, just, just exploring so much in the series. <laughs> but here we are. And there it is. I remembered it. I remembered it perfectly, the beautiful mountain that I found. That's exactly it, or at least that, that's one of them. I remember finding even more all over the place, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is the start. Pink sheep, pink sheep. Ah, oh, long time no see. How you doing? You look beautiful. And big cave. I definitely remember taking a look at this cave and being like, wow, that's beautiful. One thing that I never think I, I did is climb this mountain, though. Let's climb up to the very top of this thing and see what we can see. One small climb later, and here we are. We're here. All I've got to do is crank this render distance up and nearly crash my game and check it all out. So Cherry Grove, Cherry Grove. Uh, that way looks a whole lot more flat. This way obviously looks a whole lot more mountainy. I'm thinking if there's any way we want to go, it's probably going to be this way. I'm pretty sure it's not a problem that there's snow or anything. I think the grove can still generate there. So, yeah, let's go that way. Hmm, something about this forest feels off. It's like, strange. Completely devoid of all life other than one snow fox. Could we perhaps have wandered into the ghost forest pile? A remnant of Minecraft's early days, when the archaeological excavations were brand new, and those armor shards, they were being created. In other words, where are the rabbits? I thought there were meant to be rabbits all over every forest that I see. Beautiful forests speckled all over the floor with rabbits. Rabbits and even more rabbits are at the least sweet berry bushes, and I can't even find, I can't even find any sweet berry bushes. There's wolves, there's foxes, there's a baby dog right there. It's beautiful, but... <sighs> no... No rabbits, and definitely no pink tree bile. All right, so backtracking a little bit, meadow number two, check, it's wonderful, really, I'm so happy that a meadow generated here instead of the other biome that could generate here with the, with the pink tree, yeah, I'm happy, I love it. I love that a meadow chose to generate right here with a tall tree too, oh my gosh, it's beautiful, and in big cave, I'm so happy, if you couldn't hear it in my voice, <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh wow. Look, I feel like if I was looking for an ancient city, I'd be basically golden here. That would be wonderful, except I'm not. Uh huh, I, I think I definitely chose the right direction though. When it comes to mountains, this way. Maybe we could head off. Wait, is that a village or? <gasps> By the moon. <gasps> oh no, oh no. For once in my life, I never thought I would say this, but I wish I brought a spy lens. I can't zoom. I have no Optifine on a snapshot. <gasps> we could be gold. Maintain your breathing. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Stay calm. But we very well could have found it, lads. We very well could have. And look here. If this isn't what I think it is, then it's just a village. <laughs> I, I'll take care of that, too. I don't care. I'll take care of it. I'll never be back here anyways. Please don't be a village. 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 I, I think you're a village. Oh, God. All right, so bad news. In a way, I'm beginning to lose hope. Continuing going this way, it's water. It's not what we need. Never mind, never mind. False alarm. 
The mountains definitely continue. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. This is huge. All right, so we were just over there. Now we're over here on top of this mountain. Please, please. I'm getting desperate at this point and really, really concerned. I keep finding meadow after meadow after meadow. And now I'm worried that there's some kind of bug with the generation of this bio. And it's just never going to generate. Like, I mean, take a look at this place. Have you ever seen a meadow biome with so many alliums? Like, what? Like, no, but actually, what is going on here? <laughs> it's a gigantic mountain area with the world's biggest meadow that I've ever seen. Two villages in it. And alliums. Is this some kind of sick joke? And from this point on, I think what I'm going to do is take out some of these rabbits. Is take out some of these rabbits. Is take out some of these rabbits. Yeah, take out some of these rabbits. And I'm lucky. If we're good luck, I'll hold the rabbit's foot. And I'm going to leave the render distance up. I'm going to stop playing around with it. I keep turning it back down so I can actually, like, you know, walk around. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll have to just deal with the lag. And I, I guess I'm going to keep moving. This is the most disappointing meadow biome in the entire world. But it's also kind of beautiful at the same time. Like... I can't be too mad at it. These flowers, are, they look so good. Never seen anything like this, though. I am starting to get really, really concerned, though, because I do remember that there was some kind of bug in the latest snapshot, or at least the snapshot when it dropped, where cherry groves weren't generating in previously generated worlds. But I, yeah, hopefully that's nothing. We won't think about it. Continuing on just a bit farther and would you take a look at this we have yet another meadow biome I'm getting really concerned. I think this is a really really bad sign. I found so many meadows the world's biggest meadow and still nothing and That's it That's it for the mountains over here Uh Oh A beautiful ruined portal as a consolation prize I guess but at this point I'm growing very, very suspicious. We're going to do something that I don't usually do. Where we are in this world seems really strange. I've never seen anything like it. So what we could do is check the world seed on chunk base. Using the world seed in our exact coordinates, we could check this out in 1.20. Now look, look, if this is all meant to be a giant meadow, then we won't worry about it. We never did this. If this is all supposed to be like this, it's no big deal. We take our approximate coordinates, we hit enter. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right, I had the coordinates wrong. We'll fix that. Maybe that'll. F no. 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 Hey, how you doing, everybody? It's me, Waddles, and the last episode, we ended in painful, sour defeat. No, 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 no. Good news. Thanks to some thinking and some of the comments on the last episode, I think I have an idea. I think I misunderstood the blog post. It says a world created in 23W07A can't be open. Not a world loaded in that snapshot. And... Our world was only loaded in that one. So back over to MCA Selector it is. What I'm thinking we could do is maybe clear all of the chunks that we were just exploring that are very, very suspicious. And then maybe, just maybe, I load the world in one of the newer releases and check it out. Well, here goes nothing. All right, I'm loading the game in 1.90.4. I deleted those chunks, so they should regenerate. And I guess we'll see. All right, uh, so far... So far, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Oh my gosh, Laz, we did it! We finally did it! This is one of the... It's truly... <laughs> it's one of the most beautiful moments of all time! I thought we were goners! It's just last episode! A beautiful and truly breathtaking sight! One of the best parts of Minecraft 1.20! It's so close to being ours! <sighs> it was just moments ago that I thought we would never have it! Every single one of my dreams! Walking so far, thousands and thousands of blocks, just to get to this thing! It was pointless. But the moment finally came, Rabbit Foot. It's thanks to you. You're good luck. <laughs> You're beautiful. What is that? What is that? You want a shrine built out of the sweetest wood in the entire game in honor of you? Back at home on the island. Ah, <sighs> yes, yes. I think we can make that happen. So it's finally happening. My very first look at the cherry blossom biome in 100% survival world. Oh my gosh, this is more beautiful than I could have even imagined. 100%. This is the base inside of the 1.20 update. Like, absolutely. We make a new world. We start fresh. We do the guide. And we live inside of the blossom. Inside of the sweet, sweet grove. I sure 180 from my feelings. In the previous update, the grove biome was the worst thing in the world. Disgusting, evil, trapped snow all over the ground. And just pathetic, weak, and lame. And this grove is <laughs> it's definitely not that. The saddest tragedy of the land, oh. taking a look at the inventory. Seeds, you have to go. I'm so sorry. You wait here. Ah, my gosh, this wood is almost so beautiful, I don't even want to chop it down, but it has to go too, Jerry Wood. You coming home with me. Something else? Hey, it sticks. You leave. You wait here, Jerry Wood. <laughs> oh my god, it's beautiful. I can't wait to build with this stuff. I don't know if I should get the leaves too, or if I just farm it back over at the base. All of these beautiful W's that we're catching left and right here are going to walk us right into one of the biggest problems we're going to have this episode, though, and that is inventory storage. If you can recall, when I dropped the last episode, inside of that episode, I set ourselves two simple goals. Goal number one, find this place, and it, it took us two episodes, but we're finally here. Goal number two, the biggest bundle of joy ever. Or, in more literal terms that seem to confuse people, we need a bundle. I'm looking for a bundle somewhere, anywhere. But ideally here, I know it's still not in 1.20 officially or anything like that, but if this thing does make it into 1.20, they gotta fix this rabbit situation. They're already practically extinct. Can't find them anywhere. Cherry Blossom, Cherry Blossom. Where did I leave that Cherry Blossom that I just cut down? Hey, I, I need a saplings. Uh, there it is, there it is. So, look, I don't know how you feel about this, but I feel like, personally, inside of this biome, rabbits should be, like, all over the place. This seems like a rabbit biome, right? Be hopping and frolicking through the flowers. They would love it. Oh, that's so good. I mean, I already knew the sapling drop where it was off the charts fire. I found that out when making the best guide out of all of YouTube. I found it out when making the best cherry blossom guide. Hey, friend. Hey, friend, are you a child? Oh, you're but, but just a child. You won't drop what I need, but your parents. Oh, your parents, definitely. Listen, the less you move, the less painful this gets. No. Please, make this quick and easy, rabbit. Please, please, get back here. No, you you steal my axe. Let me just, uh, hey, uh, let me just, uh, hey, uh, real quick, let me just ask. Hey, uh, real, ooh, uh, creeper. Oh, no. All right, yeah, I, I guess this could wait till the morning. Good call. Okay, well, that's gonna be a thing. This is gonna definitely be a thing. We need to not destroy the whole environment here, you know, preserve it, conserve it. But also not destroy it myself, more importantly. I feel like a monster, I've got no choice. Every single rabbit here is but a small child. Other than you. Oh, no, <laughs> they all send themselves off the cliff. I'm never gonna get rabbit hide like this. Think fast, think quickly, what do rabbits like? I think I like carrots, and I don't have any. All right, well, look, I, I promise I will not spend the entire episode out here searching for rabbits, but it's a dire and desperate cause. I need rabbits. Where'd they all go? Look, please, I think it's literally two. I, I think I... No, come on. No, not the rain inside of the beautiful biome and of a drove. Leave me alone. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a lot more. Ah, I don't think so. And so at that point, this little brain of mine hatched up an interesting idea, an intriguing plan. 
Perhaps instead of just wandering aimlessly looking for rabbits, I could, eh, you know, just not worry about it right now. Chop down some of the trees, get a whole lot of wood, and hopefully find some rabbits while I'm waiting for the saplings. <laughs> Hide your wives, lads, because I've done it the most impressive thing. I've almost done it. I'm so close. Ah, I'll be back in a minute. You got time. Finally. Well guys, I guess I just didn't realize, but chasing rabbits and actually taking them out is one of the hardest things in the entire game. A bundle is finally ours though. With this thing in hand, we can compact our inventory like a million times. This way, with this handy little thing, we have so much free space left. I can actually go back over to the ruined portal that I saw, and even more importantly, we can get even more of this wonderful, sweet, sweet wood. Oh, oh, that's right. I took these before they were recreated. All right, so with all of this amazing cherry stuff filling my inventory, I think it's about time we head back home, lads. Horses, you're all so beautiful and wonderful. Genuinely, I wish I had the forethought. I wish I had thought like that to bring a saddle out here. That could have been glorious. Coordinates of this beautiful place, you will be remembered forever on camera and on footage. And the seed of this world, this is in like episode two or three. The home of this world, hmm, the home. Yeah, that's a very intriguing question. Uh, it's an intriguing question, me. I want to say that home sweet home is like a diagonal cut in, in this general direction, or maybe like a little bit more so on this way, but like, yeah, home sweet home. It's vaguely that way. To get all the way back home, I think what I'm gonna wanna do is try and find water, and then hopefully I can sail all the way back home. With all this chunk resetting that's happened, Maybe if I find a structure on the way, I can pull up. Wait a second, lilacs! One of the most beautiful flowers in the entire game. Why do lilacs not generate in the cherry grove too? Oh, those things would be perfect for it. All right, cue that super speedy time lapse in three, two, one, go. Wait a second, wait just one second. An idea, a brainstorm of sorts. I've come up with something. And this thing, it could very well be big. Biggest of all time even. What if maybe I could walk into one of these village houses and say, uh, hello. I walk in, I say, hi, how you doing? And find a saddle or some iron. I find some iron and bread. Perhaps hopefully just maybe one of these houses sitting in this humble little village right here has been housing a saddle for all eternity waiting for me to come and get it. Or alternatively, this village is a complete and utter failure. Alright, I, I can't be 100% certain, but I feel like we might have made it, at least almost. I know the ocean that we live off of is gigantic, massive. Could it stretch like 2,000 blocks, assuming we're by 0, zero? Uh, Maybe. Th this might be home sweet home. Or at least like close. I think we're getting close. Ocean, check. Random taiga village that I've never before seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, check. Hello, my lad. I am but a traveler, a wanderer, an explorer. I will not take any of your things. I just walk around and I look at things. That's, that's my entire job. I'm just an inspector. I come here and make sure this is properly built securely and strongly and soundly. Wouldn't want a, a house falling on any of your beautiful heads, you know? 
Ooh, I might just have to take that diamond. Oh, and this is interesting. Did these did this always generate with armor stands and helmets in here? Did they change that? And I I'm not 100 percent certain, but that looks a whole lot like the swamp we would have hit before. When I wiped the chunks a million times, did I change the world severely? <laughs> and irreparably? Oh boy. Well, that village didn't amount to much other than being handsomely beautiful. It's wonderful. Now I think it's off into the ocean, in the approximate direction that I think home is. Hopefully we're in the final stretch. Well, well, well. What do we have here? The wreck of an old trader that was going from the Taiga village. The wreck of an old trader with some of the most precious of cargo. That is mine. And so, after just a little bit of sailing, there that beautiful beauty is. Handsomely as ever, I've found home sweet home. Ah, they're gonna love it here. You know, one of the best feelings ever, after a long episode of exploring, is pulling smoothly into your boat garage, jumping out of the boat with all of your profits and inventory, and walking into home sweet home. Ah, oh, home. God, I've missed you. But even more importantly, island outside, I've missed you even more. I was trying to grow a tree right here, but you know, maybe that's not even the answer anymore. Maybe we need something a little bit more fitting, uh, slightly more tropical, if you will. Oh, it'll be beautiful. But it doesn't end there. I've even brought one of the most exotic plants in the land back home, and we'll plant it right here. That thing. Oh, camel the friend. Oh, camel the friend. All of my friends at the island. It's been so long. I missed you so much. But profits, profits, and even more profits. They're clogging my inventory. And wait a second. Look at that. The stars have aligned. The time is right. The day is here, smithing table. You come with me. With a proper house built and so much extra armor. The smithing table, you go right there. There's a perfect spot for it. And inside of here. Ah, hold up. Let's uh, just uh, plant some of these out here. Clear up the inventory a little bit more. And uh, brand new parkour bridge. Yeah, that sounds cool. Coast armor trim. Because we live by the ocean, of course. Uh, diamond armor. And finally, gold. I think it looks so good with the diamond. Right there, that's a combination. Right there, that's a combination. And finally, right there, that's the combination. We go ahead and put that on, put that on, and put that on in. <laughs> it's so good looking. Ah, oh, 1.20 is the best update ever. Right, and early the next morning, bone meal, bone meal. Yeah, I think this is my bone meal. There are a couple final things we need to get done in today's episode. I was thinking, definitely grow some of this exotic tree. Mm, maybe that's in the way. Grow some of this exotic tree back over at home, sweet home. Does it look good there? I don't know. Well, anyways, I know that I definitely want cherry blossom trees on this island. And I think doing it like that, it makes it nice and tall. It's never going to be in my way. I, I don't know. I think that looks nice. That one might be a problem. You know what? Never mind. Taking a look at this thing from out here at the sea. I think it looks good. I think it's just different. I, I, I think I'll have to... Never mind. I hate it. I don't want it right here. I have to move it. I'm sorry, tree. Taking a look at all of our finds from this big adventure, we got so much pink. Next up, while I wait for these leaves to go away, we need a small tribute to the lucky rabbit foot. So I was thinking of fountain. The island up here on the surface is just about getting full and finished, but I think what we could do maybe, I, it might be a little bit too big. Yeah, it's gonna be way too big. I have to move it. Oh, perhaps instead. Oh yes, instead, instead of that. What about a statue? A small one. Obviously, that rabbit foot being a big component of our big adventure. It's an explorer of sorts. Real quick, let's try that one more time. Maybe get a little bit more height and... Yes, yes, perfect. That's so much better than the other one. I'm glad I chopped it down. And you know, now that I found a little bit more iron, I think it's safe to see these torches all over the island. They can go too. Let's go ahead and replace a lot of them with lanterns. That's a whole lot nicer, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, and I almost forgot. <laughs> All of those things, too, in the bundle. Absolutely on the nightstand. That beautiful creation right there it looks so good. I don't really have a doorbell, so how about that? Sounds good. And finally, to finish off our wonderful statue, we need to use the other brand new beautiful wood. 
I was thinking, of course, the best way to finish this all off, and really, in a way, finish off the entire island, is with a centerpiece. Shining, representing everything that we've done and found inside of this world. As a small tribute to the luckiest rabbit put around, a statue in its honor. A small and simple statue sitting between the trees, a dead center, on our now basically fully complete <laughs> and finished island. From this point on, day number 81, it's all end goal now. But uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more next episode. Thank you all for watching. You're all truly the best. What else does the island need to be complete? You let me know down below. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Hi, hey, how you doing? In today's Survival Island episode, you will... <laughs> You'll see why this episode took so long to come out. <sighs> the glorious 100-day island. Right at the end of the episode, I can't lie, guys. This island is looking like Chef's Kiss is perfection. I'm so happy with it. The petals and the wind, the cat, the statue, the camel friend. In fact, you three, the iconic trio. Today's the day we hit the ground running. It's day number 82. As... Well, maybe I'll do it the next day. As soon as the sun rises, we go. Ah, life right now, life is good. Alexa, play something romantic. Mm, yes, thank you, thank you. I've got fresh food, cooking in the kitchen, aromanating the entire house. It smells good. The smells are great, but what would they be worth if we didn't have all of our friends with us too? We have Bestie, we have a Camel, they're all right here. However, we do have one big problem. And that's gonna be right behind the house. Today, lads, the plan is pretty simple. To essentially hit the ground running, set us up for success for the rest of the series. By the end of today's episode, we're going to go to places that we've technically gone before, but do things and get us ready for something that we've never done before. And so look, I, I can't lie, because of the timing of everything, 100 days in this world is taking a little bit longer than 100 days in a super flat world. But it's about the friends we made along the way. Time is shmime. What does it even mean? After all, they're all just numbers. Uh, but that, <laughs> that took way too much time. So not to flex, brag, or do anything that is too much. At this point in this world, with all of our hours put in, we're doing good. Like, really, really good. At this point in this world, we've kind of done it all and almost seen it all, too. We've checked out a lot of 1.20 things. We got this beautiful set of diamond trimmed armor, always clean. I even have diamond tools. Just trust me. Just trust me. The woman of my dream sits inside of the bedroom. We have all of the friends that we could ever need. But we have not done one impressive big thing that involves things that we're kind of, we kind of already have. Where there's skeleton skulls. To properly finish up this island, first things first, the nether portal right outside of the back door where a guard and a patio was meant to go. Yeah, it is not the vibe. Instead, the absolute vibe is 100% a platform built out of the pinkest wood in the entire game over here in the water. It's going to be gorgeous. And so I was kind of taking a look at everything that we built in the island so far. And I mean, yes, yeah, technically true. Every single platform is oak wood and it's been so consistent. But also technically true, I went to that cherry grove biome and I got like stacks and stacks of cherry wood for a reason. Over here behind the house, I was planning on putting a garden anyways. Maybe the cherry wood will kind of match the vibe. I figured a small walkway out like about that far. Then we- Oh, ah, hold on. Time for new axe. We make walkway that goes out this far. Thinking for the future, I don't want to hear the nether portal ever again. It sounds horrendous. Then at this point in the walkway, we open things up a little bit. I need enough space for like a four wide, a couple block tall portal. If I open things up this way, hmm, yeah, yeah, four blocks like that, yeah, it checks out. Then what I could do is maybe diagonal open spot. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Then I could go like actual beam right here. And straight back a couple blocks. Boom, voila. So while I crack on with this build and get it up to form, I got something a little bit funny to talk about with you guys. I think it was literally a million years ago now that I said I wanted a plan for the end of the series. I asked you guys for some feedback. I got wonderful feedback. Then the next episode, I started talking about that feedback, and in typical me fashion, I think I got completely sidetracked and distracted by something. I, I think I might have left you guys hanging for so long out of the cold pouring rain, and for that, I'm sorry. A goal for the end of the series, something we need to take on, something we'll need to do and complete. What could it be? Well, uh, with all of the things that we've done in this world, we have really good progress. I figured I would set that goal a little bit higher. The Ender Dragon, I mean, sure, it's technically the end game boss, but I mean, c come on, this, this is beginner level stuff. How about something much more challenging? 
and evil at that. Way earlier on in this series, when we ventured into the nether for the first time, the luck was insanely terrible, but at the same time, it was insanely beautiful. Over in the nether fortress that we found, I got Wither Skeleton Skull after Wither Skeleton Skull. Like I got two. Two Wither Skeleton Skulls in such a short time, oh my gosh, it was almost a sign. At that moment, I started cooking up a plan, an idea that I would maybe, I just maybe possibly, take on the Wither Boss by the end of the series. And that's where we're at today. And so, there it is. I feel like the perfect way, the only way that we could wrap up this series and put a clean bow on it is by going into the nether, finding one more Wither Skeleton Skull, then coming back to the old world, dropping Minecraft's most dangerous boss in somewhere, and, well, absolutely annihilating the thing. And so, just like that, there it is. The humble garden, I don't know, is kind of beautiful. I don't know how I never noticed this before until this moment right here, but cherry wood, nether brick, that's going to be like the ultimate combination. See, I was already thinking like nether portal vibe with the stuff having that purple vibe and everything, but like, yeah, wow, I kind of have done it. I, I kind of impressed myself with this build. Like not to flex brag too hard or anything, but this is working out way better than I actually thought. The only thing that feels a little bit out of place here is maybe the spruce dock right here. I don't really know what to do with it, but I mean, fine, it checks out. Another thing that I feel like should definitely be updated. Never mind. Having an organized storage room that I can come back to and grab things from while building this build today, oh my gosh, is working wonders. Next up, we need a proper way to get up and down and go over to the iron farm. I figure like maybe some ladders running off the side of this thing, yeah, they could check out, that would be fine. Iron beauty, oh beautiful, don't let me down, how are you doing? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, this thing is beautiful. This was so easy to build, too. I gotta remember that for the guy. Back over here at the good old base of Sunset, I think it's day number 85 now. We'll have to hurry up. We need a nether portal. The nether portal will sit dead center on this platform. We will step up to the nether portal with even more slabs. Oh, it's perfect. Then, nether portal, dramatically, it rises. Almost like the climax of this video. It keeps going and going and going. And just like a story. I, I don't know. I, it's, it's a nether portal. This looks funny. Maybe like just some stairs. I I mean, sure, a little bit strange feeling still, but I the point was a smooth walk up into the portal and yeah, smooth walk up, smooth walk down. Yeah, yeah, that, that checks out. I think that's nice and it kind of finishes the island in like a perfect way. Other than the hazard, the insane danger that I could jump right off the side of this thing. What kind of fool architect would build it like that? That's right, none of them. What I wanted to do is iron bars in the corner, maybe like that. You know, it's a nether vibe, it's terrifying, scary, and maybe, oh, 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 he's fancy. Maybe even I could do those curves. It's, it's a small art, just subtle detail. I can see it now every single time I use it. Oh, the portal off in the distance, we're getting close. Anyways, I can see it now every single time I use this in the future. From this day forward, I've cried tears of joys because it's just... Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, just go with it. Nether brick, schmether brick, iron man, iron man. Oh, hey, wonderful. I can't believe it. It's sad, but true. I ran out of dirt all the way in this world. I mean, I guess nether brick works for like scaffolding blocks, but yeah, if I was going to stay in this world long term, I think the next farm would be like a dirt farm or something. <laughs> if that's even possible, I don't know. Now, as you can see here, right behind me on the build, yes, the, the poles go all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. Yep, uh, the water deceives you. It's lying. So, with the poles going all the way down to the bottom of the ocean, all I needed to do is get a couple torches on that baby, some slabs as well, light that portal, and we're golden. Oh, ha, yeah, I'm sorry, this is awkward, how could I say that? A torches schmorches. Welcome to the future, baby, the future is rich and wealthy, we get lanterns all over this thing, that's a luxurious way to do it, including, I, I guess, like right there, and this thing is built on half slabs, so I can't really put it on the floor, so, uh, I don't know, I'll figure that out. In fact, yes, yes, the slabs in the corner and adds the perfect layer of detail this thing always lacked. We got arch over there, we got curve up, we got layered down. Wow, it's romantic. The only thing that could make this allegedly a little bit more romantic is perfect nether brick combination on the cherry log. Wow, I think I found the perfect build combination for Minecraft 1.20. That looks so nice. It's so simple, but nice. And then the big boy, it's time. Hey, yeah, yeah, hold up, hold up. It's almost time. Correction, it's almost time. There's more stuff that I need to do. No, I'm not putting it off. No, 
No, what are you talking about? I'm not feeling nerves or concern that may potentially be downgrading my ability to think clearly and build a nice, beautiful build. No, no, what are you talking about? No, I'm not worried about the drown. Absolutely not. What are you talking about? Die, your bamboo right there. No, it's not random. It matches the rest of the island, okay? All right, it's nether. Yeah, all right. Matter of fact, look at this. If I was so stressed about the nether, I wouldn't realize that I, I could come back in and chop those corner slabs off, making this thing bend up on the corner from the side. Even more beautiful. Oh, I, I would have never thought about that, no. And if I was nervous, what does it matter? Yeah, everybody feels nervous from time to time. It's not a big deal at all. At dawn, we light that portal and go. In fact, lads, I'm not nervous at all. I'm brave. So brave, even bodacious, elite brave warrior. Portal is lit. That's gonna link up to the one in the nether, and I don't need it. I don't need it at all. We're good. Too good. This is a hardcore world, a wonderful one at that. There's only one thing that I can do. To raise the stakes on all of this today to make it even more dangerous, my beautiful set of trimmed armor, I don't need it. We'll go to the nether without it. The set of trimmed armor, you're beautiful. Your job is to look over the island while I'm gone. Diamond pickaxe, you're almost gone. I need to save you. You'll stay here. But Diamond Sword, you come with me. Bestie, oh, bestie. I will not be gone long, but I will miss you while I'm gone. You have a steak, a camel friend. I don't remember your name. You have a food, too. Food for everybody on the island. Small, a new kitten friend that I never even gave a name. Yes, food for you, too. I'll be back soon. You better believe I got it in this world. I won't have it at 1.20. We bring the beautiful bundle with us. Lads. I'm 90% sure this is everything I need, and I have no reason to delay any farther. Beautiful island base is off to the nether. I'll be right back. Whoa, 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 what did I walk into? We got a llama over here. We have zombified piglin over here. We have turtle over here. Leonardo. Leonardo, is this you? Wandering trader too, no. Why in the world is there a cat here? We have, we have a cat inside of here. We got a pig here. No, not on in a watering trader. Luring on the magma block. No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, your friends, they, they ditch you. They don't care. What do you have? Nothing. All right, well, I did not expect to walk into a convention inside of the nether, but fair enough. It checks out. Anyways, let's go over and find this nether fortress. And oh my gosh, <laughs> I unlocked an x-ray hack. Oh, that's beautiful. Nether Fortress, Schmether Fortress. If I remember correctly, I built a beautiful walkway so we can walk right over to this Nether Fortress. Inside of the Nether Fortress, the plan is so straightforward. I find this thing, I walk into this thing, I find wither skeletons, eradicate the whole species, and in the process, decapitate it too. It's quite simple, really. All I need here is one single skull, a simple head. That's all that I need. Just one. Little bit. Who knows, who knows? If things go well and beautifully, I will maybe even get more heads. And heck, we got time. We got all the time in the world. The 15 days to take on the wither, not a problem. We take on the wither, take it out. Maybe, in fact, we take on the wither. Then we could revive an old, ancient, trusted, and true species. Oh, the sniffer, the beautiful sniffer. We go do the archaeology around the ocean, something we haven't checked out. And I could bring the sniffer species to its former glory, yes. <laughs> I'm getting excited, too excited. One step at a time, Waddles, one step at a time. Inside of the nether fortress, here we are. The beautiful nether mobs. All over this thing, there will be bad mobs that do not like me. But listen, with diamond sword, I'm no match for you. I'll take you out, piece of cake. Wither skeletons, where are you? Now, when I was resetting chunks, I don't think I ever reset any single nether fortress chunk, unfortunately. I definitely should have, because I would have been able to find that sweet tram item bouncing around on screen. Uh, why did I not think about that? Out of all of the things going on in 1.20, I think one of my favorite things has got to be the armor trim. Like, it's a brand new incentive to play the way I like to play, which is run around the world aimlessly and explore, just check things out. Oh, whoa, 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 blaze, blaze, uh, cool it, cool it, I'm busy right here, and with her skeletons, not one, but two, hey, 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 okay, matter of fact, hold on a minute, just, just give me a minute, I'm starting to think that maybe I may have made a small mistake without the armor here, uh-oh, however, anyways, what's done is done, there's no going back now, all right, so no luck from those skeletons, but past this blaze, past that blaze, we got even more camping out on the fortress, mocking me. Listen, I've had enough of your attitude. You go away. No, 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 no. You come closer to me. Stop it. Why don't I have a bow? Somebody should have reminded me. 
With our skeletons, my friends, please listen. I just need you to cooperate. You can make this quick and easy for me. Then we can move on with the episode. Don't make it like it wasn't a survival world. It was miserable in that world. It took so long to get one skull. No, stop it. Stop it. Not funny. All right, I'm more inside portion of the Wither Skeleton Fortress. Yeah, that sounds about beautiful to me. I don't remember if I've been here either. Oh, scratch that. I've definitely been here. Way to crush a boy's dream. Like any good true Minecraft professional, the blazes are gonna make me. Oh no. Oh no. No. No! No! My wife is gonna kill me! No! 